Welcome to the Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast. If you like a lot of wrestling on your YouTube, join our cult. Oh, wow. wow. That was haunting. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Pal. Welcome to the latest juicy edition of the Cultaholic Video Podcast. <laughs> I am Matthew, joined as always by the dulcet tones of Jack the Jobber. How are you doing, Pal? Yeah, not too bad, Matthew. I'm all right. Cheers, yeah. And as always, Ross on wrestling. How are you doing, pal? Oh, sorry. Thanks, Matthew. Got you this week, didn't the audio listeners? It's actually Ross. <laughs> no. Sad and Matthew see wow. once again. Who would think it? Eh? Obviously, Matthew still has the bloody COVID. So best wishes to Matthew yes. as he continues his recovery. He's alive. We talked to him this morning. He's 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 not quite right, but he's getting there. So he's, he'll be back next week while Jack won't be. I'll be on holiday. The, 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 the main three won't be in the same room for like months at, oh, this, at this rate. It's, it's absolutely crazy. terrible. It's like sugar babes. Yes. <laughs> Who is the Mutia Buena? Matthew. 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 Who is the Keisha? Me. Yeah, and yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take Heidi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Siobhan is not part of my sugar babes. She's not part of your not sugar my babes. Part of my, no. she, was, she was in the original three, but yeah. she's not part. I'd say mm, Heidi yeah, overtook yeah, yeah. her. Yeah. Um, but that's the main issue out the way. That's the podcast over. Thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Um, but how are we doing, lads? Eh? Doing Fraser, grand. how are you doing? Eh? Yeah, in the doing hot good. seat once again. I, once again, it feels it's, it's weird being back again. Mm. I, had one, I had one shot last week. Uh, you look nervous. Is that because you're sat it's, next it's, to it's, Yeah, it's a lot of pressure this week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've got Jack back. Why is this a thing now? Yeah. So the feud's been building. Apparently. Well, Apparently I feel so. like I'm responsible. <laughs> I, I feel like my chickens are coming home to roost. Right. But yeah. Um, but uh, what, where were we going with? Oh, how are you good? Yeah, you I'm, do, I'm doing, doing well. grand. Yeah. Did you have a nice uh, time off last week? I though? did, thank you. I had Look a wonderful how cold time. You, eh? I know, oh, yeah. I know. Got to be polite. No, I had a wonderful time seeing some of the punk rock bands up in Glasgow. Mm-hmm. Back in my homeland. But I think it's only right just to keep the spirit of the cultaholic slash triple jump for Vindor Summer Bonanza Caravan Escapade alive. Oh. It's a rap battle. Fraser, off you go. Oh, God. Jack can actually rap. No, Fraser, come on. Don't be like that lady. Yo, that tucked down. Yo, listen. listen. Yo, yo. Oh, no. Uh, I, I can't rap. Oh, I can't rap. Oh, we're, come on, Fraser. Uh, we're on a podcast. I'm going to rap. You're, I'm going first, but you're going to come last. Yes. yes. That was go. good. Jack, go. Uh, my name is Jack. I spit rhymes so hot. I'm never going to lose a rap battle to a Scott. Oh, oh he's merged you there. That, he's yeah. pulled your no mind. chance. <laughs> no <laughs> chance. <laughs> Dan, 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 just a casual little... Yeah. Oh, yeah. One of them. He's merged you there for a yeah. rest of the peace. Bada bing. You've done that. I apologize to the people of Scotland. Uh, I respect you all. You're all, all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Independence, come on. <laughs> wrestling. It's been quite a hefty wrestling news week this week. Uh, we start things off with the most wholesome news of the week uh, surrounding WES, which stands for Fraser. Uh, wrestling Entertainment Series. Yes, they yes. they couldn't even run a bastard pilot and they've cancelled the series before it's even started. Um, after a report that Jack knows well reported that they had sold <laughs> um, less than 350 tickets. What was his name again? Uh, well, I mispronounced his surname as uh, Kalia. But I think it was C A I L L E R. So Ka- Kyla? 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 Yeah, I don't know. Kyla. But yeah, apologies to you. Um, but yes, he reported that they'd sold less than 350 tickets for a 10,000 seat stadium. Wow. A big arena. Arena, arena. Yeah. yeah, in Nottingham. Um, so that was some sort of dome arena in Nottingham. I've never been, but it sounds it's, big. Every tempo. time WWE runs it, they get about 4,000 seats <laughs> sold. <laughs> so it's kind of, it was a big leap to think that they could sell out. That 10,000 arena. So that, that was stage one in our story this week when it comes to WS. Then we had the news from Nia Jax, Alina Fenene this week, who tweeted out, I don't know why I'm still on this poster, but I will repeat myself again. I will not be at the show. Please do not buy a ticket thinking, thinking you will see me perform or get a chance to meet me. I hate that this misleads people. Yet they still didn't take her off the poster. <laughs> she yeah. remained on there. It was weird because they had no issue removing Lana, CJ Perry from the mm-hmm. match card itself on the website, but yeah. Lena Fenene was still there. Strange. She sells tickets. Those yeah. 350 for, <laughs> were for her. But there's more. Was it yesterday <sighs> or the day before? My mind is in a, a complete tiz. Yeah, yesterday yesterday news came was out, yeah. they put so two days ago as this goes live on uh, Wednesday they put out a statement WS did saying dear fans and followers unfortunately we have to cancel the event scheduled for this Saturday at the Motor Point Arena in Nottingham England we are deeply disappointed in the news that we have to share but with so many talent not showing up <laughs> That's right, it's their fault. We will have no choice then to cancel the event. Our team worked so hard on this event day in and day out for the fans to come out with a different type of wrestling event, which, by the way, they put in the press, I saw, saying um, we're going to have post-event and uh, sorry, pre-event and post-event press conferences. Right. Just like New Japan do every single time. That <laughs> so was they had a long-term thing. They had, they had a plan. Plan. They were like, It's going to be more like UFC. We're going to have pre- and post-event press conferences. That's what's going to set us apart. Mm. 
New Japan says, hello. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the big bloody statement continues. We don't want to say that all our talent was scheduled. Have, uh, we want to say, we do want to say, sorry, I'll get this, I'll get something wrong. We do want to say that all of our talent that was scheduled have been paid in full and that Lena Fenene was paid her deposit as well while, she'll cha- while, while she changed her mind and did not want to show up and wrestle anymore. Uh, it's, so it really it's just fault. everyone else's fault but ours yeah for now we will have to apologize for this but we promise that it will not end here see you soon crucially and look this from a fan's perspective no refund uh, information as part of that statement enough, which you yeah. would think would be one of the first things that they'd think about just to uh, refund those 350-ish <laughs> people who forked out the hard-earned money to, to go to the well, event what I want to know is where, where were those seats bought like as in like are they all like nosebleeds at the arena I don't know so we're going to cost like yeah, ring. Yeah, 15 pounds rather than the what 100 pounds for ringside there was there was big prices for the meet and greet ones as well it was pretty ridiculous but you could have met yeah. Lena Fenene yeah it's true, true. Yeah. or not yeah. um Multiple wrestlers have responded, I should say. Adam Sher took the Twitter. He was scheduled to headline, of course, against that UFC fella. Alistair Overeem. Alistair Overeem, who's, who's a Dutch man. That's mm-hmm. all I know about him. He's a Dutch man. He is. Big yeah. hands. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah, fights. Yeah. He fights. Uh, but Sher tweeted out, straight garbage to try and blame the talent for not showing up. I'm not trying. I'm not a stooge, but the truth will come out. Y'all are good at finding it, so... Watch oh, this just space tell us, just Braun, give us the, give us the gossip. <laughs> if you rat out WEF, he's, <laughs> he's wanting them to control their narrative. Yes, oh, he is. Oh, yes. yes. Get the authors of what are they called now? The authors of the Legion of Pain. Legion Which of Pain. Is, yeah. Get them in, control your narrative. Matt Raywald, who of course tweeted out a load of stuff earlier in the week, tweeted out yesterday talent not showing up. What a laugh. Dramatic oh. ellipsis at the end of that. Josh Alexander, uh, he tweeted, uh, Wes, be better. Not Wes. I'm not dumb. Wes, Wes, leave from NXT. Yeah. Wes, leave from NXT. Be better. WF, uh, be better. Well, uh, he lost this week, though, so yeah, he, did, yeah. he needs to be better. He did, to be fair, yeah, he does, he's yeah. He's me. lost without his partner. Yeah. If you love wrestling, just leave it to the pros or actually do what you say you're going to do. Wrestlers not showing ain't ever going to be a thing. Maybe one or two, but not enough to warrant cancelling a show. We love this. Chelsea Green chimed in. But then I think the most wholesome episode of this all, the only person who sort of try to make good of this entire situation Mojo Rowley D Mutardi who basically said I'll be doing a free meet and greet this Sunday Aww. so we can all have a great time regardless and stay high his gimmick's real yeah. Yeah, he doesn't care the show's not on he just wants to have a party well, he's over here anyway <laughs> he's with, in his, London. with his, his significant other which oh. is it fin- 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 I don't it's know. a Fenene there fiance <laughs> with his Fenene <laughs> <laughs> I don't know but yeah, he was he was ready to party in London and yeah, possibly yeah. others. Maybe he's going on a tour. He will be in Nottingham on Saturday. It was meant to be on Saturday, wasn't Saturday, it? Saturday, yes. He'll be on there for a meet and greet. For those who bought tickets, for those who, and then he continued on his statement, for those that didn't buy a ticket to WS, uh, come to the meet and greet, 100% of that money will go to pay the UK local talent that was supposed to be on the show. As I have learned, they have not yet been paid. So fair play, Mojo Rawley, for trying to make some good of what has been an absolute mess from start to finish. Mm. How do they come back? They don't. They don't. Yeah, <laughs> you can't who's going to trust that? them with a booking now? Nobody. The, uh, it, it, it seemed like this was going to happen from the start when they announced the, the scale of the show yeah. and the names on it. It seemed unlikely to happen. Even if you have that those names, which I assume they must have had them agreed, mm-hmm. just not because obviously Lena Fenene pulled out after the fight, sort of halfway through the fact. Mm-hmm. But there must have been a time where she was agreed. You don't run a ten thousand seat arena, do you? No. Get no. a O2 it's, Academy it's sort of level. None of the names are like, obviously they're all former WWE talents or big names, but none of them are going to sell out that size, right? Mm, no. Like, as it's been clear there. I don't know if it was a tables match, Lana and Nia Jax, that would have been good 5,000 at least. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's before Alistair Overeem. And before Overeem. F- uh, Fandango was there. Okay, yeah. I mean, the original card was what? Just all imports. Yeah. It just is. Whoever whoever's back in it surely must think Something this is not weird going on. Yeah, yeah, we don't know who's back in it. No. Well, should we? No, I shouldn't speculate who's no. back in the show. <laughs> not at all, because we'll get ourselves in legal issues. We should say that Fightful Select were reporting. We've heard from several talent associated with both sets of cancellations who made it clear that they never work for the company again. Many of the roster had uh, even worked the event as a favor for both the former Akeem and Reza. Mm. Remember that one? That was the names, eh? Mm-hmm. Fantastic, yeah. Shotzi. Been a tough week for Shotzi, hasn't it? It has. It has. Uh, obviously, didn't have the best of nights at Money in the Bank uh, on last Sunday, and, but we all have bad days at the office. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I'm having one right now, presenting this podcast, because <laughs> I keep slurring my words. Yeah, but... Matthew makes it look... <laughs> Not easy, but... <laughs> <laughs> I did all right last week. I'm just a well, fish yeah. of a tree this week. Um, but anyway, she put an initial statement out to address the, the criticism that was coming her way because of a couple of boshes that was involved in that women's ladder match. Um, she said, one of the first things I said was, I can't wait to see that uh, spot on Botchamania. Matthew took the Twitter reply, you'll look beautiful in there, pal. 
<laughs> you look beautiful on me. Uh, something like that. Oh, you look okay. beautiful yeah. on Botchamania. At least he was nice about it. Yeah, yeah at least he was nice about polite. it. Um, but comments like, you should be fired and other terrible things admittedly hit hard. I have a few a few friends uh, wipe the tears off my face and slap some sense into me and remind me who the F I am. Uh, F I am. That being said, all my haters can suck my big, giant, hairy mangoes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... Speculate amongst yourselves as to yeah. what those big like hairy giants. Giant... promo. <laughs> Miz, isn't it? Yeah, Miz, yeah, Miz, yeah, it is. <laughs> then, of course, Shotzi, because of the abuse and whatnot she got. Because, you know, it's, it's all fun and games going, oh, you made a mistake, whatever. Because yeah. everyone makes a mistake. I'm making lots of mistakes today, as I've said. But to go, you should be fired for two mistakes in one match is uncalled for. Yeah. And I can't, I can't imagine what else she was getting sent her way because all wrestlers and people are get stuff like that on the daily, don't oh, they? Yeah. But then she took the Instagram after de- uh, deleting her Twitter account to say, I appreciate everyone checking on me, but I swear I'm fine. I've been going through the toughest year of my personal life, so it's deeper than nasty comments. But also Twitter has not helped me with my fragile mind state. Just trying to stay motivated and positive. I'm focused on my own goals and not what's on the internet. And fair play. Yeah, fair Twitter enough. is not a nice place at times, so yeah, yeah. just no. get off it. Save your mental health. Wish I had the balls to get rid of my Twitter. Uh, yeah. I can't know with a blue tick. Well, yeah. you've got the blue I'll, tick. I'll be course. letting down Twitter, if anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll be begging you to stay. Right. From a horrible bit of news to a fantastic bit of news because professional wrestling is about to get 10 times better, everybody. Because Give Me Sport have reported this week that Tyson Fury is in talks for a WWE <laughs> return. And that return is yeah. in line to happen with Clash at the Castle. Oh. And they have also apparently confirmed that he is going to wrestle again. Oh, this, oh, get yeah. hyped, Ron. That's the match we all want to see is just anyone. He's going to be Drew, if anybody, isn't it? Because every single yeah. time you hear Tyson Fury go, oh, you big dosses in the wrestling world. What do you like, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's it what he sounds Drew like. It is Drew who responds every single but time. It's weird because we all had assumed, or many of us had assumed, that Drew was going to win money in the bank and cash in ahead of time saying, I'll have you in the UK. Yeah. And now... If he's not, who's going to face Roman Reigns? Is Roman going to be there? Yeah, I was going to say, unless Reigns just doesn't appear on the show. He's well. meant to be there. I saw someone report a couple, yeah. like last couple of days that he is going to be there. But I've got a rumor now that it's going to be Drew versus Sheamus with Tyson in some in either Sheamus's corner or like some sort of Mike Tyson role from like WrestleMania 14, that sort of role. That's what I've seen. Okay. Just the way they're going at the yeah. moment with Sheamus and Drew. Mm. And he'll just, he'll, he'll turn face at the end. Yeah. yeah. Knock out Whereas Roman... Roman Roman could face Booch. Yes, Roman versus Booch. That's the match we're all after. <laughs> I mean, that would be a good match to be fair. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Was it enough to put on a big card of show? Enough of a match, I should say. What, Roman uh, versus Booch? No. Yeah. No. 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 Oh, no. Oh, because he's because he's British. Oh, yeah. oh. Roman versus Ridge. I would say Booch is more French now than English. Because of that. Because of that chant. support he sees in Paris. Yeah. Every single, well, the one time he went there, they were yeah. going radio rental phrases. Going, you see the video? Crazy, yeah, yeah. Oh, boots. Going wild for him. At the Icelandic claps. Um, so we'll see what happens with Tyson Fury. I hope he just puts the hours in before the match this time because it was clear huh. well, that match with Strowman that he just didn't put the hours in. There's he a lot won. of pressure. Yeah. The... Uh, by count out a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah he did him win. off the apron. Yeah. But we've yeah. seen what Logan Paul and Bad Bunny since then, and they've been. Pretty good. That's the new standard. Was Tyson. it Meltzer saying that celebrity wrestling now, the standard's higher than it's ever been? There's way too many good celebrity wrestlers now. There's got to be. But there's two. Logan and yeah. Bad Bunny. Yeah. Shaq. 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 <laughs> if he's still alive, he's uh, still disappeared in wrestling world, so who knows what's going on I was going to say there. Stephen Merchant, but it's not. It's Stephen, not Stephen Merchant? It's, Stephen it's Merchant. Arrow. What, uh, Stephen. Amel. 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 Not Stephen, Stephen Merchant. Merchant. Stephen Merchant would be great. All oh, right. <laughs> Here we go. He's nice and rangy. He would be. Yeah. Yeah. He'd be able to touch reach. the rope yeah. from like, the other side of the ring. Um, Big E has given us an update on his situation on Twitter. He says, my C1 isn't ossifying, which means in brackets, forming bone quite yet. The current plan is to get more scans at the one-year mark and see how it's progressing. The great news I've... Is, if, is I feel tremendous and surgery is off the table, no. which is nice news at the end there, but like you, mm-hmm. you're reading that one, yeah, Mark, just to check it up. Yeah. How long is it going to be? I guess that I doesn't know. matter. Just get healthy. Just yeah, get healthy. Yeah, I, I'm worried that we're not going to see him back in the ring again, but the main thing is he, obviously, as you said, gets healthy. Yeah. But uh, a year a year would be what, March next year, March right? next year, yeah. And, and you're right. The most important thing is his health, but I've also realized quite a selfish fan level that I really am missing him from the weekly product yeah like even when he's not being mm-hmm. used very high up the card he always you know he always, he's always he's entertaining isn't he yeah yeah I would put him on commentary mm. him yeah. Pat and Michael is yeah. a good Friday night yes. too much energy there in terms of wrestling <laughs> commentary much, him and, and going elsewhere him and Pat in the same <laughs> booth same. you wouldn't have to have the, the, the classic heel you know Corey Graves Byron Saxon sort of thing just have mm. three lads having a good time yeah, Biggie yeah. would add to that I know it's great already but like Biggie would make that a little bit better yeah. already uh-huh. But also frenetic and maybe hard to keep up with. Who it knows what happened there? Wrestling Observer Radio this week, they're saying, I know this is Dave Meltzer speaking. I know there's a lot of people who want to push Montez Ford as a single star. It's possible dramatic ellipsis. 
I can see them really trying to do something with Borders a single, he continued. He's got a lot of charisma. He's a super athlete. There's people who are very high on him right now, especially with his new physique. Yes, that boy has got swole. He has indeed. Yeah, he it has, was crazy yeah. to see how, much, how bigger he is. How, for bigger, such a how much bigger. For such a naturally slim man as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But, and then haven't they been, um, you might have included this in the notes actually, did Kayla try oh, and yes, uh, add to the fire? I'm sorry, Miss Braxton, but are you for real? On Monday Night Raw, you were <laughs> saying they aren't getting along in that little in-ring promo they had. That came out of nowhere, which means they could be sowing the seeds for a little split-up angle. Then you watch Money in the Bank. I'm, I'm happy that Gary, because I like to call him Gary and Ken. That's the real names. Wow. Right. That's my favorite thing. The Street Profits. Street Profits. Angelo and Montez. It's actually Gary and Ken. Gary and Ken. Ken. Yeah. I'm sure it's Gary Gordon and Ken Crawford. Yeah. Oh, is there real, yeah, actual, real, real actual names? Oh, yeah. wow. I thought this is my favorite you, thing. Like, no, no. Just, it's like they yeah. could be Ken Barlow's kids for all we know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, they were fantastic at Money in the Bank. I thought Gary Gordon, uh, Angelo Dawkins. <laughs> He was fantastic at Money in the Bank. Yeah. He did really well, yeah. I, I felt bad because we, I was watching it with Joel and Luke. They were editing what happened out that night. Mm. And um, Angelo got the hot tag and he set up for his running 360 sting stinger splash in the corner. And I mockingly went, oh, I love this move. And then they went on to have like the best match of the yeah. night by far. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I feel bad. Because for the longest time, it was like, yeah, Montez has clearly got something, but Gary's just there, you know, just mm, keeping him company for a little Gary. while. Yeah. But now it's like Gary could be his own guy. Yeah, yeah He's yeah. good. Yeah, he's really improved over the past so, what, hopefully year. It's, it's not a, a classic case of the, you know, you, 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 you're Shawn Michaels. And I'm, you're not, I'm United, scared of him becoming Tucker. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, he doesn't. Because no. Tucker's talent as well. Get Tucker great. back yeah. in the fold. I remember that Elimination Chamber tag match. Tucker was like the Jumping best one the in the yeah. yeah. Incredible. Uh, Stig will melt to this time, and he says that Liv versus Ronda Rousey is the plan for SummerSlam 2022. Uh -oh. It is interesting, though. He says this is Dave Melter, as I think almost everybody figured it was going to be Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey at SummerSlam, and it's not. Ah, uh, well. How many times has this happened? And then Charlotte, it's, it's a triple threat with yep. Charlotte. They yeah. could easily do that. Dave Meltzer himself will come out on the stage <laughs> and welcome Charlotte Flair back to yeah. WWE, even though people said it's not. Yeah, I fear for Liv there. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't see how she comes out with that. Is she going to pin Ronda Rousey proper? Because <sighs> money in the no. bank cashing in is fine because obviously Natalia uh, yeah. wore her down good and yeah. proper and then allowed Liv to swoop in there for the win. But to have a straight up singles match. The only way I can see it is if someone jumps Ronda to set up her next feud away from the title scene. Mm -hmm. Charlotte Flair. Yeah. Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> Natalia. Bailey's a good show. Yeah, maybe yeah. Bailey. What the hell is she doing, eh? Bailey. Yeah. I was I was hoping to see her at Money in the Bank. Yeah. She seems to be fit by all accounts. I feel like mm -hmm. maybe they're saving it for SummerSlam. Her yeah. big return. That's another That would make sense. But yeah. it, I guess it could be a nice story if they went full in on Liv just to have like her improvement go so far that she's beaten Ronda Rousey clean at SummerSlam. I like that she got you deserve it chance cuz I mm. think she I think she does she deserve does. it. Yeah, 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 she's she's always been like there's always any Liv Morgan match usually there's like a big spot or something where you go wow like she took that bump right she's mm. a fantastic bumper mm. and I, I don't know what her footwork's like but have you been watching that Ross? Oh yeah I love yeah, the footwork's impeccable okay, fair not enough. quite <laughs> Tiffany Stratton levels yet yeah yeah because right, yeah. off it was fantastic this morning Lewis House who knows wrestling he's a, a man who is he must be 29 or 30 years of age he's, he's older got, than us so he's probably early 30s 30, yeah. 31 something like that but he's got the head and the shoulders and the brain of a 55-year-old grizzled veteran from Texas. He's a cowboy. And he was, he was big enough, Tiffany Stratton. Mm. And as we all know on the podcast here, long-time viewers and listeners will know that Tiffany Stratton is my one to watch. Lewis yeah. sent me a picture yes. on uh, Slack. Oh, yes, she is. Oh. Lewis sent me a picture on Slack at 7.30 a.m. that I missed <laughs> today. And then when I saw it, it was just a really, really massive bloke with a shirt off. And I went, why have you sent me that? And he went, I thought you were a Steve Blackman fan. It was a young Steve Blackman. Oh, my, my God. Looking huge. With an 80s sort of mullet. Going I can't on. imagine Steve Blackman being like huge. He was already quite yeah. quite huge, yeah. but he was even huger. But then he got malaria off. or something. Oh, no, oh. Just, not just off the roids. No, no, he got... This he was got, the 80s, brother. He, it was <laughs> the late 80s and he was like maybe about to sign or something with WWF. And then he got malaria and oh. almost died, I think. And then like seven years later came to the WWF. Yeah, they'll yeah. call him a lethal weapon for now. No. Um, there was a major talent meeting that was reported here, there and everywhere just before Money in the Bank last Saturday with interim chairwoman and CEO Stephanie McMahon, Triple H and Nick Khan all present. Apparently Steph led the meeting according to multiple sources and it was generally well received by attendees. Fightful, uh, Fightful Select have confirmed themselves the positive reception line and apparently the meeting reportedly saw the exec executives re uh, reiterate that Triple H is back at WWE full time, which is good news. Yeah. Yeah, really good news. It's, it's great to see him back. I wonder what capacity, though. We're, I don't think we're still quite sure on whether he's back in just NXT. The the cerebral assassin. Just the, just, just, if NXT yeah. starts going back the way it was, would you be sad, actually? Would yeah. you, I'll, I'll, I know time. you would be. Would you, you be, be sad, Fraser? Um, I would want it to go back to pre-2019 NXT. Yes. 
But yeah, Black and Gold for the past two years wasn't great. No, it wasn't. Boring. It wasn't. Boring. It was yeah. a bit boring. I think it's because you're not, you're not getting like... the talent rotating. Mm. And that was the issue. Everyone's yeah. a good wrestler these days. E- everyone. 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 Everyone's a good wrestler wow. these days. You need yeah. the gimmick to set yourselves apart. About this meeting, though, continuing on, wrestlers were told that Stephanie's door is always open to them, and she thanked the talent uh, to close to close get together receive. That makes no sense, that sentence. I'm a nightmare here. Mike Johnson reports it was effectively a rah rah meeting. Right. Which prompted Tom to say to Adam on the news, if there's a rah rah meeting here, Tom should hold it, not Adam. First of all, why make that leap in the first place? Yeah. And also, what was his reasoning for him holding it? Yes. Adam? I don't know. He's Tom and he's positive, isn't he? Oh, <laughs> right, right, right. That makes sense. Yeah. Keep better, morale... better at rah rah than Adam might be, I guess. Yeah. Adam mm-hmm. took it as a bitter blow. Ooh. Buried, he said. Buried. <laughs> Buried by Tom right Adam in front of his face. Adam was the king of the karaoke at the caravan park. <laughs> he was. He was. No, he, he was... wasn't. It was Jamal. Mm, I thought you were going to say you were the king. Of the <laughs> no, he wasn't. I was, um, was it it was Jamal. Was yeah, it really, no, yeah, yeah, not Adam. Not we'll just keep that out of context. Um, <laughs> nothing new was said about Vince McMahon's investigation into this uh, before the show meeting thing. So that's still as it was, it would appear. Yeah. Uh, Io Shirai was in the Wrestling Observer last Friday, which took place after the podcast. So we're here to speak about it now because it's huge news. She hasn't signed her newest contract offer in NXT, oh. which means she'll be a free agent next month in August, if she doesn't sign the new deal. She's apparently told people in Japan, according to The Observer, that when her contract was up, she wanted to return to Japan to be closer to her family. And this is unlike the Kairi Sane situation where she left mid-contract to mm-hmm. go back home, which meant that Dury kept her on as sort of like a rep yeah, in Japan. Yes. So that would be a massive loss. Why she hasn't been on the main roster yet, there must uh, be a, a proper reason for it, because it seems weird. It's baffling. Is yeah. it the classic, like, well, she's foreign. They won't take to yeah. her. <sighs> Probably. Yeah. No, I mean, hopefully right it's not any sort of reservation. Maybe it is a reservation. We're just speculating recklessly here now, but hopefully yeah. it's not a reservation on her side because of that sort of thing. Unless they've just got, they don't, they don't yeah. find they've got a place for her or that. But she's so good. She is. Yeah. She is. It's just it's strange. It's, it, I hope that she goes back. I think stardom is probably where she'll end up if she leaves. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she's so Tony's got to be rubbing his hands, though. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Next oh. for Ben Door Show if stardom's involved. He wanted to start involved, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Mm. Oh, bloody hell. Watch this space. The next month, Io Shirai could be a free agent. I think that's it for the, the Weekend Wrestling news section. That was good. Any more to bring to the table? No, Dan, all... any news from your end? How's your family? Good. Good. <laughs> good. They're good. I had um, a weird dream last night. You had a weird dream last night. I heard about this upstairs, so Don't know if I should mention I'll give you the full five minutes <laughs> to uh, explain what happened. I had a dream where I was on some sort of like... I think it was from memories of traveling between cities for wrestling shows. So there was various different cars. You know, like traveling about, and, I, and it was like learning who's in whose car. So like, oh, you're in with Sam Ross and Elton John. And I was like, I'm in with Elton John. I was John. wondering where that was, how the yeah, link from Elton yeah. John so to I the thought, car came. Hey, that's not bad. I'm in with Elton John. So me and Elton are in the back seat, but it becomes apparent that he just he really fancies me, and this and it was flattering. It's Elton John, <laughs> but I wasn't really interested, and Elton just wouldn't leave me alone. Oh, that was my dream. <laughs> that was my dream. <laughs> Breaking well, I remember, news here. I remember we dropped Elton off wherever he needed to go. I remember he was texting me and I was like, Elton's not leaving me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I saw someone pull the hamstring on the drive in just now. Is that yeah, a, runner, a runner was Ooh. running across the road. And on the, I was coming over the roundabout, they were running across the road and they did the classic, like, Whoa! Oh. like electric shock. And they went down on the floor and I drove past with a wry smile <laughs> upon my face. You think you're better than me running, do you? It was, it was one of the first things you said when you came oh, out. Man. Just saw her injured a runner. What was it? You were just, just like, just, my day's made. My, my day got up like noticeably better just by <laughs> watching this man. He was fit as a fiddle, mad muscles, and he was wearing a shirt. It's hot here today in Newcastle. He crumpled down in a heap on the floor. <laughs> <Smaller> level. <laughs> oh, man. It was fantastic. <laughs> up the fat lads. See you later, Boris. <laughs> Everybody get excited for the Cultaholic Hall of Fame. And now it's time for everyone's favourite segment, <laughs> the Hall of Fame. And in condescended order, because I still don't know what ascended means. <laughs> <laughs> From last week, we have what might possibly be the lowest ever voted <laughs> potential <laughs> nomination. Oh, I don't know these, I was off, yeah. Right, so Sam nominated the balls on Ronda Rousey. Why? Uh, it was the <laughs> it was the Natalia promo where she dressed up as Ronda Rousey and then Ronda Rousey came out and beat her up. Why well, that was a badly received promo by all accounts. Oh well, yeah, I didn't quite mm. understand what Sam was doing. What do you mean the I balls? Just nodded on and it? laughed. <sighs> because it's the, the balls. On Ronda oh, Rousey. what did it get? <laughs> it got two percent, which might be the lowest ever 
<laughs> in all of fame history. <laughs> Sam went on a... He, he used to win a few when he was second. Yeah. What happened there? It's a fall from He's grade. lost yeah. massively there. Yeah. Then we have second place, which was the Cultaholic Wrestling News thumbnail featuring the Wish version of The Undertaker. Oh, right, it was, was a good It was me, yeah. What, what happened there? It was Adam. Was I it? Thought, I yeah. thought it was Sam. I thought it was an ingenious move to get more clicks. <laughs> it, was, it was great. <laughs> yeah, it actually worked. If you haven't seen it, it's on the channel now. Go back a couple of Saturdays Click ago it, and you'll see it. Turn our block off. Click it. <laughs> <laughs> we need the money. And then finally... Now, this is where we set the cam yep. on the pigeons. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. the winner of the Hall of Fame and the reason why Frazier Poitier is sat in the seat right here. That's what you'd be called if you were part of uh, MMM on SmackDown. Poitier, yeah, it would be. Frazier you've, Poitier. You've been jumping the gun on it, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, that's oh, oh, my favorite stable. We have the concept of the arrogance of youth. <laughs> 66%. Not only is Frazier Poitier taking Jack the job as catchphrase mm. there of the arrogance of youth, but he's also murked them off by adding the concept. The concept, the... yeah. I've yeah. taken two things that you've you made have. popular. Yeah. Yeah, I've just I've, that's all I'm doing. I'm still fair enough, no, it's fair enough. I thought you know um, I, I was filling in for you. I thought I'd take take a page just, out of your book. It's just disappointing. <laughs> it's just I love the energy. Yeah, I love yeah, the ambition. Yeah. yeah, it's just disappointing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, I thought I, nominating the arrogance of youth and then winning it. You know, <laughs> that's got to grind your gears a bit more. You know what this is an example of? <laughs> mm, what's it's that? the arrogance of youth? Exactly. Yeah. This exactly. is more. I'd say this is more the audacity of youth. This is the audacity. Yeah, yeah. This is the audacity. Yeah. yeah, this is an arrogant. Well, funnily enough, that's my pick this week. Mm. <laughs> it's, just, it's usually when it's usually when opinions on films or food come about. Yeah, Fraser yeah, yeah. suddenly. But well, to be fair, he's cooked more. Oh well, yes, in food, his short I trust time him on food. food. I trust, except that he doesn't like mayonnaise. I don't like mayo. Don't like <sighs> most dairy products. Really? Really? Fair yeah, enough. most dairy. But um. But I told Bethany that, and you know what she said? What did she say? Oh, he just needs to grow up. <laughs> grow up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> was it why? She was like, man, is the sort of thing you think you don't like when you're a kid. And then you learn. You that is like exactly it. what happened to me. Same I, I well, grew yeah. up until about just before uni. I didn't like mayonnaise. I'd made my mind up when I was a yeah. kid. Got to uni. Weatherspoon's beer and a burger back in the day before Tim made an arse of himself yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> used to put the mayonnaise on there. Life changed. I haven't mm, gone back. Nah, I just can't, I can't get on board with Have it. Got any mayonnaise in the office? Probably. Do you Probably want to pin him, pin him down? No. <laughs> so Fraser. Um, sorry. Oh, sorry, it's Fraser, isn't it? Yeah, Fraser won. kicking things off. 66%. So Fraser, what is your nomination this week? So I thought there was a lot of pressure when you said yesterday you're back on the podcast. I was like, I actually don't know what I'm going to pick. But then it reminded you me. About, you thought about it not on the day off. Not on the day before. off. Yeah, you're already I, ahead of us. I, I wanted to you know, get something prepared. So I've sent Dan something oh. and it's to add to the story. But last week we mentioned that Hasbulla had joined the office. <laughs> Uh, by <laughs> Mr. Jack Atkins uh, has has brought along this little cutout. Which Jack, if you can just pass over to me, we've got him here. Not Atkins, we've got Hasbro. <laughs> <laughs> here he is, the little lad, the little lad. Look at him, little lad. That's what Jack Atkins calls him. There's my yeah. little lad. Well, we'll see if we can prop him on the seats. No, we can't. Put him on the <laughs> table. He'll fit in. Look at that. Ah, oh. is he going to fit in? Why there we I? go. Hasbro. Um, yeah. So we've been wanting to get him in the office for a while, and and I think. Atkins' girlfriend won him at a, a raffle oh, somewhere. What happened? Uh, and he's been holding him hostage at home for quite a while. And then he didn't want to take him on the metro, so he's brought him in uh, when, when, <laughs> when, he when he could, when he could the hide metro. him. Um, but we've, me and Atkins and Kieran, one of the Triple Jumps video editors, have, have been big fans of Hasbro for a while. We've since maybe August last year, we've had a wee chat on Twitter where we share each other tweets of Hasbro, and we've called it Hasbro Holic. Um, and we think having Hasbro in the Hall of Fame, he needs to go in there. So it's. Jack Atkins bringing Hasbro to the Cultaholic office is my nomination. This is a new strategy, is the use of props. Because right, we've, okay. we've used digital media, we've used video and audio aid, but this is new, I yeah. think. You're like Carrot Top, the American prop okay. comedian. Yeah, yeah. And you're changing the game. I just thought we might, he deserved to be on the podcast as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think, Ross? What do you think of him? I do like Hasbro. I saw yeah. a piece on YouTube about him with this guy with long hair. He was just sort of doing like a mock interview with him. He was okay. taking the piss out of Hasbro. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was doing it in a nice way to his face. Yeah. It was nice to see him doing his fighting and whatnot. Yeah, and he's then, got some good fists. Yeah. yeah. Right, he could what, slap what do you think of his footwork? His footwork is mm -hmm. non-existent. Okay. Right. It's not It's not a patch on the likes of your Tiffany Strattons and your Cash yeah, Wheelers, for example. Um, but Hasbro, I can see why you've put him in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. He'll probably win now because I know he's, Hope, he's quite a phenomenon. He's quite, he's quite popular. He's, he's, it's just, yeah, Atkins is also going in with Hasbro. Mm. So bringing him to the office. And being called the little lad. 
The little lad. The little lad. Our little, little lad. lad. It's an orange. He's like the adopted wee boy in the office. The adopted wee boy. There's a couple of things to note about this Hasbulla. First <laughs> and foremost, there's blue sort of floor in between his little feeties there. And we have blue floor upstairs. And there's like a white skirting board between his legs if you go up towards yeah. his knees there. And we have like a, a, a chunky white skirting board as well. So when you place him in the right place, it looks like he's actually stood in it's the like office. It's like he's here. It's yeah, like he's it here. matches up. <laughs> it matches up with your eye line. Yeah. And I was in the office on my own on Sunday daytime doing WTF uh -huh. upstairs. Twice I went because <laughs> I can't see him from the computer where he stands, mm -hmm. but I didn't realize he was there and obviously turned around and thought, little lad. He's, he's been kind back. of used as a, a hat stand or a coat stand this week. Oh, he's been abused. So yeah. it's, yeah, it's not, not fair on him, but he's a good addition. I quite like him. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can't, yeah. I, I mean, I don't have the best history with Ovis mascots. Do you remember when Ashton brought that bear in? Yeah, you don't like Emma. Emma the bear. Yeah, give her her name. Emma the bear. She Emma sits downstairs. Oh, that brown bear. Yeah. yeah, currently in the triple jump streaming room. Oh no, Ashton didn't bring it in. She just took ownership of it. It, it got was sent in, in by a YouTuber called yes, Emma. Emma. Got you, yeah. right? Got you, yeah. So, but he hasn't offended me quite as much. Bring him down, yeah. But I'd go to the toilet and then I'd come back and the bear would have my hat and my headphones on sat at my desk and I'd be like, oh, I... it's not on that. No, it's not. People going into your personal space no, and whatnot. No, no. It's a joke. Um, I was second last week, so I'll go second this week. And I'm just going to put in the Hall of Fame, because it was reintroduced once. <laughs> just got asked, well, just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> put him where the light is, for goodness sake. It's, 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 it's not very light. well lit. See. Is that better? Oh, my God. Put him here. That's what you want him there. Yeah. Um, anyway, something that was reintroduced into my life, thanks to Fraser this week, was the noble Curly Whirly. Oh yes, That's and you great. forget you forget how good a curly whirly is until you put a curly whirly in your mouth and chew on it. Mm. So I'm going to nominate the curly whirly for the Hall of Fame this week. It's a strong pick. I'm 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 back. You know I'm back in your picks there. Well, no, I don't know if you are Fraser because not, I've got no, to reveal I'm... something you said the other day. We were talking about how good curly whirlies were and how you do forget how good curly whirlies are. And yeah. Fraser went. I prefer a fudge. I do prefer <laughs> a fudge. I do prefer a fudge. Thank you, Dan. You are Earth is happening. Am I going mad? A fudge is better. A curly whirly below a fudge. Yeah, I would. Oh. Put, I would take a chomp over a, a curly whirly. At the same. No, because a curly whirly kind of goes everywhere. Oh, so a chomp what? doesn't. What do you mean a curly whirly goes everywhere? Chomps look better than fudges. So the ones we've got upstairs are quite soft. Yeah, but the hard ones breaking at pieces. Why do you get a hard curly whirly from? You put them in the fridge. Yeah, in the well, fridge. Watch your own fault. I'm I don't put them in the, in the fridge, fridge. family. Oh, oh, no, 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 yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. You're all down so here. Look, down yeah. here is all chocolate in the fridge. Unit five biscuits in the fridge. Oh, biscuits is different than kettle of fish. Biscuits in the fridge. He's not. He's, there's there's he's milk. His head I saw milk digestives in there. Well, they've got chocolate on. But that's it's still a biscuit. I but I can. Dan, you're all allowed to talk. You know, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> he's just just sign language. The camera doing sign language. You can shout if you want. Defend the noble digestive chocolate biscuit in the fridge concept. It's got chocolate on. Yeah, yeah, it gives the chocolate a what pleasant about, cracking. So any biscuits with chocolate. Oof. You call Kit Kat a chocolate bar biscuit? Biscuit. Uh, it's a I'd wafer. Put, I'd put a Kit Kat in the fridge. But I'm a chocolate in the fridge person, though. Yeah. I use ketchup in the fridge. After you've opened it. Yeah, after you've opened it. This was this was uh, discovered on this morning. That like you actually have to put a... It says on the back, okay, doesn't it? it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. And mayo, once you've opened yeah. it. Yeah. Most sauces. Use it in the month. Yeah. In fact, yeah, what sauce doesn't go in the fridge after you've opened Although, it? Although, if you go like a, a restaurant, restaurant to, maybe, go to a restaurant, they all keep them on the tables. What about like hot sauces? Because they've surely got stuff in the preserve. I don't dabble with them. No, well, there's enough we sugar did. in most sauces. Yeah. I'm gutted that that hot sauce video didn't get more views. After know, the hell we yeah. put ourselves Sacrificed through. our body <laughs> for like an hour. <laughs> got 40 odd thousand. <laughs> uh, so yeah, curly whirlies, which are above a fudge in the totem. Well, below. see, this is where we are. It's below in the totem pole, but above on the tier list. The, right. It's a common misconception okay. that saying we've learned on the podcast. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Jack? Mine's uh, it's really similar to yours in that it's something me and you agree on, Ross, but not the majority of the rest of the office, these young fools. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm nominating the humble. Do you say the noble Curly Whirly? I just put Curly Whirly. Okay. Well, I'll go for the noble Caps Lock Key. Ah, oh, right. No, no. It's been a shocking week this week <laughs> for and me. The problem is, I think that I'm definitely going to lose this one because, in my experience, I feel like we're the outcasts here and we're in the minority. I've, just, we watched them do, I've just watched them do it now. That's how I do yeah, it, it's, little, little thing. So yeah. when you're typing prose <laughs> <laughs> or poetry, do you, um, viewer, do you use the caps lock key, hammer on, hammer off, hammer on, hammer off? I do. Well, Ross does as well. Mm. Or do you go for the shift key? I think that when I, when I was arguing this, 
the shift people I find quite pompous. Yeah. <laughs> well, the shift keeps them it's like easier. it's like speaking to a New Japan fan in 2017. Right. Yeah, it is. <laughs> they they know exactly. something. You don't do that thing, and they're better because uh, of that. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm aware of I'm aware of the function of the shift key, but now that I've grown up this way. If I was to try and adapt to use the shift key, it would slow me down. Yeah. Even though technically, yes, you'd, eh, it's quicker, but I'm just I'm content just going bang, 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 bang. Yeah, it's, it That's takes fair. no extra time. Yeah, I find it satisfying but as well. It's just, I see. I find it satisfying in the, the shift key because it's just one. The, boom, the rest done. of your fingers are all tippy tapping away, and then one's got to remain still. Th- if anything, well, no, those you get, you get so, not great. You get so fast. On the guitar, you get so fast that you do it at the same time. You don't have to. <sighs> if anything, those who use the caps lock key to put a random capital letter in the middle of a sentence just are better because they have more. Uh, Fast twist, uh, more dexterity, and more, yeah, control, yeah, yeah, yeah. more dexterity, more fast twitch muscle fibers. Uh, we're just better human beings, <laughs> yeah. more r- rounded people. I would but say. But because okay. I know of the general attitude of, you're right. They're like elitist New Japan fans or like fans of, like Radiohead or like a, a band that's regarded mm-hmm. as critically acclaimed. The Ting Tings, not the Ting Tings. <laughs> 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 the, there's a certain like hipster arrogance about them. Yeah, because this comes from the news video. Me so and I know Tom the did. comments are going to be like, well yeah. against us. but yeah, I, I had no idea. Tom was just like, he dropped it in the middle of a conversation. Me and him were having on the news. He uses the shift key for random capital letters. I was shocked. I was like, I do that. And then he's like, no, no, that's wrong. <laughs> Took the conversation upstairs. Everyone said the same thing. Yeah. No, Ross, you all are wrong. And Dan, yeah. what do you do? Are you a shifter? I have a fear of commitment, so I like to shift. <laughs> <laughs> for those who didn't hear that, he said he has a fear of commitment, so he likes to shift. What was the consensus when you tweeted it out? There are a fair few. It, it to be seem fair. split, to be fair. Uh, yeah. did, I reckon did it's it? a good 30% are caps locks, mm-hmm. men and ladies mm-hmm. and all sorts. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's, 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 a, it's a shocking thing. It's like when you, you bring an electric toothbrush into your life because you, you've been used to that for so yeah. long and now you're tasked with holding it still. Mm. Can't do it, so I just do both, me. <laughs> an electric <laughs> toothbrush, but do that at the same time. Right. Yeah. Does that nullify the electric toothbrush? Does um, it damage the electric it toothbrush? It could damage it, I would think. No, no, no. It's fine. Just Does it fine? Right, yeah. yeah. 30 seconds, like, thing, like, thing goes off, it's fine. Yeah. Wow. Lovely conversation. Last week it was the terrors of the deep blue sea. This week it's the electric toothbrush. <laughs> the, so, noble <laughs> the noble caps lock. The noble caps lock. The noble caps lock. Yeah, Sam brought like a Joe Rogan-esque like high discussion of the deep blue sea. The, the it was whole a giant section. squid we yeah, found. Yeah. I haven't listened to last week. Yeah, it's very deep. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not the sea, but the, the sea, conversation, but yeah. yeah. Like, I wanted a doobie. Very metaphorical. I don't know why. This, it's how, where, where, I how, remember Where how. did it link into the podcast? Um... Uh, Maybe it was Matthew it, and his animals. Ironic of it us was, to say. It was, yeah, because we, oh. we had the crab, the fairy oh, yeah. crab. It's been said a lot recently that we know less about the sea than we do space or something. Yeah. Which, I, which, which yeah. I don't believe. We're going again. Well, it's not true. Yeah, we're going back in. Oh. So, well, we don't know how big space is. So how can we know Street's more about infinite. space than the sea? Maybe we should get Sam in and the bag of weed and see what we <laughs> <laughs> go. That was the Hall of Fame set. Is that what's Dan says? Do Googling. we know more about space than sea? Many scientists do believe no, there's I don't much care. more They're of wrong. the universe to explore. Oh, man. Wow. So you're, no, you're correct. You are correct. Oh, yeah, you're correct. I don't know where this, this opinion came from because sure, the sea is... Finite. finite. Yeah. yeah, we know how much of the sea there is. We just haven't explored we it. We just all. don't know. Yeah, space is the biggest thing there ever, and we've not traveled everywhere. Yeah, exactly. We've not even been. Exactly, Mark. We've been out this solar system. <laughs> God, I saw a picture. A picture of Saturn this week on Twitter. Very impressive. It's a it pretty is, planet. Yeah. It's yeah. probably the best looking of all the planets. Oh, we're up there. Earth's up there. We've yeah, got a good. pretty planet. Yeah. Don't know about twenty years time though. Every planet ranked in order of attractiveness <laughs> from worst <laughs> to best. Mars is at the bottom for me. No. Yeah. Oh, uh, the red planet. It's got. It's, it's got a certain. It's nice. Pulled off the. Number three, stick oh, on the mic. Oh, my God. Right, we should wrap this segment up. <laughs> uh, the Noble Caps Lock Key is Jack the Jobber's nomination this week. You've got my nomination, which is the Noble Curly Whirly. Can you say it, please, Fraser? Curly Whirly. Curly Whirly. We've ran out upstairs. Yeah, we oh. have ran out. That was the thing, because uh, it was Adam, wasn't he? He bought a box Adam did, you? yeah, yeah. He you sent them you say the word I nicely. Say it, curly Whirly. So curly you assume whirly. that you like them? Well, yeah, I do have a... I named the stream that We're I do have to. So, yeah, Friday. Curly Whirly Fridays. We're born in them. Yeah. No other thing with that by being, yeah, yeah. Hi. Um, and Hasbulla is Fraser's nomination yeah. this week. Just Hasbulla, no like. Hey, so Jack Atkins bringing Hasbulla to the office. Ja- oh my yeah. god! It's not even just Hasbulla. No, Jack Atkins bringing Hasbulla to the yep. office. If you want to vote on these lovely picks into our Hall of Fame, you can go to patreoncom forward slash cultaholic and cast your votes there and slander each of the picks because there is a comment section. Yeah. And this week's comment section, <laughs> which I'll be uh, relaying to Matthew, has slandered his animal picks. There's a couple of comments saying, oh, thank God there's no more of them. Whoa. And they both had, right? The thing that makes them more severe is the fact they both had like four likes a piece. A piece. So Matthew, well, when he scaling. returns next week, well, he probably will. He'll double down, won't he? That's the sort of guy he is. Extra animal, two animals. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone nominated. Bring a live animal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Started the props. Oh, this is me chimpanzee pal, Carl. Hello, Carl. How are you doing? Just whaps out his Carl. dick on the table. <laughs> yes, my animal pal. <laughs> How are you doing, son? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's turn. <laughs> this is this week in the wrestling. It's this bloody week in the wrestling. Ah. This week in wrestling. Let's watch. Some wrestling. <laughs> I think your math is getting better. Oh, it's t- I know it's he didn't t- say that one though, is he? Let's he used to. He went for a patch where he's like, "Let's watch some wrestling," mm. and now it's just like the weekend wrestling. Smackdown. Um, it kicks things off. No, no, I've done a little. Oh yeah, pun sorry. Come on, I've got Jack's puns. notes here. Sorry, I'm not going to bury them like the Matthew does. No, I think that you will. I think Matthew's actually quite forgiving with some of them. No, I think you'll I'll be given. I'll tell. I was said a few weeks ago. I'll let you know when a, a, a no sell is coming. Oh yeah. Because yeah, you yeah, accused yeah, me yeah. of a no sell when I went. Yeah, anyway. yeah, I remember that, yeah. Um, so SmackDown, <laughs> the new vicious recap. So we'll see. Because that ties in with someone who's That one's not the funniest, but it was pertinent. I can't believe they started SmackDown this way, but they had all the men's Money in the Bank participants open the show on ladders. Yes. Sorry, apart from Omos. Apart yeah. from Omos. Yeah. Yeah. That was the missed opportunity there. They should have had him on the tallest ladder, on yeah. the very top <laughs> rung. So he was like touching the ceiling. That was the missed opportunity there for me. They're interrupted by The Miz, Ezekiel, Corbin and Moss, who all think they should be added to the match. Adam Pearce comes out and books a battle royal Right now, but not just any old battle royal, everybody. Not one of these ones where you have two rings and no, no, multiple no. suits of men coming down, all these newfangled concepts. A good old-fashioned, in quotation marks there, battle royal. Is that a thing they were doing? Is that a shot at AEW? Yeah, I feel, it. Put that out there? Was it? I feel it was definitely a shot at AEW. Nah, yeah. oh. nah yeah. phrase, yeah. yeah. Maybe. I mean, it would have come... Two days after the taping of the Rumble. Yeah. Right? yeah. The, the Rampage Rumble. The yeah. Rampage Rumble. The Royal, Royal Rampage. Rampage. Yeah, fair enough. Aye. Oh, yeah. Maybe it was a thing. Everywhere. You've done what? Spat water. Well, he's Tory water. <laughs> a glass <laughs> bottle water. Aye. This isn't you. Oh I got myself a Nando's recently in the water. I needed to I needed to spend enough to... There was a small order fee. And I thought, why? Well, I, I can't think of anything else I want. And it, it was like two pounds, man. Two pounds for that? A disgraceful. But what type of water is it? That's the most northern I've felt in my life. This is just tap water now. Two pun oh, for that! I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Bloody hell. I thought it was a little weird promo from Seamus during this segment because he was like, oh, Brock Lesnar, I don't fancy that. Seamus? Shame. Should we yeah. call him a massive hairy ballocks? Yeah. It was a northern promo from all the men. Uh, Pat, I like Pat McAfee's enthusiasm uh, mm-hmm. for Zeke. Yeah, yeah. Not just Zeke, as we'll find just out Zeke. later on on SmackDown. Um, and I don't understand why we had the good old-fashioned battle royal. What was the purpose? So we were we were discussing this. We were like, is this was this to get an entrance into the Money in the Bank match? But it's all the folk that are in it. Yeah. Plus what? Rollins eliminated himself. Yeah. yeah. So, he was sensible because he, was. he had a busy night the night after this good old-fashioned battle royal. So he gave himself the night off, yeah. as he should do. Yeah. And I was saying, to, I think I was saying it to you, mm-hmm. that this seemed very much like plans changed backstage. Mm-hmm. They maybe they didn't have enough people for the Battle Royal or something, and they were like, well, we, we'll keep the Battle Royal, we'll just take away the point of it. Yeah. So I don't really know. Corbin wins the Battle Royal, by the way, but it's not to qualify for in the bank, as Jack just said. Later backstage, Pierce settles an argument by booking a fatal four-way to get into the match involving Corbin, Madcap, Zeke, M- Miz. Miz. Yeah. That's who was on that match. Yeah. Yeah. It was... <laughs> any marks? Any marks? Any, any? We're all marks here. Yeah. yeah. Mark here, any yeah. remarks about the good old fashioned Battle Royal match it, itself? It feels like one of those matches that they should have done just as a gauntlet match that they do before pay per views. Like, I just don't understand why they, no. would, why they would do it. No. No. It's just weird. Yeah. There's I thought. No point. Riddle and Sheamus was a standout performance for me. I like the, the promo Corbin put backstage where he said he was farting rainbows because of his win. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. nice. Good but for him. Why was he? Did he think that he was going to qualify? Because he was going back to Vegas, which is where he, um, where he won, won his riches uh, to become Happy yeah. Corbin in the first place. It's long-term God, storytelling, everybody. Like a year ago now. Yeah, it was. <sighs> it was round money in the bank, wasn't it? When he got... uh, SummerSlam was Vegas, was it? right? Oh, was it? Oh, oh yes. Yeah, the, where the stadium uh, where it was supposed to be last weekend. Yeah. Uh, then we have the New Day who are set to take on. The new vicious Viking Raiders to give them their full title. The two teams brawl before the match can get underway and the Viking Raiders stand tall. I hate the name. Yeah, yeah, the new vicious Viking <laughs> Raiders. Can you imagine them backstage putting the mascara on and whatnot, going up to Vince McMahon? Hey, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that? that? That was Ivar. Hey, Vince. Hey, Vince. Hey, can you please call us the, the new vicious Viking Raiders? <laughs> it's a really bad and cool name. Oh, I feel like... It was the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> and the name was forced upon them. Ah, but in kayfabe, you imagine oh, yeah. they, yeah, they come they, up with their names themselves, like, don't they? Vicious. Vicious Viking Raiders. Not like your old Viking Raiders. 
Only Vicious one. Uh, Vicious. Yeah. Why? Why did they need it? They've got. I like the shields though. They use the shields as weapons. Yeah, I, I like them the previous week, but I like them. I was thinking the shield, like Rollins and Reigns and all that sort of malarkey. They could have done with those shields back in the day because there was rumors, wasn't they? They were going to get the big shields. riot shield. Oh, yeah. and they were like, "No, this is goofy. It doesn't work." Well, the real Vicious Viking Raiders just proved <laughs> you wrong, lads. <laughs> just before this, though, we had a promo where one hell of a joke was chill, uh, was told because Kofi made the mistake of saying it was just June. Or was it just July? Whatever he said, he got the month wrong. And it le- led up to the punchline, which was July and... Yeah, yeah, July. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. July. Okay. July. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. guy it used in. to be WWE channel. <laughs> <laughs> and also, they said that everyone wanted to see Dance and Shanky the week before, but that everyone was robbed of that, to which I would um, say, Kofi, July in, because I didn't want to see it. You didn't want to see Dance no. and Shanky? Don't want to see Dance oh, and Shanky. Oh, come on, get out Dance and Shanky. <laughs> it's it was great fun. Fine for one show. One show is at ceiling for me. Make him WWE champion. He's gone. He wasn't on the show this week. Yeah. Good. No. <laughs> <laughs> Liv Morgan, Alexa Bliss, and Asuka team up to beat Raquel Rodriguez. Fresh baby face, Lacey Evans, um, and what, uh, and Asuka. Oh, yeah. No, you got yeah. you got Asuka on both teams. Oh, really hang on. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, no. I've not written them yeah. down either. Uh, <laughs> Becky well, Lynch. It was a weird... Becky Lynch was Becky on Lynch. one of the teams. Yeah, that's why you she know attacked. Who was in the mask was, it. it was a weird configuration of teams because the, the heel face numbers weren't balanced. Yeah. So, like, I think maybe Asuka was on the... No. Was it not Liv, oh, Alexa, Asuka? <laughs> Liv, Alexa. Raquel, Lacey, Becky. Professional so, wrestling So, so Raquel was on the heel team. Then. Yes. Becky yes. was on commentary because that was the weird oh. thing. Oh, yeah. They had the seven ladies. Shotzi, and, then. Yeah, Shotzi. Shotzi. She had the seven lasses involved in the ladder match, all involved in this segment, but Becky was the only one yeah, not wrestling, yeah, which yeah, made yeah. no sense to me because obviously with the, the match fair, taking place. Yeah, it's not yeah. fair, is it? She got the night off. Mm. Um, she had a karaoke contest, I thought. Or a dance off with Shanky. Or a dance off with Shanky. Oh, yes. Yeah, but they've been down that road before, haven't they, with a yeah. the karaoke? Yes. Tamina, yeah, Tamina yeah, yeah, gets have, yeah. screwed. Yeah. They gave her like two seconds, was it? She picked the game Triple H, which oh, has a yeah. long intro, yeah, and then yeah. they cut her off before she could get going. It's uh, disgusting. She should have done some Fred Durst, uh, some Limp Biscuit. Yeah. 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 See your titties now. <laughs> <laughs> we had babyface Alexa Bliss, I thought. Now. <laughs> The new visit, Fred Death. <laughs> um, we have Babyface Alexa Bliss, who was on the Babyface team, doing some good heel work against the Babyface and still smiling Raquel Rodriguez, Rodriguez I thought, yeah. where she was going like, oh, peacocking and all that sort of stuff, mm. which was weird. It was just, it was, it was fine. But like the Battle Royal, there wasn't much rhyme or reason, didn't make much sense with Becky being on the outside for me. But what did you make of it, Frazier, Poitier? Yeah, it was, yeah, as you said, it was weird to have Raquel on, the, on that other team. But I, yeah, it, it didn't. It didn't make me excited for the ladder match, really. Yeah. I think they, they didn't need this match. Like, they had the Battle Royal for the men's one. I didn't really need to see it. The show generally was felt a bit filler. Yeah, it's, a filler it's quite show. a forgettable show. Yeah, like I was reading over the notes again this morning, and it's just like, nah, this wasn't a standout show leading into Money in the Bank at all. Backstage we go now. Sonny Deville tells Adam Pearce that she has filed for a formal complaint for booking her in a handicap match last week, and then she slaps him. He could file a complaint for that. He yeah. could. Workplace harassment. No, he won't. Yeah. He's a he's a he's a he's a he's a he's a cook. He's a punk ass bitch. <laughs> yeah. He's a cook to Vince McMahon. So what, what do you think he should do? Should just have a match with Sonya? Beat her up. Hell in the cell? Yeah. He's a like three or four time NWA <laughs> yeah. world. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's what we all want to see. After that, we saw a game show between the Usos and oh, the Street what Profits. Was this? Yeah. <laughs> What's right. the definition of a game show? A game yeah. show. I mean, I, when I hear game show, I think of Family Fortunes. Yeah. I was thinking Deal or No Deal. Deal or yeah. No Deal. The Chase. Game show. Um, pointless. Oh, I love Pointless. Game show. Bullseye. 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 Take Bullseye. 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 Yeah. Uh, but this was between the, uh, the Usos and the Street Profits, where the Usos deny they are scared of losing the tag titles. The Street Profits deny not getting along anymore. Oh, this is where that happened with Kayla then. Not on Raw. I said Scott. Yeah, yeah, um, the teams have a big stare down ahead of the pay per view. Um, um, what was the game show then? Well, I've written down in my notes here, there was three really good promos and Angelo was also there. Oh. <laughs> but at least he brought it back with his, with his, his wrestling on Saturday. Yeah. But um, yeah, I thought it was three very good promos from the other lads in the ring. But... I don't mind when the Street Profits do their promos because Ford says the thing and Dawkins kind of just goes, yeah. 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 It's really annoying. It's <laughs> not annoying. <laughs> so <he> does... <laughs> it is when he starts going, yeah. <laughs> You see, it's really annoying, isn't it? <laughs> um, then we get on to the segment of 2022 so far as Max Dupree, uh, he finally introduces MMM, Maximum Male Models. We have Massé, <laughs> we have Mansoir. And I realised during this, 
the Max Dupree is just Robert Stone, but better. Yes. Right, right. He's right. taken an NXT gimmick to the mid. Well, he's been given it on the main roster and he's done, doing it better. So that was a, a, a really sober moment for me. That this, this was the segment of the night. This was, this was fantastic. They have the passion for love and fashion. To me, I've written down here, he sounded like a vicar. Did they tintillate uh, your... Tintillate? Is it not tintillate? Tintillate the titillate juices of the my juice. guilty that's pleasure. That's it, that's it. Did yes, it? They, I, I, I've tweeted. I was very what titillated. A after... I can't wait to ask on a show. Yeah. It's a weird yeah, country, Walking man. down the street. I can <laughs> titillate the juices of your guilty pleasure. Yeah. Um, but Marseille, uh, he has impressive hamstrings, but let's not forget about those ankles. <laughs> Mansoir. He has... <laughs> he's Michael Hayes from the 1950s all the way through till now. I, I don't know if Michael Hayes would appreciate that, but there no, we go. No, I don't think he would, no. But, or Mansoir, because Michael Hayes is a bit of a... I don't know. He gives off certain vibes to yeah. me. Uh, Pat was the highlight once again of this segment, wasn't he? Because he was it's getting so all sorts. He was getting sweaty, all cross-eyed, and just rock hard at ringside. He was bringing <laughs> up the cleavage. How could you forget about the ankle when the ankle looks that good? You're not in New York, he says. You're not in Paris. I remember this when I'm on my deathbed, said Pat McAfee. The <laughs> night I was titillated by Max Dupree. <laughs> it was over the top. It was ridiculous. It was fantastic, and it was even better when you realised that Marseille and Mansoir are good friends good outside mates, the ring. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously, yeah. just having a great time with it all. I didn't like this until I then watched it. When I when I re, when I read the recap, I was like, "This sounds awful." Mm. And I watched it, and particularly me, so Marseille, he was living the gimmick. He was working it, baby. Really good, yeah. <laughs> good. Really good. And the best thing is that tonight is watching this is this podcast on Friday. So just in case you're here on Saturday, just make sure you go back and watch SmackDown from last night. We're getting the tennis wear collection just 2022, in just, just in time for the Wimbledon finals. Oh, imagine that Max Dupree oh, on centre no. court watching <laughs> Nadal and. Kyrgios, probably maybe. I don't know. Djokovic, it. probably. Oh, no, that's the semi final, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Nadal, yeah. Nadal Djokovic on Sunday yeah. in the maximum male models. <laughs> the arrogance of I know, you right? Assuming what the final's going to be. <laughs> This is what I mean. I'm glad people can see this. <laughs> I hope Nick Kyrgios watches this. No, yeah, don't worry, Ross. Yeah. I'll take it from you. Yeah, yeah. Natal and Djokovic. It's going yeah, to happen. Yeah. Do you, do you know Cameron, Nor- Cameron, Nor- got a bit, Cameron Norrie's not getting through. I thought Natal got a bit injured in his uh, quarterfinal match. Uh, that, yes, yeah. that is a good, his hamstring was good. That's true. That's yeah. true, but I, I think it'll be Djokovic regardless. Why? Because Cameron Norrie's not good enough. <laughs> Cameron Norrie supports Newcastle United, all right? He's, he's not good enough, is he? He's not, is he I from here? into his background. Right? He's not from here. He was born in South Africa, moved to New Zealand as a kid, Went to uni in America, but is English. Oh, he's a his parents, his parents are Scottish, Scottish and, Welsh. and Welsh. Yeah, but he's supposed Newcastle. How are Newcastle? <laughs> he's a good Jordy lad. He's, he's an awesome, <laughs> like Sam Fender and Jimmy Nail. Yeah. Um, but that was a fantastic segment, and I can't wait to see what's to come with the tennis wear collection. I'm expecting jumpers over the shoulders. I'm expecting headbands, yeah. short shorts. Yeah. Imagine Massé. Come with the racket. Those calves, those ankles, and some short white shorts. Oh, yeah. It's titillated, aren't you? Has Buller. Buller. His face is titillated. <laughs> My goodness. Anyway, then we move on to the fatal four-way match, which, as we said earlier, had Madcap Moss against Corbin, against Miz, and against Ezekiel to qualify for Money in the Bank. And bloody hell, Madcap Moss went and won it. Yeah, big up him. Well, I thought he'd have more of a role in the eventual match then. Yeah. Because he was quite forgettable. <laughs> The best, well, we'll, just skip, we'll skip ahead to this part of the, the, the Money in the Bank ladder match, the men's one. When he was climbing the, the ladder and it looked like he was going to win, the, the either lack of noise or the booze seemed to confuse him because oh. he was looking around going, eh. <laughs> I'm the baby face. Yeah. Eh. You're supposed to cheer this, but I, I, I agree with that. I thought he would have a, a much bigger part in the match itself. I'm surprised for, Ezekiel didn't win that, though, because yeah. he mm. seems like the one, although they're really behind Moss at the moment, it seems on SmackDown, Ezekiel seems to be the guy that they're really pushing. Yeah, and, and I don't know why. I'm bored oh, by Ezekiel. You're bored of Ezekiel. If last week you wanted need Elrod, lean, right? I know. They need to lean into the three faces of whatever his real name is. Do you know what Ezekiel's real name is? No. Is it, like the um, three faces we'll of Foley? Jonathan. Jonathan Gresham. Do you want to look him up? That's not his Dan. real name. Oh, Dan's doing it. Dan's Dan. going to look up his real name. But if they're, if they're going to lean into that more, that's fine. But apart from that, he's really boring. <laughs> yeah. Um... I, He's I been Jeffrey like, Logan uh, Schoolio. So they have, oh, have the, Schoolio. the three Two faces of Schoolio. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Oh, <laughs> this is like when you told me Liv Morgan's real name. Oh, Gianna Jean Dario. Dario. <laughs> Dario. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then we'll learn Liv Morgan's mother's real name at Money in the Bank because she was in the front row or something. Uh-huh. Gigi. Gigi. No, Chi Chi. Chi Chi. So her I name is Chi Chi Dario. That was in there. I should, they said the mother was there. There's the mother as well. Stop the arrogance of you. <laughs> I listen to this with my no. own ears. The sister was in the front, row. in the front row. The mother might have been watching at home, but the mother's name was brought up as Chi Chi. I'm right. starting right. now to feel bad about the arrogance. <laughs> you can't any time Fraser interjects with anything. We can't just be like, oh, 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 oh yeah, 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 calm down, please. son. Yeah. Um, but as for this four-way itself, I thought there was a nice combo with the German and the sunset flip off the top from Zeke. 
Mm. Yeah, Miz was the one who was German in that little sequence there. You got the Mad Cat Moss run the ropes like Giovanni Vinci. Is a spot I will never get sick of. Like Giovanni Vinci. Yeah, from NXT. I yeah. feel like he needs to be the next male model. Who? Mad Vinci. Oh, oh, Giovanni. Oh, yeah. Giovanni. Oh, Giovanni just makes sense, does it? Yeah. Although they not... conflict. But he, he does all the poses. To the yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. And... He's not quite a Mon Marseille's level, though. Or Mon... I, or I, would, Mon... I, would say, I would say that Mansoir took my breath away more. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I would yeah. say. Would you? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Dan, have you seen it? I haven't seen it. You need just uh, tonight. Just that segment. Lock the door. Turn the lights on. <laughs> Maybe put a candle on in the corner and watch that segment because it's fantastic. Um, I thought the finish was good as well because it keeps keeps him strong. And that that bum ass Corbin had egg on his face, which was mm. nice. Mm. Mm. Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Rampage, we go to. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. Rampage, we're going to. Uh, we have the Royal... With the, the little uh, pun at the start. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. sorry, AEW Rampage. Brody King is a big, big man, and Darby Allen is not a very big man. Yeah, what I song's that? You, yeah, you were strong. No, that was um, inspired King by your old big, fantasy big football man. name, which was Vernon Anita is a very nice man. Oh, man. Oh. You see what he is now? No. He's a rapper. Is he? He's a rapper. Oh, he He's a rapper yeah. back in Holland. <laughs> He's a rapper back wow. in Holland. For, you know, for, uh, I don't know who he is. Same height as Hasbulla. Played centre midfield for Newcastle for a few years. <laughs> he came from Ajax. Oh, he don't even get a Ben and the <laughs> No one gets. There he is. But he's, he, okay. he was my favourite Newcastle player for a while, but now he's a rapper in, in Holland. Look at what a lovely wow. face. Is he, is he actually quite short? Yeah, he's, yeah, tight, he's really yeah, short. Yeah, yeah, small. Yeah, very small. But he's like a terrier. Yeah. Like he, he'll snap at the heels of the opposition. But oh, many well, people didn't take him, you see, Fraser, because he came from the football school of Ajax to Alan okay. Pardew's Newcastle United for a while, mm. which back then was Mike Williamson getting the ball. You know I'm not about that. Oh, well, Mike yeah. Williamson getting the ball yeah. and just hoofing it up to Papi Cissé, going over Vernon's precious little head. Um, but thinking. the Royal Rampage took place. Brody King was the winner, of course. A shocking win for me. But a good win all the same. It was the right sort of surprise. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's like if they established him as a, an, a legitimate threat. Yeah. He's kind of just been in the background to Malachi Black. So that's... I think he stood out in those six-man tags they've had. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, yes. But now I'm glad he uh, he was a good choice as, of winner. Especially in the way he eliminated Loved it. Darby. That's why he's, oh, the that's, dangling. Like that's a, why it yeah. also inspired the pun at the start. Yeah, he's very big. Oh, man. yeah, because he's big and the other one's little. Mm -hmm. He's dropped um, him. Do you reckon they can get away with that name, the Royal Rampage, much longer? Or will someone come and give him a legal servant? Oh, yes, he's sure he's allowed. The Royal yeah. Rampage? That's not the Royal, Royal... Rampage. Is it the word it says, but it's a, it's it says royal, royal and it's an over the top rope concept. It's I feel like they're going to have to put, similar. They'll have to put an E or something at the end of royal. Were there any differences? Just not 30 men, less than 30. Two, was, two, uh, I like the concept with the two, two rings, rings and the groups, yeah. of, the groups of the lads coming down. So it's two battle royals at once, right? And then they have a one the two big, winners. Yeah. yeah, it was very WCW. It was, yeah. I quite liked it, me. I like yeah. the concept. Yeah. I like the split screen, uh, split screen camera work as well that was going on at certain points to show what was happening in both rings. It just makes it just a little bit harder to follow. Oh. Just if you've got, oh, I'm surprised you would say just... that being so youthful. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. A, I would say I, would, I thought you'd you'd be saying that's not reflexes. enough for me to follow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, no, just just because you've got like two matches going on at once, whereas normally in a, what, a battle royal you've got yeah folks in at the side of the ring, and then you've got whatever's happening in the mi middle. You've now got double that, so it's yeah. just a little bit too much. Mm, I, I did enjoy it. The butcher needs to join MMM on SmackDown because the tassels he added to his attire, he just gets sexier each and every week. To Kashta, I need to shout out here because I thought he was fantastic in yes. this match. <laughs> the stuff he was doing, the way he just does it with more of a plumb than most wrestlers yeah, do them. He's a natural. He's a <laughs> yes, he is. That's, How... what, that's what Lewis House called Tiffany Stratton, and she's a natural. Oh, thing. just yeah. like that. Then. He, she's a natural. I don't know how he said it. It was on Slack. But... Oh, right. She's a bloody natural, pal. And then obviously Brody's, we said, looked like an absolute killer. Darby the perfect man to throw around at the yeah. end. Um, I was thinking there's no chance of him beating Mox, which as we know now is the case. But I was thinking last night they would have set up a proper feud between the House of Black and the BCC. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was, that was my rationale for him being the, the winner. But uh, that didn't I mean, happen, still did looking for six-man tag matches. If they introduce the titles, maybe it'll be. Oh, I hope not. I mean, Two it looks like they're setting something else up for him at the end of oh, Dynamite. Yeah, we'll get there later we'll get there. You hold yeah. your horses. Oh, don't your worry, match. I am. Then we saw the young Bucks who defeated Hiroki Goto, uh, Goto and Yoshihashi to deny pickles, them a future yeah, shot. Yeah, pickles. At pickles. Me and Sam, when we used to do our New Japan reactions, <laughs> nicknamed Yoshiashi Pickles because we thought he looked like a little hamster or guinea pig. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little hamster or guinea pig. Pickles, One of the two. Yeah, yeah. Pickles. I think it was a Sam joke, but I was, I was, I was, I was complicit. You I was part it, of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pickles. Yeah. Rest in peace, Alan. I had a hamster a couple of years ago called Alan. Oh, after mm. Shearer. Yeah. Uh, I, I had a, away. a guinea pig called Snoop Pig. Called what? Snoop Pig. Snoop, Snoop Pig. Pig. Yeah, Snoop Pig. Like Snoop Dogg. We had Elvis was... and Snoop Pig. Oh, uh, <laughs> Bethany had sushi. 
Sushi Gaynan. She died. Now she, a... the, now she got the cat. She never mentioned sushi anymore. Yeah. I mentioned yeah. sushi to her. She went, sushi walked, so Mango and Chunny could run. It's like, wow. <sighs> Give sushi more credit. Yeah. We had a massacre in year six because we had this science fair thing where you had to do some sort of little project. They made me pal Daniel did a, um, a worm farm. Shout out Daniel. Yeah, hello yeah. Daniel. He's not watching this. Um, <laughs> he's got a proper life with children and whatnot. <laughs> um, we had this worm farm where one worm ate the rest of the worms, but another last in the, in the class. She brought in her guinea pigs. She had like six of them. And then the evil man in our year six class. So how old in year six? Like 10, 11. 10, 11. Yeah. He put salt in the water. No. Can't be doing that. And you know what came next? Yeah. No. It was a massacre. Imagine that. Like, how did how did that get dealt with? I don't know. I can't remember. But it was, I remember the tears flowing yeah. from that lady's oh, face. Yeah. as She saw her. Five or six guinea pigs all upturned in the... All of them? Yeah, all of them. I thought man. she brought one in. No, she had a, a big a cage about maybe as wide as this table. Big white cage. Wow. That's why I call it a massacre. Wow. So, yeah, I don't know why I brought that up on the wrestling podcast, <laughs> but there we go. Back to the wrestling match with these two tag teams. Any thoughts, lads? Um, Rest in peace, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh. I can't remember the match. What was the match? Get an immemorial section at the end for the game <laughs> picks. <laughs> oh. I thought there was massive house show energy in this yeah. match in the early stages. I reckon these lads, uh, the Yoshihashi and, and oh, Mr. Goto. Match. Yeah, oh, Pickles. Aye, Pickles' yeah. match. Uh, I reckon their flight was booked for Sunday or something, so they just thought, oh, we'll <laughs> use them again. Why the hell not? Um, Jim Ross sounded really fed up during this match with me. <laughs> he oh. has recently, he hasn't just, he? was saying, like, Goto might be too old for some people. <laughs> Like, great, sorry, sorry not too too old too school old, for some yeah. people. I'm having a mad. Too old school. Um, oh, too old school. Uh, yeah, which I mean, he's yeah, great analysis. But Goro's like the uh, the everyman of New Japan. He's never quite got the big one. Is it whose theme was playing when they walked out of the room? Was it Yoshihashi's? I can't remember. Mm. It's like, oh, 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 oh. I like that song. It's a good song. Um, <laughs> Nick Jackson, wanted them to win. Nick I'd ja- imagine it was Goro's as like yeah, the yeah. senior member of the team, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah. The, the bearded man. With the slick back black hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, that's it. Now, his yeah. theme the one who doesn't good. look like a hamster or a guinea pig. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think either of them do. That's just Pickles that. looks a little bit. <laughs> it's his hair, I think. I'm not sure. His blonde hair. Yeah, like... Dan, can you of... get a photo of Pickles up, please? Oh, this isn't going to help my case. <laughs> While Dan's doing that... Yoshi Hashi. We'll shout out to the best young bug of them all, Nick Jackson, who was stupendous oh, in this no, match no. once again. Um, you th- if you th- <laughs> I'm not going to read out what I've written down there. <laughs> oh, I, he used to. 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 He looked. Look, look, he used to. Okay, he used to. That's yeah, a hamster. That's, look at the hair, I man. can kind of see guinea then, pig. Back then, he used to look more like a, a small pet. Are you confusing hamster with Japanese man? <laughs> <laughs> no. Look at his hair back then. It this is, his hair is like guinea pig. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't look like one. He looks like he's got a guinea pig stuck on his head. All right. Well, that's close enough. Come on. <laughs> so it's Yoshihashi with pickles on his head. Right, right, fine. <laughs> right, whatever. Yeah, I'll see that. Um, but Nick Jackson in the finish with the springboard off one ring ropes to the other ring ropes over the top, fantastic. Yeah, yeah Nick Jackson's good. What had you written down? I can't. Can I see it? Do you want it? If if you think he is the weaker book, you must be an idiot. An idiot. Oh my word. An idiot. Oh no, that's not yeah. a word. An thought. imbecile. Oh wow. Yeah, an imbecile. Well, I don't. Well, I'm not. <laughs> but I feel bad. You've made me feel really bad. Really? Ah, because is, I that, just did is, it for that, the is that aimed at me for the podcast? Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. Wow. Just to create a bit of, God, bit of, just bit a bit of drama. I think bit the Matt is the better whip. one. Mm. Not because of the flips. Matt, Nick is better at the flips. Yeah, Nick is better in ring, I would say. So Matt's, Matt's a, a better all-rounder. All, does that mean talking? Because that's not true either. Yes, I, he is. I think he is. Of course he is. 100%. No. Have you not seen Nick Jackson? It's like Jackson? Jim Carrey. It's like Stockholm Syndrome up in the son of a bee. <laughs> you don't get that from Matt Jackson, do you? Matt is better at <laughs> conveying the story of a match in the ring and the emotion of a match than Nick is. That's fair. Thank They're you. both very good. Nick's better. Uh, then we see in the main event, Tony Storm beats Nyla Rose. Marina Shafir attacks afterwards to help. Well, Nyla beat down torch. She never loses a match, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Storm. Thunder Rose makes the save. I, uh, Matthew, if you're just new to the podcast in the last two weeks, uh, thinks Tony Storm from the Indies is still a thing and her from WWE and NXT just never existed. Whenever yeah. she loses, he's like shocked because she never lost on the Indies yet. Yeah. yeah. But she lost quite a lot in WWE. She lost all the time. Yeah. yeah. Um, Nyla promos at the start with the weather map, I thought was fantastic. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what she said, but I thought Why it was did fantastic. they ever pair Nyla with Vicky Guerrero? She didn't need her. That's so much potential. Didn't. But they never went fully in with it, did they? Oh, she didn't they need could. Vicky. Oh, but she, yeah, she doesn't yeah. really, does she? Uh, but I thought it was a bit of a throwback match with Nyla beating down the baby face with the help from a heelish pal on yeah, the outside. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the finish was nice with Marina getting kicked in the face in the midst of a tornado DDT. Still feel bad for Marina. 
It's just boring. Because <laughs> she's not presented in a way that she, accentuates she, her strengths. Okay, yes, that's a good way to put but it. But her strengths are that of a similar ilk to Shayna Baszler. Yeah, I would argue she's nowhere near as good as Shayna Baszler. She, she isn't, Shayna no, Baszler. no. So that's no. why she falls down a, yeah, flatter sometimes. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> a bit harsh, maybe. I don't know. Money in the bank. E equals MC swerved. Because that's a that's a theory of relativity. Theory. Yeah. The theory. It's clever. Come on. Relativity. But that's the best one yet. Thank that you. Cheers. Po- Thank you. Popped me. It's not gonna lie. What, what, why is he doing this? <laughs> Even Dan's pulling faces off the camera. That one's crazy. There we go. E Pop me. equals MC swerved. Yeah. Liv Morgan wins the women's money in the back ladder match. Uh, uh, Becky Lynch throws a tantrum at ringside on the outside. At ringside on the outside. Yeah. At ringside on the yeah, outside. Yeah, ringside on the outside. Um, as for the match itself, I thought it was pretty good. Me, I know we can. Mm-hmm. Oh, did you? I did. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was bad. I thought it was, <laughs> I thought it was gritty. I thought there were mistakes aplenty. There was thought... there was a no, there was a lot of mistakes, but overall it was a decent enough match. Okay. It's not the best money in the bank match I've seen. Liv Morgan took my breath away. On two occasions. The first one being where she did that sunset flip bomb off the top yes, of the ladder. I, I literally went, ah, when she did that. Because I thought, you must be going head first towards that mat. From that height, you must have, you know, your arse will be going mm-hmm. a bit, wouldn't it? Like a rabbit's Whenever nose. someone does that, <laughs> it takes me back to Seth Rollins' leg breaking his... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Because yeah. that was, yeah. But... Uh, that was a good. That was yeah. what was the other one. The spot where she set up the finish, where she did the old Christian bouncing off the rope. And that the was class. And then she kicked yeah. Becky in one fell swoop. Oh, yeah, that was mm. class. Oh. The, the finish was good. It, the, the opening moments. We've talked about the shotty ones. I think there were just mm. bits where it was a bit. Whoa. I thought Raquel. Well, I know Raquel didn't quite get the ladder all the way up because she was holding it off center. Huh? Here I am telling Raquel how to lift things. <laughs> oh, but maybe, <laughs> maybe one of the women was lighter and she was trying to. Trying to oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I thought but she looked pretty. Maths question. Apart from that, I thought she looked quite good at the start. And then I uh, thought, yeah, shots his botches, but yeah. Okay, it did bring the match down ever so slightly. That yeah, I like, I like the grittiness to it. I like Liv as the winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah great yeah. choice. I thought Becky and Asuka's stuff was good as well. But once again, oh no, Becky got the better this time, didn't she? For the first time in a long uh, while. Yes, but they were both was, losers. In but the they end. were both. Yeah, <laughs> very poignant there. Did, how did, should have that spot gone? Like how, the bit with the bridge and she's lying on the ladder. I assume the ladder snap. Was, was she going for a leg drop, or yeah. do you think she was going for a sent on and missed? I can work out. You think leg drop? It's Becky Lynch. That's I what suppose, she does with ladders. Yeah. Yeah. Go back to Charlotte Flair in 2K18. Yeah. What a match yeah. that was. Yeah. <laughs> Evolution. Um, next up, so we thought it was all right. Yeah. Bit enough, bit, bit, bit gritty. I would say gritty more than that. I'd forgotten about that ending spot, which was great. Yeah. 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 She nailed it. How, much, how many times do you have to practice that and nail that? Great footwork. And the other person mm-hmm. who did it was Christian, who has the best footwork. The best of all footwork. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bobby Lashley then defeated Theory to become the new US champion. I, think I was, was shocked at the time. Were you? Mm-hmm. Uh, until later on. Aye. Yeah. 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 I thought it was telegraphed on Raw me. How really? just how Theory just couldn't get the better of Lashley. So I thought I was gonna get away from this. I one. thought it would be uh, a, a DQ or a cheap one. Or a premium live event. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the match itself was a pretty standard raw match in its in its in its feeling. Yeah. In its yeah, Kavorka. So. Uh, Theory doing some Randy Orton esque like twenty seventeen rest holds. Yes. Just for really long oh, periods of time. Oh, there was a lot of chin locks and stuff. Yeah. 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 I thought, the um, thing I've written down here is Theory's a lot bigger than you think. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. I saw that with, against Cena as well. Yeah. He was, he's tall. I thought his Lashley spear on Lashley was mm. very, very good indeed. And mm. Bobby was really popular as well. So Bobby winning was probably the right call. Mm. Um, but again, as you said, it's weird after WrestleMania and a clean loss here. Building a new star, are we? I thought he would have the US belt. If, if he was going to win the money in the bank, I would expect him to keep the US belt and do what the Miz did. Right. It but, wasn't so much because I was expecting at this time the match for was seen it to be a thing at SummerSlam. Yeah. And I was saying before the show, I don't think you need a title for that match. So him losing yeah. him wasn't that big I of a shot in that respect. I people saying that. You and Adam and loads of people were saying, oh, Cena versus Theory at SummerSlam. That's, that's what like, everyone's thinking. I was thinking, yeah, really? I think a lot of people oh, maybe I'd thinking missed it. that speculation. Maybe I would have also. I was just thinking that's a mania. Was you on Raw the week you went to see the Blue Knight and the, the, the Wheezies and was, all that yeah, sort of last stuff? Week. Blue Knight. Yeah, the Blue Knight and Green Day. Green Day. Blue Knight. Blue Knight. Um, Funny me. <laughs> oh, that, was, that was midweek. That was on a Wednesday. Yeah, but was it? You not watch Raw that week? Was that when Cena made his twenty anniversary? Uh, yes, thing? I was. Yeah, last Monday. It, you watched I, it. I wrote up the notes. For yeah. As well, after that segment, we're like, oh, they're setting something up there. Oh, but it looks like they're moving it to. It keeps Mania. calling out. So, yeah. you know. I saw them run into each other backstage and that. Yeah. yeah. Next up, Bianca Belair de- uh, defeats Carmella to retain the Raw Women's Championship. Carmella then beats Belair down afterwards. Yeah, that was weird because that's what's more important. Titles. <laughs> Why Bragging she, rights. Why is she getting a heat back? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it was um, maybe to swerve us and think that Liv was going to cash in I and think then that's what it was not to expect it later? And I forgot to write it down, but Liv also did a backstage promo where they were like, You're going to cash in soon? She was like, No, I'm just going to have a little party. Yeah. Yeah. Celebrate. Yeah. Celebrate tonight. Um, Lion
feel like that's festive for him, isn't it? Lion cow. I don't know where I came from, so sorry. <laughs> I think we forget how good Carmella is at wrestling at times, me. Because in this match, yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought she kept it would be out there step for mm-hmm. step. Um, at the start, she was being sort of sneaky and then petulant. But it was the petulance that was ultimately her downfall. I was thinking that, because um, I remember when they first brought in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match to some people's surprise. I remember being like, oh, wow. Because we didn't really know who was going to take to the ladder stipulation the best. And Carmella was the best one. Mm-hmm. And she, she was won. good at it. Well, she was won technically the won twice. Time. She won the second time. Yeah, really. yeah. But um, no, uh, I, so I would have liked to have seen her in the ladder match maybe, but I thought it was a fine a fine match. Yeah, it was a last minute stand and remember mm. for mm-hmm. Rhea Ripley. I thought she did. She did well I, for I, I really thought they were going to go with uh, the start of the match being just super kick and then a two count. And it would be like, wow. Yeah. Big pop. That's what I would have done. That's what yeah, he would have done. That's what I would have done. That's what he would have done if he was fantasy booking. And by the way, there's a oh video goodness, coming man. soon. Oh my God. I don't know when it's coming, but it's coming soon where <laughs> myself and Jack the Jobber, we fantasy book in AEW versus WWE Forbidden Door pay-per-view. What I learned from recording that video with you is that we're both really good. Really good. <laughs> really good. We didn't confer our notes before shooting. And we had a couple of matches that was almost identical, but different in our own ways. Yeah. You really see the personality shine through in Jack's picks <laughs> and in my picks. We're both absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, next up, we have the match of the night for me at Money in the Bank 2022, which was the Usos defeating the Street Profits oh, yeah, to retain match. the undisputed tag team titles. Replay show, though, however, at the end that Montez's shoulder was up during the final pinfall, which I thought was weird at the start. But then it was made an angle. I can see why. Maybe run this back at SummerSlam or something mm-hmm. like that. Keep the thing Ganon. Run it back. It, I feel like they, they should win it if they do it Ooh. at SummerSlam, though. Ooh. They've got a bit of momentum with Montez, like, being quite over. You know what? I was about to say no, but then I thought, what better team is there around? Yeah, you're right. Street Street there's what the Alpha oh. Academy ah, or yeah. Massé and Mansoir. Oh, oh Massé and Mansoir. Oh. That, 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 that would be good. Because I was initially thinking there, I hope they don't lose the tag team titles because for me, I did, it might just be me. I think it might dilute slightly Roman Reigns losing his. I want the bloodline to oh. first, the first thing to oh. topple be Reigns to have really? more impact. Oh. See, I'd like yeah. it a slow like yeah. trickle down oh. and then he, it, he's panicking. Because I was thinking with the Young Bucks and the Elite back in the day because uh. they lost their titles before mm-hmm. Kenny, didn't they? I was like, oh, it's lost a, a little smidgen but it's Fair little enough. things that make the difference, everybody. Mm. Fair enough. Isn't it? Yeah. I'm looking forward to it either way though if the, the, the yes. presumed rematch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Really Lots of suck it so in many, this. It's like they, they were doing it's like they had a joke backstage yeah. like, who People can get the most? More, yeah. yeah. Um, Uso is doing the vertical, uh, vertical suplex at the ring post on Angelo Dawkins. I thought was I've never seen that before. Mm. Pat went to Cole. Have you ever seen that before <laughs> in your twenty five years or whatever? And Cole went, not not often. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of Dawkins, I he was a bit like a, a fish, not a fish up a tree. He was just the fourth man, the odd one out in that SmackDown promo. In this match, he really came into his own with the, the comeback, just flattening fools. Mm. Great snap, great pop. Yeah, as Triple H might have said yeah. back good in the snap. day. Uh, good snap. Yeah. Um, is, your is, wife's at home. What's she doing? <laughs> Cheating oh, on no. you. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody knows. Um, Dawg, big hole you, in your you nuts, nuts out. <laughs> hey, big man at the back. I love that. <laughs> so good. What an arsehole he was. <laughs> Not better nowadays. Nice yeah, about now, yeah. but wow. Oh, he's just, you know, a bit Protecting of the business. rough love, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Tough love. Um, his face as well. This is Dawkins now. Uh, after the near fall was a memeable moment. Yes. That's what the kids yeah, want, the don't memeable, they? Yeah, they like you got memes. a little bit of sleep on your eye I last do, day, yeah, Fraser. Yeah. Come thanks, on, did you watch, did you watch this morning? I doubt the camera would have... Um... I don't think they would have picked that up. No. I have. It's still there, Fraser. It's oh, very distracting. No. Stop bullying him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 they, they do like the memeable moments. The, memeable the moments kids, the kids on the youths on Twitter. Mm. That was nice last week, but then he's, he's that tennis comments really, <laughs> it's really ground his <laughs> Ross big <laughs> tennis fan. I love to. I do like Wimbledon. Yeah, yeah. Like the bit of the Wimbledon. Yeah, uh, up, up the Sue Barker. Uh, the finish was strange. National the, yeah, she. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see when she started crying on, on Central mm. Court? Oh, but still maintained grace and dignity. Of course yeah, she, she did. Well. She's like she should replace the Queen. Yeah, Sue Barker. Sue Barker for the Queen. Then we see a spooky vignette. On Money in the Bank 2022. Oh, no. Who could this be? Could it be Edge? Could it be Bray Wyatt? There's a case to be made for both, which I did on WTF Moments. You should watch the video because not enough people are at the moment oh. and they might end. <laughs> um, who do you think it is, lads, with the Dudley Boys glasses and the Hardy's arm, well, Jeff Hardy's arm thingies? So, Kurt Angle's medal. It seems to be Eddie, Edge. Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero's number plate. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant it was good. No, it's going to be Eddie Guerrero. Guerrero. No. Um, Edge. I, at first, yeah. I got excited thinking, oh, and then uh, and then everyone pointed out all the little bits yeah. are probably people that Edge is But I've, 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 I've dove with. a bit deeper because I'm sad like that. And mm-hmm. The Fiend, one of the first people he attacked was Kurt Angle. He, okay. 
uh, feuded with the Dudleys back in 2015 when yeah. they had that ECW angle. Ooh. Where's right. the Eddie Guerrero tie? The Eddie Guerrero tie is in that him, the fiend and Eddie Guerrero went to school together wow. in El Paso, Texas. Wow. All right. So. Okay. <coughs> there you okay. go. Uh, but it'll be it'll be Edge. It'll be edge. It's gotta be edge. edge. And the guy who was walking around, he looked like Edge to me. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. His body. Yeah. I think Adam had said on the news he didn't look like Bray Wyatt unless yeah. Bray Wyatt had dropped a hundred pounds. Bray Wyatt did well. look smaller by the end of his WWE run, though. We all thought yeah. it was Bo Dallas. Yeah, true. We got yeah. Sam to analyze his tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> I did think as well when he was walking past the graffitied walls, if you go back to Edge's like debut promos from 1998, oh. the similar like red lighted mm -hmm. graffitied walls. So maybe it was a yeah. callback to that. Uh, Ronda Rousey then beats Natalia in a result that nobody saw coming to retain the SmackDown Women's Championship. But then Liv Morgan, as we said earlier, she cashes in. Ooh. Champ. I, 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 liked, uh, I liked this little interaction with Roy Rousey after the bell gives her a hug. I didn't like that. I like. thought that Ronda, she did it all too quickly and it took away from the moment. She didn't okay. let it breathe. This young whippersnapper called Ronda Rousey <laughs> didn't let the moment breathe. Just slow down, kid. <laughs> See, I think it's because, like, they've, outside of the ring, has it not been quite public that they're mates? Who? R Rousey and Liv. Rousey and Liv. I feel, like, I feel like I saw something about the, the Riot Squad years ago were helping train Rousey. All right. So there's a history there. So for me, that was like, oh, they're acknowledging the fact that outside wrestling, they're their mates that would make sense I was wondering if it was like almost a farewell for Ronda but now now you've no I think, that, I think oh, it's they're gonna go for a friendly sort of like oh okay you, what do you what, like what do you like yeah taking me title I would yeah. enjoy heel Ronda way more I, oh, thought, yeah. I was begging for her to like batter live after that she's a heel anyway I know she yeah. hates wrestling fans Natalia she came hates out. us Natalia <laughs> came out and gave her glasses to <laughs> go in the front row yeah. I was like what? what are you doing she's a heart isn't she hearts always think they're the faces Natalia yeah. is yeah. very much like the modern day Bruce Hart Bruce Hart. I thought you were going to say Brett there. I no, was going Bruce, to be like, yeah. no, she's Bruce better. Hart, the she's better yeah, Hart. She's better okay. than Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being facetious, everybody. Oh, yeah. I thought the match itself, though, was quite good. I like all the good grapples on the mat. Uh, Natalia is a really good wrestler. Yeah. And she was another one who had a hand in training Ronda Rousey before WrestleMania 34. Mm -hmm. Four year, four and a half, four years ago. Oh, wow. oh God, we're nearly dead. Um, the sharpshooter on the apron, I thought that was a bit too far that's, for Natalia. That's vicious. Because, like, a submission hold... Um, there's one step more you, you can go, obviously, which is doing the submission on the announce table. Yes. Which did that. Yeah, nobody, yeah. nobody. <laughs> I should hook both the arms, yeah. and no part of their being yeah. was in contact with the table at all. But it made it worse. It wouldn't okay. matter if it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought the finish was a bit sudden, but I quite liked it because it shows that Ronda has more than one tool in her arsenal. Mm -hmm. um, and then the cash in. Um, yeah, it was still an arm bar. It was an arm bar. It's yeah. a different one. But yeah, because then um, we had the moment where the, all the way through this entire built the money in the bank, they've been hyping up the one hundred percent success rate. I know. And Michael mm -hmm. Cole was doing that again. I was thinking, oh god, they're gonna she's piss gonna ruin it. She's gonna be the first one. She's gonna be the the, the Baron Corbin. Was yeah, he the first it was one? Corbin. Yeah. Um, because he insulted people on Twitter, didn't he? Yeah. What? Well, yeah. the first person to lose to not to not cash in success. Sando. 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 Oh, by the arrogant youth one's got it. He's got it. Yeah. What was the? Why was it noteworthy? Just because it was a big deal when Corbin. Did yeah. It. yeah, Corbin. What yeah. tried to cash in on? It Jinder? was Cena versus Jinder. Yeah. 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 Cena was yeah. Yeah. Jinder did a really stiff roll up. In that, stiff I mean, roll up. In that I mean, was... Jinder was like. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> It's too big. Um, but Carmella, as we're sat here today, is still the only lady to hold the briefcase for longer than one day. A yeah, shocking statistic. They, they cash in pretty much every single time on the night. A shocking statistic. Then we get on to the men's ladder match, Adam Pierce. The reason it makes sense, but how it was done, as we said the other day on our video, which was called, what is the worst booking decision in WWE history or something that's on the channel now? It's a lovely little podcast with myself, Tom and Jack. We bring our worst bookings ever to the table and we have a right good old time, mm. a good old fashioned discussion. Um, but he brings Theory to the, the the match, and Theory wins, obviously. The moment the Theory's brought out, you're thinking it's telegraphed, he's the one that's going to win. It's sort of like Rollins back in the day, the sort of cash-in mm -hmm. where he lost during the night, out of sight, out of mind sort yeah. of thing. Out he comes, he wins. But it makes sense, obviously, with Vince McMahon being involved with Theory, but how they just went, here's Theory. That uh, that left a lot it, to be it decided. Made me feel It made me feel like a fool for watching the build. And then they didn't... Yeah. The build was pointless. Don't worry about that. Mm. Here comes this what other guy. A month of TV that's wasted. Yeah, I didn't like it. A couple of nice little moments, I thought. Sammy Hayden uh, on the ring post from Omos. That was cute. Omos was adorable. Was, it was cute really and adorable. Cute, yeah. <laughs> it, was cute. it was cute. It was cute hiding. Uh, Omos going through the table from by every man apart from Theory, which tells me that Theory was a proper last-minute addition because like, it uh, would appear with it, stuff yeah. like that. He wasn't like, involved in the planning yeah, of right. the big spots in the match. That's what I read from that anyway because, you know... Yeah. 
Sad. Yeah, that would make sense. It was impressive seeing a man of almost a size get thrown. That was nice. Yeah. I like mm-hmm. that. And then Riddle as well. A couple of big moments. The massive floating bro. That was really good. Off really the top of the that. ladder. And then the massive RKO on a Rollins. But uh, yeah, it was. I think it was the better ladder match of the evening. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. 110. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I really uh, like hated this one. <laughs> That's just hard, all right? Really hard. They are hard to do. CM Punk said he never wants to be in one again. He'd happily never be. He said it in that podcast with Colt Cabana. He says a lot of things, that man. Well, nobody. I'm going to like, go to AEW and put over the young guys, he says. Oh, current oh, AEW oh, world oh, champion. Huh? Keeping it when he's injured. Exactly. Nice. What a dick. No. <laughs> <laughs> but what are your thoughts on the pit view overall? There was Sorry, some the premium hi- live event. Premium overall. live event. There was I'm some the high point. I really liked the men's money in the bank match, the tag match. But there was it just didn't feel premium. Oh, for me. Oh, oh. Didn't feel premium. Um, it's like a fake Ralph Lauren polo off of, uh, yes. off of eBay. Yeah. Oh, yeah I can see you wearing is. one of them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll, bring, I'll wear one next week. <laughs> but no, it was, it was overall an above average show for me with some high spots, but mostly just. Yeah. I feel like when you, when you go on Twitter after a premium live event, there's a tendency for people to go one way or another. It's either going to be the best thing ever or the worst thing ever. Mm. But for me, this one was like somewhere in the middle. But yeah. a lot of people, because the last thing was Theory winning, were acting like it was the worst show ever. But That's where that video we did the other day came from. Because a lot of people on Twitter, and I say a lot of people because I mean a lot of people, were saying it was the worst booking decision ever. No, no not at all. Theory put in there, which it just isn't. As myself, Jack and Tom proved in that video, which you should go and watch after this. I think we move on to... Sorry. He, he, sorry, he, I think he's a great choice to win. I've I had a lot of... Ooh. Some amazing my group chat were going, he's terrible choice some of your what sorry mates, what mates in a group chat mates in a group chat yeah all about wrestling a wrestling uh, friends yeah, chat know, right? Ooh, friends wow i know they're all going this is a terrible decision why is he why why is he won this have you got a wrestling friends chat no i don't really have any wrestling friends <laughs> me neither <laughs> there you go i'm laughed at no, nobody, that, nobody that every friend i've got who likes wrestling i've met through working through wrestling. Wrestling. Yeah, yeah. yeah well there you go yeah but well, it was they were all anti-theory i was pro-theory here what's the the chat called i can't remember can't can't. It's, inappropriate. <laughs> it's inappropriate, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's quickly move on to Raw, uh, which sounds like a progress episode here by Jack, because he's called it Raw, Supersized American Balls. Oh, it does sound like a progress show, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. hipster and indie. Yeah. Oh, but they're not punk rock anymore, are they? Well, they never they're, were. Yeah. Maybe no. they were for a little bit. Yeah. 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 Wow. It's just like New Japan fans, isn't it? From back in the day. Progress fans. Program, they were like they the, yeah. hated us. <laughs> Who's laughing now? But no, they they would then they left from, I don't know. They still, all left. still there. They They're running. Leave. I've learned that the elite wrestling fans of the UK have to get off something and then pretend that they never liked it. So that they'd go from progress, then they went to like Fight Club Pro. Yeah. Now they've gone over to Germany. So they, I don't know where they're going to go. Yeah, WXW. Yeah, yeah. And then now that, but that's been ruined a bit by the WWE partnerships. Oh now, my God. now where are they? Are they? Back to progress. Now all the wrestling's dead. So I don't know. WES, that's where they are. Yeah, yeah. WES. Yeah. Bobby Lashley opens this episode of Raw, but is interrupted by none other than Theory. Theory reveals that he has a rematch against Bobby at SummerSlam for the US title and plans to win back the US title before cashing in on Roman Reigns like nobody's ever done before. He said. It's ambitious. Seth, yeah. Seth Rollins has done it. US Seth Championship. Both titles at the same yeah. time. Oh, yeah. yes. Not with cashing in, though. Do you think he's gone with the really specific... He held the two big titles. Yeah. He, did. Oh, it was, he was the best wrestler thanks, in the world back thanks then. Thanks to Jon Stewart. Yeah, oh, Theory... God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then Theory attacks Bobby Lashley, who fights him off in the end. Yes. Bobby Lashley's very popular. That's what I learned. I know. I've yeah. never, I, he's one of those wrestlers that I've never personally connected with. I don't get that excited when Bobby Lashley's mm-hmm. on the card. But I can't deny... People still really love Bobby But it Lashley. feels like it's just been in the last, what, year and a half, two years? Well, they've booked him properly. Well, they've yeah, well, yeah. yeah. flattened like, people. <laughs> when he came back and started smacking his arse, that was not that entertaining. That's, no, what, what, though? No. It was not that entertaining. That, that Bobby Lashley belongs in MMM. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. he does. The yeah, but that would be fine. It was just the fact that he just came back and went, you know, just the feud, the feud of Sami Zayn as well. Yeah, with his sister. With his sisters. Sisters. I love you, my sisters. He's <laughs> 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 the new Viking race. He's the new Viking race. <laughs> <laughs> they used to tie me up in the woods <laughs> on a, in the field, beat me with a chair or something. <laughs> I love you, my sister. <laughs> <laughs> How are you gonna like that, man? <laughs> it's just that. A... that screenshot, Dad? Uh... If you just type in Bobby Lashley's <laughs> no, sister's Bobby interview, Lashley's sisters. it's the screenshot like where he, down the he looks yeah. down the camera and he's supposed to go, "Ah, look at Bobby there. <laughs> Let's cheer this man." <clears throat> There it is, there at the bottom, bottom row. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> There's America's sweetheart, Bobby Lashley. Oh, oh that was one of the acclaimed, he wasn't does. it? Max Caster. There's the WTF yeah. thumbnail from that thing. If you go there. down the there, it's Max Caster dressed up as one of the sisters. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yo, listen. Yo, listen. <laughs> I'm Bobby Lashley's sister, and I'm here to say, <laughs> I love have you. a nice day. <laughs> We've all wrapped on the episode. Anyway, <laughs> We've all got on. sick bars. Anyway, in this promo from Bobby, I thought it was strange how he said there is nobody from any division or any promotion who can beat him. Mm. Why would he say promotion? WES. Mm. Yeah, but no, in WE land, no other promotions exist. exist. Yeah, I true. think he just forgot his line and just didn't <laughs> Honestly, I think that's what it was. I thought it was really weird how the almighty Bobby Lashley would call someone else an arrogant jackass. Because he's called himself he's the, called the almighty, almighty Bobby Lashley. Uh, yeah, I guess you're He stands right, yeah. on a podium. Stones, like, yeah, bong, bong, yeah. bong. Yeah, stones and glass houses, Bobby. Mm. Or whatever the saying is. Um, I guess, as we said earlier, I guess this rematch means that uh, Cena versus Theory won't be happening until WrestleMania. Mm. And then we learned that there's nothing in the Money in the, money in the Bank briefcase. Yeah. Just, it came open. It's empty. It's empty. That's sad. At least put a piece of paper inside. I know. Keep the magic alive, yeah. man. Some curly wellies. That's what we want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we do want. No fudges. No, no, like, no, no. no. In there. Did, did it all just keep his sandwiches in there? Yeah, that's he kept his sandwich in there. Yeah, right. You, you get the joke because he's fat. The biggie, <gasps> that's biggie all kept we do pancakes. Is eat all day long. Biggie kept pancakes. I'm sure there was one point he had pancakes in his briefcase. Probably. Pancakes yeah. and lube. Yeah. If I was yeah. one of those. <laughs> People at Big ringside. The, the new day, Biggie throws. I don't want his sweaty pants. I, would you? Yeah, no. Would you out the groin? Would you then yeah, put it no, in your mouth? No. no. Not even for a taste of Biggie. Not. 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 <laughs> would you? <laughs> See what it's like. He might use Manscaped for Meta. We should wait for should that get one a pon- to come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need an actual sponsorship from them. Anyway, the Mysterios then beat Damian Priest and, Lin- and Finn Balor in long pants. That was a shot. Yeah. Long boys. Couldn't get used to that. He had a, no. a, a, a purple handkerchief out the back, <laughs> which means a certain thing in prison. Oh, does what it... does it mean? Have you got? It? I don't want to say. Okay. Okay. Dan, Dan, knows. Dan, what does it mean? Do you know? Just thumbs up or thumbs down if you know what it means. Uh, uh, he doesn't know. No. Thumbs in the middle. Um, is, the way you place your hanky on your person means different things. But the colours also mean different and things. Colours mean yeah. different things as well. And yeah. Can you? Okay. I don't know if it's a, a, a specifically a purple one that means what I'm thinking. Right. Okay. But the placement, but the placement yeah. of it certainly fed it. Felt into very that Jeff up. Hardy with his old. Why? I feel like, like a matador. To bring up, yeah. <laughs> to bring up what's become like a bit of a recurring theme with hamstrings like that. Why would you hide them away? Because you're a heel. You're yeah. a you're a dirty dick tease. You can still. <laughs> <Okay, fair enough. laughs> uh, yes, Rey Mysterio pulls the old Eddie Guerrero trick out of the book, out of his. They brain. are heels. They are yeah. heels. Mysterios are the worst. And then, thankfully, because of <laughs> course, wrestler. This, this this role was taking place in San Diego, and you can never ever leave your hometown with a smile on your face after the match backstage. The, the Judgment Day attack the Mysterios, and as mm. they should do for being such dirty, dirty heels. Mm. Uh, the promo from Matthew, Dom. Uh, Matthew put up with a clip of that on Twitter because he liked the noise that Ray made when they jumped up from behind. Oh, it was like, what was it like? A, it was like a little fox, wasn't it? Like. <laughs> 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 the promo from Dom was something to take note of, I thought, before the match itself, because people saying that uh, he's in his father's shadow are just being disrespectful, and there's no one he would rather learn from than his hefe. <laughs> his hefe, yeah. <laughs> That's right. I don't know why yeah, I'm laughing. Uh, it was just funny. Hefe. 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 <laughs> Sounds like he should be in like maximum male models. Hefe. Hefe. Yeah. Bonjour, my name is Hefe. That's not even right at all, is it? Uh, <laughs> Ray... <few> languages. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought Ray and Dom had lots of nice tag team offense during this match, but the finish, as we said earlier, was a load of bollocks. Because mm. surely the referee can only call what he sees. That's what we're told by Jim Ross, who knows a thing or two mm. about wrestling. Yeah. But this referee didn't do that. He listened to the crowd and got caught up in the moment. So shame on him. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm glad they got beaten down like a pair of perros. Um, afterwards, because uh, because uh, oh, you've been on Duolingo today. <laughs> I just know from watching uh, that man that we don't like to talk about in wrestling anymore. Okay. When he used to be, he used to call everyone a pero, didn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, Kevin yeah, Owens yeah, took yeah, issue, yeah, didn't he? Yeah. Called everyone peros, yeah. so they got beaten down like a pair of peros. Then we saw the Miz, who says that if Logan Paul re- retracts his challenge for SummerSlam, he and Miz will go on to top uh, onto the top as tag team champions. But if he still wants to face the Miz, he'll be crushed. Mizzle's crush. <laughs> <laughs> Miz then loses a singles match to AJ Styles, but Champa helps Miz beat AJ down. They shake hands afterwards as it finally looks like Champa on the main oh. roster is now a boat who has his brother in the water 
and he's going in a direction. He was but running this before. He was. He yeah, was. he was just attacking random people for no rhyme or reason. We had no idea what his motivations was were. Was he trying to be Miz's friend, or has Miz been paying him secretly all this time? It's one I of the because he was shows. attacking mm-hmm. Ali. Was Miz involved in that? When he was yeah. attacking? Yeah. Oh, maybe that explains exactly makes, what's yeah. happened there. It's like a game of Cluedo. Um, but I like the promo from the Miz where he compared himself to Logan Paul, like being the outsider who came in. Like it's true. Yeah. yeah. True. Very much yeah. the same there, Logan. Yeah. We're very much the same. Very similar. Uh, um, and I don't think... What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it's nice to see that Miz, as Jack mentioned with his progress-esque title for this episode mm. of Raw, wanted to show everybody he has colossal, massive, gargantuan American super-sized balls. Yes, yes. yes. Do you think they're actually that size? Um, if I was to suggest a size for the Miz's balls, I would mm-hmm. go above average. He's above a tall man. He's a big tall man. Yeah. Because yeah. And he's got Maurice. So American super size, or super sized American. Yeah. I think it's appropriate. Do you think Maurice would stick around for a, an average uh, Joe? I feel like I feel like a, a a cultured French woman like Maurice would prefer a smaller boy. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, 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 she yeah, would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any reason for that? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> 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 Any feelings on this Miz promo and match against AJ Styles? I feel like I'd seen the match itself a million times before, but yeah, I haven't. Yeah. I haven't. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it's shocked about how short it was as well. Pros, yeah, just yeah. pros, proing about on TV. <laughs> Did we not see it last week? Probably, friends. I've walked, got no Miz, idea. Miz walked out. Did he? Oh yeah, he walked away. Yeah. Didn't he? Yes, he did. So we saw the same match, pretty much. And but Miz lost in but double Miz quick lost. fashion yeah. this time. Um, yeah. yeah, it was just really short, wasn't it? Don't know what I can say. Yeah. Uh, the Street Profits that are, are hosting a 4th of July party because that must happen every single year in WWE. <laughs> uh, they get into an argument with Alpha Academy. Uh, Dawkins, uh, Dawkins and Otis then challenge each other to a hot dog eating contest, which is actually won by Akira Tozawa, who eats, as I've written down oh, on my notes, down. where the bloody hell is it? 48, was it? It was something like that. A yeah. Ridiculous number. I wasn't a fan of a part of this, this entire party because Via was bullied. By C- right? C- yeah. Cedric Alexander. And former police officer Mustafa Ali <laughs> exactly. steals his food. <laughs> steals his hot dog out of his it's mouth practically. Defund the police. And- <laughs> <laughs> There's a nice clip for somebody to take. <laughs> um, uh, no wonder he's angry all the time, poor old Veer. Uh, Reggie, you know, Moss have worked out here as a match. I think we might have seen once before, but it needs to happen on a big stage like yeah. a WrestleMania in the future. Yeah. Uh, and I thought Zeke was out of line as well for, for, for squirting his sauce. Yeah, it was an accident. All, was it? Whoa, well, it was accidentally on purpose. Yeah, I feel like that's purpose, what it was. I think, yeah, yeah. Especially because Rons was wearing a lovely white thing. It looked like yeah. neck curtains. He's always dressed it? quite nicely, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. yeah. There's some analysis yeah. for you. That's Seth Rollins. He's always dressed quite, quite nice, nicely. isn't he? Mm. <laughs> um, but aye, the, then the this is our thing. Just loves a sausage, doesn't he? Did you not do some research about speed eating? That was actually, I've just remembered my Hall of Fame nomination was actually going to be Joey Chestnut. Yes. Yeah. And I was scared to make it in case Joey Chestnut's got some sort of hidden thing to cancel him for some reason. Right. So I don't know Joey Chestnut is the man who can, well, the world champion hot dog eater. Oh, right, okay. Um, who hit, hit a sick Taz mission on an unsuspecting fool this week. For real? <laughs> it was someone doing a protest, wasn't they? And they I got on the so, thing yeah, and yeah. just went, wah! Ooh. Choked them. Well, he didn't <laughs> choke. He sort of threw them down, didn't he? Yeah. Big old Joey. Yeah. After eating lots of hot dogs, it was very I, impressive. He's... he's, he's Got quite a quite a record of hot dogs. Uh, uh, can you remember how many? Fifteen-time world champion. Can you remember how many it was in such a period? We were me and Atkins were very shocked. Yeah, I was looking through his Wikipedia records. This week. On, they kind of the drink them. Uh, they yeah, drink they, them in yeah, liquid they and then, yeah. just slides down. Look, look at them. Show me chestnut. Nice. Oh, yeah. There he is. Right. Oh, Ch- Ch- chestnut lost in the twenty fifth. Scrolled out to twenty twenty two, Dan, because it was this week. It should be there. So he won again. Exactly. It's twenty twenty one. Seventy six. Nathan's hot dogs. Oh, he in wins ten every minutes. minutes. He wins every year. Oh, he's yeah. been, like fifteen time world champion. Like the Magnus Carlson of hot yeah. dog eating. Okay. It's wild. The trip, the trip How many age. do you think you could eat in? In ten minutes. Ten minutes. I've only got a small gullet, so not many. Is this with yeah. bun? Yeah. yeah. With bun. Yeah. With, with bun. bun. You've got to eat yeah. the whole thing. Wait, does it? It doesn't say whether it was ketchup, three. mustard, and toppings on it, but nah, no, three, three in ten Four. minutes. Yeah, all right, you do more. Than I think that. you, yeah, I want to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Not allowed. Okay. Um. Then we see. Uh. Well, we've done that bit. We've done that bit. We've done that bit. We've done that. Uh, Liv Morgan then cuts a really impassioned promo about cashing in to become SmackDown Women's Champion. She's interrupted by. Can you guess who it was? Well, you know who it was. I know who it was. And there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. Nah. There's a reason you can't remember. Okay. Yeah. Who was it? Like? Do you want to keep guessing? Her and Bianca teamed up against 
Brits, two people. Yes, it was Natalia and Carmella. Oh, right, right. right. <laughs> That's yeah. the reason you can't remember. Okay. Um, who beat her down, but then Bianca Belair comes out to make a save. Holla, holla, player, player. Adam Pierce makes it a tag team match, which the champions win. Um, I can't believe that Natalia is now going to challenge. Well, uh, tonight it is on on SmackDown. Is she mm-hmm. just going to challenge Liv Morgan for the SmackDown Women's she's Championship? Win, isn't she? Despite the fact she just <laughs> lost. lost yeah. yeah, but she, her rationale was she she weakened Ronda Rousey to the point where Liv Morgan felt like she could cash oh, in. So I guess yeah. it kind of makes sense. But in my world, she should be at the back of the queue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But told. I thought Liv Morgan's promo was real to her. You can't fake those <sighs> that she kept on doing. She cries a lot. Yeah. The big moment. Yeah. Big old softy. Um, I thought she spoke with a bit of bass in her voice for the first time ever here. Bit of sass. Bit of sass, bit of yeah. balls in her speech. She's got all American sized balls. What's going on? I'm Liv Morgan. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the champion. <laughs> Yeah, oh. She did do that. She did do that. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> you know what I mean, though, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah don't worry. <laughs> As for the match itself, the strong style offense from Liv and Natalie early on uh, with Natalie, <laughs> Natalie early on was absolutely fantastic. They slapped the piss out of each other, so they did. There was a kick from Carmella to Bianca Belair's head, which was against the ring post, which was gnarly mm. AF Fraser. Yeah, gnarly, yeah, gnarly is the way to describe it. Um, Natalia's fundamentals again. I'm actually a big fan of Natalia. Her fundamentals here were fantastic. She's a bit Footwork, boring, everything. She? And Dan, because I forgot last week, I made sure to remember this week. I need you to hit the thing right now. Oh my! Oh, oh, oh baby! That's right, everybody. My move of the week happened in this match right here. It was Bianca Belair using her hair to pull Liv Morgan, who was in the sharpshooter, back to her corner. Heave ho, mm. heave ho, she heave might have ho. said. Um, you, you do have a lot of variety with your moves of the week. Sometimes it's a high spot. Sometimes it's a unique spot. Sometimes it's a line from a promo yeah. or on commentary. It doesn't need to be a move. <laughs> no, <laughs> it just could be anything. My highlight moment, week. yeah. Um, but I just like the tactics at play there, using her long hair to her advantage. Uh, but then ta- Natalia lost again. <laughs> yeah, she's still getting the she's shot tonight, getting the title shot, yeah. <laughs> which yeah. makes little sense, really. Um, but there we go. Any any notes about the match from no, you two? Not really. Fine no, wrestling no, viewers? No, no, no. It's boring. What? Oh, I, found boring. It, not I, have liked, I, I found it fresh. Not the losing team, but the winning team. Quite a unique pairing. They're both champions. It makes sense. So that, yeah, it's nice. Okay, yeah. But yeah. the Natalia stuff. Yeah, yeah. Natalia just doesn't need the need to be in that title picture. You know, Tom said something on the news video the day where it was like, "How can we miss you if you don't go away?" And it feels like Natalia wow. has been there all the time for many years. Wow, yeah. Yeah. never, you know, not at the forefront, but he's like, like a fortune cookie. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like he said, he, he often <laughs> says, "Be be someone shot of whiskey, not everyone's cup of tea." Wow. wow, that's deep. We're getting deep again for two weeks in a that's row. That's assuming huh? that you really like whiskey, though. Yeah, like, not, you know a big, I mean? not a big whiskey yeah. fan. Are you not? No. You're from Scotland, man. I prefer gin. Mm. Yeah. Gin. G and tea. Bit of gin. No, no, no. A bit of G and tea, please. Could no. I have a gin and slim? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> gin and slim with a bit of cucumber in there. I'm there. Pint of Foster's, please. <laughs> I don't drink Foster's. I'm not going to have that. <laughs> Me and Dad were on the spice rum at the Christmas party. Spice rum's good. Oh, the Christmas party. Sorry, the summer party. Why oh, Christmas keep, summer party. I keep calling it Because it, like, it was like man. Christmas morning, wasn't it? It was. Family around. Gathering in the caravan. Looking at great sausages. Day two was a <laughs> crash back down to earth for me. Like it was a pretty bad day. It was very much. <laughs> it was. It was just six or seven cracked people, wasn't it? it was hungover still, and no, but I feel like I feel like I was me and you maybe were the two most hungover. I certainly was. You I were, didn't feel too bad. You know, I was naked. I, you I, stayed I kept, for another day. I kept looking next. Why was there the next? Oh, for a third. Yeah. I, really I went that evening. Mm. I looked over and you were sat there with your sunglasses on in the corner of the caravan. But I didn't know if you were. I was over. tired. Tired. I wasn't hungover though. I was naked. Hooch on, on behalf of Owen. I had that Barocca. <laughs> and then Dan had a Barocca. And then an hour later, Dan came running out of the toilet going, Is your wig gone green? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's Barocca. <laughs> you were. You were like amazed, <laughs> it's amazing. You missed a chance there. You got no Dan. That's kidney. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the patriotic professional wrestling we go because our truth is in the ring. Cutting a oh. patriotic promo, dressed as Uncle Sam, mm. Gunter then squashes him in seconds. <laughs> yeah, 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 it does. Yeah, great match, match of the night. That I one. mean, is the brand split over then? I guess so. Yeah. Feels like it. Because SmackDown champions. On, was that the takeaway from this? Were we meant to talk well, about? Well, Liv, Liv makes Uncle sense Sam? because she was on Raw, but she won the SmackDown title, so that was like goodbye. I'm after mm-hmm. SmackDown okay. now. But Gunter being there, 
I was shocked and appalled as an American citizen that they allowed our truth to say that about Independence Day. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mixing it up with a film, I thought that just cheapened the entire mood. I just feel like sometimes all their Independence Day stuff is quite mean towards us, you know. <laughs> 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 um, we Brits get a hard time. Yeah. I thought the, the good bit about the segment is the fact that they're still going all in on Gunter. Yes. Because yeah. years gone by, the guy who was getting the push could have a segment like this with someone like R-Truth and have their pants pulled down or something. Yeah, they'd be made yeah, fun of. Be made fun yeah. of. But no, the, the, the ball's deep on Gunter and that's a good thing. Uh, we saw uh, Rollins versus Zeke then have a match uh, in a match that was set up, as we said earlier, about uh, some spilled sauce. Yeah. Like yeah. Jericho mm-hmm. and Kane and coffee back in the day, Fraser. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Remember that yes. one well? Vaguely, yes. Uh, I remember it because it led to quite a long feud that wasn't very good. No. But at least this only led to one match. Any thoughts on this match here? Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, it was Maybe fine. you're right about Ezekiel. Maybe it's He's really boring. End, I've heard that. He's like the modern Hulk Hogan in his offense, apart from his V trigger that Kenny Omega would be proud of. Okay. And his like a bomb that Jushin wouldn't mind hitting this man it's, himself. It's a match that we have seen quite a Quite a lot before, he's a mixture but of Hogan, just when he's Elias. Kenny Omega and Liger, but he's boring. Yeah, I, wow. I, see his. Um, I just it's, oh, I don't know what I'm, he is boring. He's just boring. I want Elias him. back. I want him back. Yeah, Elias is Let him grow his beard back. Yeah, let him grow his beard back. Or let his out, brother appear, whichever camp I'm you're in. I'm done with pretending. Oh my god, yeah. it's real. Yeah, I can't wait to meet Elrod. Mm. I thought there was a nice little roller on to set up the finish, but I just yeah, I hope that Zeke got sent the cleaners bill. Quite frankly, yes, that's same. all I hope mm-hmm. from this. Um, what else is it to say about this week's Raw? Oh yeah, the six man tag and the, uh, oh you've not got you've not got it in your notes. The six man tag. What was the six man How tag? dare you? Uh, know, Lashley and Theory me. six man tag. Yes, yeah, so Lashley and and the Did Street Profits. No, it's not there. You go straight from our truth down to the main event. I oh, remember writing it. Je ne sais quoi. Did I mention it earlier? Mal Harazmon. No, it's not there. Oh, it's in there. You mixed up two. And to become one. Mm. Two segments become one. Uh, We have the six man tag, of course, where Lashley teams with the Street Street Profits. Yeah, Street Profits. Up against uh, Theory and American Alpha tag team, American men. Alpha American American males. (laughs) The American males. Uh, Nice baby face things done by the baby faces on America's birthday with the suplexes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, the suplexes and salutes. I should do. (laughs) <laughs> that way that one not the not other the way. one <laughs> that way yep um, the spot of the announce table was absolutely fantastic I thought was theory said skidden by Gary Gordon like Bambi on ice <laughs> Gary Gordon there said Gary theory Gordon flying. sounds like someone that Jim Cornette would just mention in the story <laughs> like, I remember Gary Gordon <laughs> um, but I think the main story at play here was how Dawkins Gary Gordon obviously he only ate Obviously. one less hot dog than Otis. Yeah, Gary Gorn was flying around that ring like, uh, like prime yeah. Kenny Omega. He's got a much better constitution than <laughs> exactly. Otis. Exactly, and it? Otis was spewing all over Chad Gable. Well, just missing Chad Gable, wasn't he? Constitution. Okay. And then uh, and WWE on the YouTube channel put... Is that the right word? I would say metabolism... Oh, well, maybe metabolism. Yeah. Constitution is like how... Not like the constitution. That, yeah, yeah. Like you, how... how Composed. <laughs> um, where was I going? Sorry. They put up a video on the YouTube. Oh, yeah. They put up a separate video of the slow motion being sick. The vomiting. That's what yeah. everyone wants to see. They had yeah. chunks, to be fair. It looked real. It did yeah. look real. I suspended my disbelief. Mm. But the, the title was misleading. It said, Otis throws up all over Chad Gable. Yeah. Gable missed. Dived out the way, yeah. yeah. The ref got more, the ref, Yeah, the ref, the ref did, got yeah. doused in it. Have you ever been spewed on, Fraser? Probably at some point. I have. Ibiza not recreation 2001 2001 I was on a boat trip with my mum and my brother oh. two decks I was on the poop deck mm-hmm. the deck above someone spewed from the top deck Some down below over, lad. and because yeah. the, the bottom deck was wider than the top deck I was directly underneath it and got spewed on oh my god that's all that explains yeah. everything you know about me today <laughs> <laughs> you mean spewed on Jack I spewed on myself as well I think like yeah. <laughs> when my cousins were like Babies, they probably were a little bit yeah. baby sick, like you know. Like, but I don't think I've been adult spewed on. You're missing out, quite frankly. Yeah, right. Dan, right. you must have been. Oh yeah. These oh, spews yeah, on yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was yeah. one thing I was quite surprised about at the the summer bonanza that nobody did spew. I don't. Um... It's weird because I I think because we drank a lot, but over a long period, mm. that I never felt. Out of control, off my face. I was I just, unless a vomiter has not come forward. <laughs> maybe they're felt, not revealed. Maybe. But I just felt in a bit of a like a daze. 
Yeah. Day, you know that weird day drinking feeling when you're like, oh, it's not right. It's daytime. Yeah, me and Cocaine Jenkins were on the whiskey. Why did you stop calling him Cocaine Jenkins? Because <laughs> he doesn't take drugs. He's the, the last guy in the world oh, who right, would touch a drug. The, right, okay. Yeah, right, I call yeah, him yeah, Cocaine Cookies. Jenkins. Fair enough. Fair um, enough. Becky Lynch Cocaine. now. <laughs> she buried Otis. And that's not on because Otis has just been sick. And she was like, ah, he's stealing me spotlight. You can't be on my show being sick. Yeah. I was like, show some compassion for your fellow man, <laughs> the man. Yeah. Um, I've, her, dic- her, dic- her cadence here was like mm-hmm. that of a superhero villain thing from a TV mm. show for a kid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Thought, I thought that was my overriding emotion watching her here. It was like I Power Rangers. I see her trying to take down the Power Rangers, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or the fair. Powerpuff Girls. Good show. Like, Mojo Jojo. Yeah, yeah, Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo. <laughs> And then, of course, Becky has the match with Asuka no holds barred to close out this week's Monday Night Raw. The visual of Asuka walking down the ramp with the, what film is it? Jason Hockey Yeah, Friday the 13th. Of course. Uh, with a trash can and the mask, I thought it was a good visual. Uh, give her a chainsaw next time, quite frankly. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Just have a cut off Becky's head. Uh, <laughs> I thought it must have been pushed. Don't for... look to me yeah. for an answer when he says that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to see that. Uh, uh, Becky's sh- head tumbling down. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? You've got you've got an up from me. You've got a win. Cheers, Razor. Um, go I think... on up. I oh, know. How? Do thumbs up. You've got a thumbs that? up. You've got right, a thumbs okay. up. Oh, it's a win. He, he doesn't run here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Simon. So do I, Alex Simon. <laughs> <laughs> we get enough credit, right, from enough people. He's good at like 10 things. Yeah. Got a win. Most Got a win. Like, most people are good at zero or one thing. He's good at like he's 10 things. I struggle things. to keep this afloat. He's mm. doing this and he's doing acting and he's doing band stuff and he's doing game stuff. He's doing mm. bodybuilding. He's yeah. doing his own YouTube channel. God. It's disgusting. The Kevorker <laughs> is Simon Miller. You should be able to buy it in a bottle mm. for millions of pounds. Now we'll try and pay that money even though I haven't got it. Uh, but the match itself, I thought we were pushed for time here because they were throwing everything into a very condensed period yeah, of time. Yeah. Like the bit, the barricade spot just came out of nowhere for me and I was like, oof, there must be pushed for time here. Thoughts on the match, lads? I was, uh, Yeah, I enjoyed it. I, I, I did feel as well, yeah, it was kind of, it was quite short for what it should have been. And it mm. also feels like one that could have been on a paper premium live event. Get it right. Not on a Raw. Simon would. Yes, uh, by, the, by this point though because Raw's three hours long I quite appreciated the frantic pace uh, I was yeah. ready for the end of Raw I he think. was yeah. ready he was ready for a good time I thought the superplex on the chair spot was brutal as it always bloody is mm. I was thinking it's just Raw it's just Raw it's Why not a premium live raw, event yeah. yeah save your bodies now save your bodies now um, what else am I going to say about this match I thought yeah Corey Graves calling Asuka the Grouch when she had the trash can. The trash That's can. really good. That's top tier. That's top tier from Corey no, Graves. Has anybody drawn that yet on Twitter? Someone must have drawn Oscar. Probably. Oscar as Oscar the Grouch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe. probably Oscar herself. She loves that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. And I thought the umbrella stuff was a bit, yeah, left a bit wanting from Oscar. What damage did she expect to cause Just... with an umbrella? Have I missed when that became a proper Her... signature weapon of Oscar? Like, uh, the that Kabuki. was the first time, wasn't it? Kabuki, Kabuki Warriors. Warriors. They had the oh, umbrellas. they had them, yeah. The... Umbrella's been used because Becky tried to hit her with it or something. Re- yeah. Like within the past sort of two months. I don't know. Yeah, but it played at the best <coughs> advantage, didn't it? Yeah, right. Blocking out the mist. Yeah, very well done. I thought it was a good match to end. Yeah, it was a good. Yeah, match. NXT 2.0 Great American Bash Maths. Just maths? Is it just, oh, yeah. <laughs> just, I math. just put maths? <laughs> well, maths, when I went next door, I had a chat with them um, Atkins and Aiden while I was waiting for the toilet, and uh, Aiden was talking about he was complaining about all the things on NXT. So yeah. Oh well, he's. 55 years. He's the target demographic. Uh, he is, yeah. Um, Toxic Attraction kick things off, of course, defending their tag team titles against the awfully named Team 2001. Far too young. It's disgusting. Right. <laughs> what a piss take. <laughs> Cora Jade and Roxanne Perez. Man, M- Mandy Rose interferes but ends up getting ejected, allowing the challengers to win the bloody tag team championships. Later, Perez mm. says she wants to cash in a title shot on Mandy next week. Mandy's like, you're not good. <laughs> yeah, she owned her there. <laughs> By the way, NXT know how to do an opening promo because that opening promo for In the, the pool, the gab, mm-hmm. was an all-timer. Eichmann Giro necking a pint of acid and his eyes going <laughs> every which way but normal. That oh, was fantastic. Brooks Jensen sat there perving on lasses. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. symbolism at the play here was fantastic because he's perving on these lasses in the pool. 
And he's got this foam, like in uh, what they call the foam fingers thing. Yeah. yeah. There's pools, and it's going up like an erect winky. <laughs> the symbolism here. <laughs> and his gimmick, Fraser, is that yeah, of a he's... masturbator. Yeah, he's a he masturbating is, yeah, he cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to do that. That's Bob Buchanan's son. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bob Buchanan's son. And then, of course, we had Playboy Sanger doing a, cannon po- a cannonball in the pool and then having some, a bit back and forth with Dull mm. Hudson, who was complaining about ear infections. That's the first time I've related to Dull Hudson. Oh well, because okay. I get them as well. I saw I was just reading actually, like because I went there and got them, had them sucked out the other day. It was a, oh, I wish I could pay for the privilege, but only get, yeah. only get to go when I get asked to go. Oh. And then of course we had the exploding barbecue as well. The I opening just, promo package had everything. I just realised as well, Team Two Thousand One wouldn't have been born when Bobby Cannon stole the show at WrestleMania Sixteen. They don't know what they don't know what life no. is, do they? Oh. Born in Two Thousand and One. Um, as for the match itself, I thought it was classic tag team wrestling. It was like the Midnight versus Tully and Arn, uh, with Tully and Arn of course being toxic attraction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> with a beat down and the comeback and all those stuff that people who know about wrestling speak about. Uh, the finish I thought was a bit out of nowhere. Um, I don't know whether to give credit to the ref for carrying on after Mandy pulled him out mm. or yeah. whether to scold him for not disqualifying toxic traffic. Should, the, there should be a disqualification, ah. but it's a championship mm. match. The stakes are higher. Referee's discretion. It's going to be a bit more idea. lenient. Yeah. I felt bad for Cora because she tried to do the heroic taking the illegal mm. woman out of the ring, but then it kind of just Fell into the ropes and then, but they, they got out of there. Yeah. Out I of saw there. a thing this week saying she could turn heel. Someone's been reporting. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot. I think it was Not Observer. Just won the, maybe later on down mm. the line now they've just won yeah. the belts. I think she's a heel anyway. Why? Because was no, it was it was it was Roxanne. It was saying like dreams are fantastic, but dreams are even better when dreams are shared. Oh, oh that's, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Not my champions. Tony D'Angelo talks about the remainder of Legado. Del- or talks to sorry the remainder. Or of talks Legado. to the remainder of Legado de Vanta because uh, Santos is is dead. Apparently, yeah, he implied yeah, that he, he was dead. <laughs> he implied he was dead, but in fact, he has been taken out. There's pictures of him in a hospital bed. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is was a was a roller coaster that segment. Because obviously after what happened to two dimes. Two dimes, yeah. He's yeah. not yeah. the in past Tony, <laughs> can you? He says that only Electra Lopez has been pulling her weight. She saw an upturn of however many percent in business or whatever that yeah. means. Um, but he'll give uh, Wild... <laughs> I've read that as Whittle there. Whittle he'll give Whittle, Whittle and Del Toro <laughs> one last chance to prove themselves next week. Yeah. High stakes. Know. It looks like the family yeah. could be splitting up already. They've really not made the most of this. No, they haven't. This merging of the two gangs now. As we say every week, they should have them at least dress up like they're Tony's boys. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. I quite like I Tony the Idol. I can see Electra turning on the Garda del Fantasma. I can see that as well, yeah. yeah. And I can see her wearing... Well, that sounds weird now. <laughs> so what can you see wearing? You can see her turning them on and wearing... No, wearing <laughs> like a... Like dressed like a mobster. Yeah. I think it would suit okay. her. Yeah. With a veil. No, with the with the hat and then a white shirt and then braces, black braces. Oh, oh right! Like, bold, like, like a West Side Story. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that would work. I'd like it. You, you're very airheaded all of yeah. a sudden, Fraser. What's happened? I've had a pee. I'm back. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> He's had a pee. Uh, Trip Williams then beats Wesley after pouring rubbing alcohol yeah, this was on his unique. hands. This was different. Gals- I thought it was very, very good. Because I was thinking, is that um, chloroform? Because I was thinking, mm. surely if it's that close to his face, but it's not. It's rubbing alcohol. Mm. I thought Trip Williams' attire, inspired by Muhammad Ali, was fantastic. Mm-hmm. He was flying like a butterfly and stinging like a bee and all that sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah. Whoop, bop, 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 <laughs> I felt like rate my takeaway there. I felt <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> At times, I thought it was a bit too much like a dance routine, this match. Okay. With the missed spinning kicks that went on for way too long. Yeah, there was po- points of it. But I think when I watched, was watching it, it wasn't the match that jumped out to me now, with the cards. There'll be a lot of this from you, because last week you and Sam didn't get excited for NXT 2.0. I didn't, 2. no, but I was, I was excited for this card. I was trying to get the room involved, but you just sat there like a pair of curmudgeons. <laughs> wow. And I didn't know what to do with just, myself. I'm just it's not... the most must-see brand in WWE, is it, isn't it, Jack? Yes, no, is it? Is, yes. is it? Yes. You're not being paid to say that? No, no, like no, a genuine, okay. no. I've been paid to By say we've that. Been, we've been championing this brand for months now. Right, WWE okay. hate us because they think we're still what culture? <laughs> <laughs> True story. It's, <laughs> I've enjoyed it for the past two weeks. And but this match. That's the only just, time you've watched it. Yeah. <laughs> you disgusting human being. Right. Anyway, the rub and alcohol, as Jack said, was a very nice touch. Have you, I've never seen that before. Different, yeah, I've never seen it. Putting the gloves on, walking down the street, Fraser. You anyone catches the, your eyes. Yeah, just the frat boys. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that could come in useful there. <laughs> um, next we see, oh, don't even get me started on Northumberland Street. You ever tried to walk down there? I have tried to walk down there. Where? Frat boys on the yeah, You ever seen the groups of frat boys in their little circle? No, they have the the Haymarket in. No, the dot. It's like a. <laughs> I imagine it being like Crash Bandicoot. That sort of camera angle, and you saw right, the right, frat boys, up. and you got to jump over them and mm. get the peaches. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I know video games. You do know, yeah, yeah. Wendy yeah. Chu in the segment of Ooh. the week. <laughs> that psychopath. Yeah. She throws Wendy powder Chu. into Tiffany Stratton's face before their match, but Stratton wins anyway, which thank God, she, thank God she did. Yeah. But the acting. Oh, let's do I it. I know, you should do go. So Tiffany Stratton's there getting her makeup done. Okay. And she goes, do you want a little bit more? Yeah, just a little bit more powder, please. Wendy Chu comes up. Gives the treacherous snake of a makeup woman the thumbs up because she goes, oh. <laughs> and then Wendy Chu goes, "You want some more powder?" And instead of just opening her eyes, which takes yeah milliseconds, yeah, you don't even have to think about yeah, it. Yeah, it's a reflex. She'll have to try harder to keep them yeah. shut. She went, "What? That's not her voice." <laughs> powder in the eyes, which were closed. Yes, which yeah. were closed. So when, yeah. But it's in every orifice, isn't it? It's gone oh, up her nose. Everywhere. <laughs> every speak orifice. Of cocaine Jenkins, when powder goes up oh your nose, God, what no. might happen there? I'm sure probably not that yeah, I know, yeah, because <laughs> it is genuinely because he's like the most innocent boy. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> it really is. Um, but aye, the acting was fantastic. Then they had a little brawl through the backstage area where after the powder, we had a little spot where Wendy Chu, that psychopath, murderous lady, was wheeling Tiffany Stratton through on a on a I've got a wheelchair in down here. Was it a wheelchair or an office chair? I can't remember. Some sort of chair with wheels. Um, the really obvious camera cut when sort of Tiffany gets knocked off the chair and she's sort of like backed up against this box and then cuts so Wendy's got time to go to the other side of the camera and then appear as if, yeah, on the King of the Ring throne for some reason which was there I think the 08 version oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then some cheesy poofs got involved in the end as well the ripping of the nail in the match itself from Tiffany to Wendy was the most devastating manoeuvre I've ever seen yeah. in professional wrestling yeah. so I don't know if your girlfriends wear fake nails and have right. them done properly mm. when you get them ripped off mine was getting the luggage off the train and got it caught and the blood that pisses out Oh, oh, I could only imagine that Wendy Chu uh, must get those pound cheap ones from Primark. Okay, stick just, on properly. Yeah. So if it was a proper stick on job, she would know about it. Let me tell you. <laughs> uh, it's the relatable stuff that really hits home. That's what I yeah, find the yeah, yeah. I don't know how it takes to, uh, how it feels to take a Hurricane Rana. Nor do I know how it feels. But you know, to you've, have seen it. Yeah, you've seen it. Yeah. You've seen, seen the, a I've seen the dev dev devastation of the, yeah, the, nail, the nail coming off. off. Um, Stratton taking the brain buster like she's one of the four heavenly pillars was fantastic. <laughs> and then she remains, as I said earlier, my one to watch in NXT because once again, every single thing she did was on point, including the acting. She including is, she the is, acting. She is probably a future NXT Women's Champion. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Future World Wrestling Federation Champion. Yeah. Full spot. <laughs> Phrase, any thoughts? No. What do you what do you look feel snobby? Who oh, I went to see the Mormons this week. I did go. I, I, it was good, right, Dan? Yeah, I did go to the theatre instead. The Mormons, yeah. But they all had a, the reason I got my Nando's is because I felt jealous of them the day before. Uh, that Nando's went, smelled great. Before they went to the group, before they went to the book of Mormon. Whenever I get food right in the office, Fraser will go. That smells great. I'm like, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm trying to enjoy my meal. He, he, oh, but he chooses some really good stuff, right? And it's usually usually you go. Ooh, what should I get today? So I'll give you, Wednesdays, I'll give you a I'm hint. Like, Wednesday's like my treat day. I got myself a little treat because I've got the stream later on with Owen. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm back uh, managing the team. Yeah. And we've gone up one place in the league. We've, we've snapped the losing streak. Get rid of him. But, Dead Owen, weight. but Owen kept doing this, right? <laughs> he kept saying, like, he won. He lost every game last week when I wasn't there, except for the last game in the stream he won. And then we won our first two games with me back. And he kept going, like, three-game winning streak, that. He just kept on, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's pathetic, isn't he? <laughs> and Apollo Crews, we see him make his return to NXT but once it gone. He was fuming and so was I about the state that streaming area was left in after the Money in the Bank reactions Ooh. last week. But what was wrong with it? Like? Pringle crumbs. Oh, come on. Bailey's in Ashton's Ooh, toilet. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. That What's was... that about? Oh, it's Tom every time. <laughs> he sleeps things. Why everywhere. was there Bailey's in the women's toilet? <laughs> <laughs> what him and Andrew been up to? Yeah. Took the ball in as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Answer on a postcard, please. Then we see Apollo Crews cut a promo how, about how NXT has reinvigorated his career and that his kids actually like him again now. I can't believe they said this. Uh, yeah. The Nigerian prince gimmick, royalty gimmick that uh, uh, Apollo had on the main roster actively made Apollo's own kids stop watching <laughs> WWE. Yeah. And that's a sentence he said on, on a WWE show. Yeah. His yeah. kids stopped watching because of something they did. That's a thing they had him say. There's no out. rules in NXT 2.0. <laughs> Anything goes. Triple it's H fantastic. Go, well, me and my friend Mark will stop <laughs> watching. <laughs> he then goes on to say he talks about the great matches he wants to have in NXT, but is interrupted by none other than MMM in waiting, Giovanni Vinci, who challenges oh, yes. him to a match next week. Um, I don't think Giovanni Vinci should ever be allowed to speak again. <laughs> I think it ruined him. <laughs> he just needs to stand there and look... Just 
looks just sexy the camera, down the camera. Because yeah, yeah. when he speaks, it just doesn't work. I can see why oh, he never spoke when he was, when he was in, 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 in Imperium. Good <laughs> <laughs> <Poor> man. <laughs> Scathing review. Yeah. Oh, he's, just, he's too softly. He's, just he's nothing for too you. softly spoken. What about Lashley then? Same thing. <laughs> but no, he's, he's got better, honey. Like he's got. It's not. He's not going. Oh, Who would you, you, you give him as a mouthpiece? Lovely, 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 and you like to. And that kind of plays into give him to Max Dupree though. Why I? Just yeah, give him a mouthpiece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why I? Why I? Chips and pie. Get him involved in MMN. That's where he belongs. Uh, Ivan Isle then is interviewed backstage, but has to break up an argument between Tate and Paxley and Katana and Cade and the Cowie girls. She tells Tatum to be in the gym first thing tomorrow morning for a good old-fashioned ass whooping. And that's actually fine because... Because? Why is that fine? Why? Because if there's one thing we know about Tate and Paxley, that she loves the gym. Yeah. That was her thing. But in... there's nothing like riding a horse. <laughs> and that's Fallon Henley. Oh. <laughs> She was. She no, was, oh yeah, it was Fallon, drinking with her. Fallon was hosting the the the, the barbecue. Fallon's yeah. bar staff likes to drink, but nothing compares to this. Yeah, I was right getting now. I was getting gym mixed up with drinking there. Tatum so. Tatum Paxley <laughs> loves the gym. Yeah, so eight so a.m. Fine, if, with Ivy Nile saying get in the gym, and yeah. she yeah. loves the gym. But at eight a.m. though. She might be and late. And we've late. seen that Ivy Nile puts people through their paces in the gym. Yeah. yeah. Her and Roddy, there's something wrong with them too. Yeah. Yeah, there's too much, isn't there? I don't know what to say about this segment. It just sort of happened, didn't it? I don't really get the... Was it just to set up a tag match next week between I Ivy think and so, Kate yeah. and Kate yeah. and Katana? Katana. Cowie Girls. Yeah. Cowie Girls. They like festivals. Yeah. But it's, it's not going right for the Diamond Mine at the moment. No. It's, uh, Strongest Fraser, family. Fra- well, he's up again. He took a, a really big umbrage with... Uh, they them. said last week on NXT yeah. that the strongest family... In all of NXT, and they're just not. They've lost how many folk? Who have? Oh, the Diamond, Diamond Mine. Mine. They've lost. They lost three folk. It's when they say the Diamond Mine is forever. Yeah, yeah, nah. that's not true. No, nah, not at all. It's not their fault though. It's not, but they're not the strongest family though. Well, it's Roddy's fault. He's mismanaged that. Yeah, stable. he's mismanaging them now. He deserves everything. The Green Cave. They've though, just, yeah. they've just buggered off. They've mm. left. I feel vindicated because when I did that random one-time Twitch reaction to NXT, the chat were calling the Creeds. Who are the Smurfs? Because they were wearing blue. blue. Yeah. They're really good. I think they're the impressive really future main yeah, event is yeah. a WrestleMania, those two, oh, against each other. Oh. But this week, I'll tell you, when we get onto their match, I worked out who was going to be the Michaels and who was going to be the, the Gennetti mm. of the piece. Can I guess? And I say that, by the way, with Gennetti being still very good, but just not as good as Shawn Michaels. Just not posting on Facebook. Do you think <laughs> that... Oh, so before I get... So Brutus is the shorter, wider one. Julius is the taller... Mm-hmm. Dark, handsome one. So it's Julius the Michaels then. <laughs> yeah, right. He was really good this week, I thought. Carmelo Hayes then defends the North American title against Grice and Bloody Waller. Yes. Uh, Trick Williams tries to interfere, but Wesley takes him out. But Hayes wins anyway to retain the title. Yeah, Wesley nearly messed everything up there mm. for Carmelo. But he's beefs more with Trick, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Big black and gold vibes to this matchup for me. But in a good way. That's mm. why it should be called NXT Hybrid, not NXT 2.0, because this was like... Circa 2013 to 19. Yes. I feel yeah. like Carmelo... Yeah, got yeah, I really enjoyed this match. Carmelo is out of that era, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Uh, he's organically made himself a baby face as well, which I think is really good. Yeah. But with he's those, his pal- with those apparent out, plants. With those eyes and stuff, though. <laughs> with those apparent plants they in the crowd. They are plants, man. They're not plants. <laughs> plants. Organically turn himself baby okay. face. The Lariat from Walla. When he was rolling out the ring, was absolutely fantastic mm-hmm. going up the aisleway. Um, the, the 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 reverse sliced bread on the mat from Waller was also sick. Mm-hmm. Yo. Reverse sliced reverse. bread. It was like stand on the mat, but he did it like over the. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 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 The other way to the off the top mm-hmm. rope version goes. And then Wesley attacked Trip. I was like, Wesley would be a good fit for Carmelo and Trip. I hope okay. they reconcile yeah. the difference. Yeah, oh, realize. maybe yeah. they will. Yeah. Maybe they will. I could see Wesley rubbing alcohol in people's faces. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He needs somewhere to go. He seems a bit just a bit lost right now. Yeah. Just, he did, he's just he lost goes, his part. He lost he his part some compassion. Yeah, he went to the beach have, and was sad. I know. Have he they properly himself. addressed yeah. it though that his tag team partner's missing? Yeah, yeah well, not properly, but yeah, they can't. Just, so, yeah. Lots yeah. of people have gone, well, he just left your partner, didn't he? What if yeah. what if Fanny? They've kind of made it sound like pretty deadly beat them for the tag titles. Mm. Yeah. But they didn't. Yeah, oh, they yeah. I tell you what though, I think Carmelo needs to find a different finisher. Because that one's going to cripple him. It's a, it's a, a leg yeah, drop yeah. off the top rope every mm-hmm. week. Goodness yeah, me. No thanks. I've, I've realized that I, I didn't put in uh, Pretty Deadly's promo this week where they said Essex was the fashion capital of the world. Mm. Essex isn't a city, not, first of all. Yeah. Well, I've, I've written that down somewhere myself. We'll get on to it a bit later, yeah, I assume. Because that was another quote in there that I took umbrage with. Okay. Took umbrage with. Mm. Am I 75 mm. years old? Who knows? <laughs> a QR code, th- uh, code then flashes up on screen and takes you to an image that reads 8 colon 10 colon 11. 8, 10, 11. So on the news video I did with Tom, 
he went, as you do, looking through the book of Revelation. <laughs> <laughs> And read like yeah. the corresponding <laughs> verse and <laughs> chapters and that, um, and uh, it was I can't remember what it was, but uh, I mean, good journalism. He did, he, he did his work. <laughs> you know. That's Tom every day. Yeah, <laughs> straight out of bed, reads the Bible off the work he does. <laughs> Takes his vitamins and says his prayers. There was something I saw on Twitter, which I've just stolen from somebody random on Twitter. They weren't verified, so who cares? Quite frankly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Might be me then. Because no, it was um, the only non-verified man on this podcast. No, no, it was um, <laughs> it was somebody completely random. I don't know who it was. Uh, there was uh, the eight, ten, eleven. I don't know what order the date was in, whether it was in October or August of 2011. Apparently, that date had some sort of major implication for the Cena versus Nexus storyline. So maybe it could be something to do with Wade Barrett. Oh, Barrett. oh yes, mm. I'd love a new, 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 a new, new Nexus. Could have been bragging rights back then. I don't know, Fraser. Could've oh been. yeah, it could have been. Yeah. Could have been the date that Nexus... Oh, no, that was 2010. That was 2010, so maybe not 2011. Oh, dear me. What could you get the been? core. Maybe it's something completely different. It could just be someone getting a new gimmick, because as you say, rebirth, Bibles. Yeah. Oh, if Revelation. Imagine, right. Come Tuesday, right? It's not no. quite working, is it, with Robert Stone? Yeah. Imagine if he comes back next week and he's like, I am Jesus. What? <laughs> Why? I have been reborn. Why? I'm here to save NXT 2.0. He's got a fake beard, fake hair. That's what, need. Need That's what we need. <laughs> That's what we need. That's what we need. Come Tuesday is Jesus. <laughs> the wrestling Jesus. <laughs> Tell me you don't want to see that, Fraser. Yeah, I would. I would. Oh, I would like man. To see that. Fantastic. Anyway, who that is, let us know your thoughts down yeah. below in the comments section. Bit of interaction there. Andre Chase. Fantastic segment. This then gives a history lecture about the Declaration of Independence. A student called Chad, eh? Chad thinks he knows a lot. He pipes up and says something that Andre doesn't like, so he kicks him out, so he does. Yeah. Thea Hale uh, suggests a field trip to London, and Andre Chase agrees. Now, I think Andre Chase was quite irresponsible there in his role as a teacher and a Why? custodian of these young people's lives. Because uh, Bodie Haywood had a, a legitimate concern about this lady mm. and her not wanting to sleep. And it's it's affecting his studies. And yeah. he's, he's just disregarded that in favor for a, a jolly old knees up to London. Yeah. And I think that's not right. Who are they going to encounter from NXT UK if they do? Who's going to join Andre Chase University? Well, I was hoping this would coincide with the trip to Cardiff. The, 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 oh, the, yeah, so but yeah. Sure. I was hoping that maybe they'll get themselves a match on the, on the paper. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what I want to see. How are they going to go? Oh, my God. <laughs> Chase at the castle instead of Clash at the castle. Oh, yeah. Fraser, yeah. stop it, I you know. saucy minx. But I did enjoy it, the, the part of the pro where Chase was like, Chase you, making memories happen. They're my favorite part of NXT. Are they? Are they actually? I really like Chase you. I didn't when they when it started. But they've turned it around to the fact that they're now faces. Or have you just learned to accept it and let it in? I, mm, they were pretty crap to start with. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they were, no, they were. They yeah, were. They were really <laughs> they've turned it around. I like all the stuff that they do in the crowds. And I, just, I thought this, this was, quite... was a bit of a throwback for Andre. He's gone back to berating students. Yeah. 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 When the heavy metal music kicks in, you know that SHIT's on. <laughs> when he screamed, I am America, baby. <laughs> it's... It's you don't get this on the main roster. You don't get this in AEW. <laughs> this is the best wrestling week by week. Yeah, I tell you what, it's fantastic. Yeah, and I can't wait to see what they do with Clash of the Castle. Kawada wishes he was Andre. It Chase. could be Andre Chase versus Roman Reigns. We still don't have a, we a don't opponent know, for yeah. Roman Reigns at, at Clash of the Castle. Clash <laughs> of the Castle. I, I would love that <laughs> so much. Just lecturing Roman Reigns about the history of Samoa. <laughs> <laughs> then we see the Creed brothers who successfully defend their tag team titles against their stable mates, yeah. Roderick Strong the and Martin Diamond, Kemp. Diamond Derby. Yeah, yeah, the Diamond Derby. <laughs> Martin Kemp was good in this match, I yeah. thought. They all post together afterwards, but Roddy looks cross because he's getting usurped. Mm. Do you still think he's going to go to MMM? No, no it's no. gone now. Okay. Gonna, <laughs> what, would, what would he be called in MMM if he did? Roderick. Roderick. Roderick Stronger. Yeah. Stronger. Norwegian. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a stroop waffle? I'm Roderick Strong. Oh, I'll see you at the rest of the name. It's a vampire now, apparently. Yeah. Um, as for this match, I thought um, tough love from Rory to, to, to Martin Kemp was strange. He's like, he's lost one half of the diamond mine. Mm -hmm. Martin Kemp's following him around. I'm doing this on purpose, by the way. Yeah, yeah, Damon. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, sofas yeah. and that, and Eastenders yeah. and Spandau Valley. It's good, isn't it? Mm. Um, it's weird how he's trying to be tough with this guy as well and potentially lose him as well. It's a bad manager. He's yeah. just losing the dressing room. It's not the strongest family. <laughs> well, no. The Brutus... Chase U is the strongest family. Can I... No, there's fractures in Chase U. Bodhi on, and just... Thea, uh, Thea don't get She on. won't sleep? Yeah. yeah. How can you study with no it's sleep? It's like a brother-sister relationship. Don't say that because they might end up getting together. <laughs> <laughs> 
So they are living in the same room. Yeah, yeah. These uh, things happen true. at university, yeah. don't they? Um, but the Brutus bomb to the floor from Brutus Creed just landed straight on his ass. <laughs> He was like Bull Buchanan at WrestleMania 2000, but a little bit better. Because it, it was to the floor, not to the ring. Wow. Floor, you know what I mean? Okay. Um, uh, Roddy being a wily veteran in this match, I thought was quite good as well. Hoodwink the crease with the referee's back turned. That was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That was good from Roddy. That was in a good part. This is where Julius Creed is the Shawn Michaels of this okay. team. The comeback. Oh. That was good. I can't really remember it, but I'm going to take your word for it. It's just a flurry of offense. You're okay. very passionate about him. Really good. Yeah, he's good. Really, really good. Yeah. I can see why. I don't know who was reporting this way back when, but they were saying these two are viewed as future WrestleMania main eventers, the Creeds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, are I think they when actually they... viewed back. I then? don't know. It was a story. I think. Okay, fair enough. I just believe everything that these dirt sheets write. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to believe that Julius Creed will be the man to topple Roman Reigns after Andre Chase. Um, yeah. But moving on now to Axiom. <laughs> hey, kid. A kid wrestling who gives a toss. Axiom, master of both physics and maths. That's yeah. where I'm about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was saying to Lewis this morning, a kid, good wrestler, uh, no personality whatsoever, who gives a toss. I couldn't give less of a toss about what, him. But what's this going to be? Axiom. What's Axiom as a in mask. The ring? Just tie them up in knots and stuff? Or? Probably yeah. not a submission. Just be really technical. There's no way he can lose because he knows maths and physics and how to get well, in, out of that. any sort if of equation. If this was Slack, I would have pinned your comment. <laughs> there is no way he's going to lose. How could you lose? He knows how to get <laughs> out of every uh, single this equation. Is what Fraser's happens? Gonna volume <laughs> top in. What happens when you get Apollo Crews versus... Axiom. Well, that's the thing because Apollo Crews obviously can predict the future. <laughs> it's like Yu Gi Oh! Yeah. Uh, it's like, what's the body called from The Incredibles, the first one with the ginger? Syndrome. 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 I'm getting syndrome vibes from Axiom. Okay, okay. Why? He's not a superhero, but he wants to be one. That yeah. was Syndrome's backstory. Basically, fly, fly yeah. home, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I work alone. We'll have to find That's some, a film I've we'll seen. We'll have to it's find good. a Mr. Incredible. Not really no, I've, read, I've seen the. You've actually seen that one. He would be the Mr. Incredible of this piece. He was the one who told Triple Axiom H. to. <laughs> <laughs> you just see him as Mr. Incredible. He's kind of broken down. Do you remember that video that came out when him and Stephanie are walking around Access? But he just is like a bloke. Being, he's like being dragged around the shop. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that I can see him as Mr. Incredible in that. But Axiom's here. That's the main Axiom. thing. Axiom. Axiom. I googled what an Axiom was. What is it? It's like a a statement or a, or a, a statement which is then used as a, a starting point for future discussions and philosophical musings wow. and that sort of thing. What a boring name. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it sounded fantastic before I knew Axiom. what it meant. <laughs> it was like the power to shoot electricity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the power to work out maths uh, and physics without trying. Then we get on to Robert Stone. And historical English tyrant Oliver Cromwell. Yeah. They're unhappy that Von Wagner come Tuesday. Hasn't been booked on this show. Solo Sokoa arrives and almost gets in a brawl with Von Wagner, but backstage officials break it up. And thank God. Yeah, thank think, God this happened. I think Norman because... Smiley was there. Really? We're one of the producers. But I missed there. that bit because I was lost in the magic that was a come Tuesday promo once <laughs> yeah. again because he was absolutely fantastic. Back on the microphone for the first time, what feels like years. I can't remember a time before he was called Come Tuesday. Can you not? No. <laughs> It feels like he's, I hope it was that, he's stuck it was with that promo he cut that started. It was, come Tuesday. Come yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but at the, the start of the promo when Mackenzie, the interviewer, was like, um, I'm joined by Von Wagner and come, Penny. <laughs> I nearly broke in my chair at home. <laughs> do you think anyone, do you think the, the, the NXT roster have got a wind of this somehow? They must know. It was all over Twitter. <laughs> yeah, come Tuesday yeah. was all over Twitter. I don't know if we started it, but I'm certainly going to claim do we did. Do you think someone's going to do it? Oh, I'm, I'm living in hope that it's referenced in some way. <laughs> it will make my day. I mean, I feel bad for him. Andre Chase is the guy. <laughs> Bit of heavy metal music in the background. What did you say? Come Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to happen come Tuesday? We're going to have a match. Are we come Tuesday? Be fine. But he cut a promo there where he's like, they don't speak for me. You want to run your mouth? We can handle business right now. Take your best shot. The it's like he's in the room Tuesday with us. Yeah. <laughs> he's absolutely brilliant. And it was nice to hear his voice once again for the first time in a while. He's not been as focal a part of NXT 2.0 as I assumed when it started, no. when he was getting title yeah. shots. And, yeah. It's this English tyrant. She's ruined everything. She has, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oliver Cromwell. Hanson Christmas. <laughs> Beheading our good king. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the main event of the night, Bron Breaker successfully retains the NXT championship against Cameron Grimes. He celebrates, but... The- Bloody, is he from Heartbeat or is he like a, a mogul from the city centre? I can't work it out. J.D. McDonough. He attacks oh, him from behind and yeah. puts him through a table. I don't know. He's he's Irish. 
<laughs> no way, wait, wait. And he has a penthouse that overlooks Dublin. Dublin, yeah. But also, he's got a 60s car and but he also, drives through the Yorkshire Dales. Like he's I think it's... They, hard, they think that the UK and now they think Ireland also is like Victorian era. Still, like they think it's still... I mean, old. yeah, you've got Butch in there. Yeah, he's wearing, wearing Peaky Blinders. Carpet. Yeah, and they think... And, and like... All of NXT UK wear like brown trousers and no socks and shoes. Yeah. Oh no, that's yeah. changed now. We can't oh, say that. Sorry. That's sorry. A, every time we go, every single person's either got a beard and whatever the same haircut. It's changed now. They, all, they, we went down the pub and had a scrap. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, all. Yeah. It's all, all changed apparently. I don't watch it, so okay. I wouldn't know. I don't uh, know. Cameron Grimes is in fantastic uh, shape. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I thought yeah. Mm-hmm. he's yeah. really stepped up. He's leveled up. He's leveled up. Yeah. NXT leveled up. Mm. Uh, Bron Breaker is stronger, but Cameron has more reckless abandon about his person. Does I thought this match. Yes, as well. My what a wonderful clash of styles. And Bron had that injury going in as well, yeah, which he yeah. sold in this match. Uh, he had knowledge beyond his youthful years here in this match because he was doing these shoulder charges. But the commentary team noted he was using the not injured side of his body. Nice. I'm surprised he's not been moved up to the main roster yet. Give him time. I know, but like he's they just arrived. They had him that wee trial one. What was it? Was it round about WrestleMania? It was to, uh, I've advertise stand and deliver that yeah. against Ziggler. I feel like yeah. that was going to be him move up after he, had, he lost the title. They had him win the title back on Raw, didn't on they? Because no one yes. watched stand. And de- yeah. <laughs> I reckon he'll, maybe he'll lose it towards the end of this year and then he's a rumble. Then he's a rumble. Rum- yeah. yeah. It's a shock that Cameron would put himself in that position at the end of the match, though. When he got to the top rope. Oh, uh, the flying nothing. He hit him yeah, because yeah. his, yeah. his new gimmick is wise old veteran who's learned from his past mistakes. He's telling Edris Anofi and Malik Blade what to do, and now he's doing that. Yeah. Next, Hypocritical. Next time we see them face, he won't do that, though. He'll do a He'll learn from his sunrise mistakes. instead. Yeah. Counter it. Yes. Hopefully. Mm. Hopefully. But well, that was NXT 2.0. A decent episode. Not yeah. one of the best, yeah. but a decent episode. A few highlights there. Yeah. AEW Dynamite, too ass, too furious. Yeah. Lazy. I did that one this morning. So, yeah. Yeah. We kick things off with Wardlow, who has had this theme music for more than one week. Jack. Has he? He has. Did you have a last yeah, week? Yeah, I said it like two weeks ago, I think it was. He said it a wee while now. Shut up. It was after Double or Nothing. <laughs> I don't know why I just said <laughs> shut up, Fraser. He's had it on two rows. It was Road Ranger was the first time. That, that was show. It? Yeah. Were yeah. you nice him last week? I was What's happening yeah. now? I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know. You're, you're, showing, you're showing off. You're, you're back. <laughs> well, I feel like he was uh, banging on us to go at it more. Like, I'll give yeah. him that. Yeah. And well, I was uh, waiting because Fra- I gave Fraser so many chances last week and he did nothing. Well, thank you for not. <laughs> he, <laughs> he did <laughs> nothing. <laughs> it did nothing. <laughs> you didn't do nothing. Jack's been sitting here for months no, slandering your good name and I've been joining in no. at times and I tell you when I do so. I do, I do, I do, I do it all on the Friday I'd only, streams. I'd only come back exhausted from like four hours of like being switched on, sit down at my chair next to Fraser and go... Oh, I'll slide you off on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, yeah. you do it on your streams? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, actually. No. <laughs> I was going to say, that's very weak of you. <laughs> Wait until we're not in the room. What's he been doing? Huh? What's he been doing? I'll tell you when I've done it. That's true, yeah. Just yeah. fight, man, will you? Slap him. Go on. Oh, well, <laughs> Go on, well. slap him. AW Dynamite. Wardlow. He beats Scorpio Sky in a street fight to become the new TNT champion. And I don't know about you, lads. When it comes to that sort of middle, mid-card title picture, mm-hmm. Scorpio Sky's done. Oh, yeah. That's twice now he's had that title, and twice it's been pissed away. Yeah. The, it all, that mid card title scene got muddied, it did, by the whole Sammy and Ty Connie and then Scorpio and Dan Lambert, as Matthew calls him for some it's reason. It's not been entertaining since Mural lost it. Right, yeah, arguably, yeah. Mm. Um, ah, the Cody Sammy ladder match, I guess. Yeah, but that was a one good match. Yeah, That's where the, like, the, the train went off the tracks around that Cody yeah. Sammy time, I thought. Mm. It became a hot potato, didn't it? But it's, it's just Scorpio's been. He should be really good as a mid-card champ, but he's just been boring. I, I feel like American top team have been the champion, not Scorpio yeah, Sky. Yeah, Dan Lambert's not the his, champ. It's not his fault, yeah. But I hope this represents a, a back-to-basics approach for the TNT title scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for like the, the book of rejuvenation. Revelations. 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 Yeah, just 8, eight to 10, 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TNT says, I just was born again. <laughs> Um, the, the match was back and forth for the most part until the MMA lads, who I realized halfway through the match, were just standing there all politely on the outside of the ring in the midst of this street fight. They could have had, they, they could have been, could have been involved any time. This is, is the sort of thing that back in the day, if they watched this on WWE, they would have taken the piss out of on being the elite, mm. I would have guessed. Yeah, yeah so probably. Suck on that one. If there's one thing about <laughs> the Jericho Appreciation Society and, and factions like that, they do get involved from the start. And yeah. uh, the 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 AFO now as well mm. in that match with Derby and Sting yeah. it was, they didn't pretend it was going to be a normal match there was brawls from the off mm. so yeah these the MMA lads don't know the rules of wrestling <clears throat> um, and I just I guess it was the culmination of the big story where Wardlow finally gets the TNT title after MJF was like you can't have that yeah it's been a long time coming but mm. he, he won the chance was it double or nothing he won the ladder match 
No, that was the match with MGF. It was way back in Revolution. Yeah, I can't it all remember. blows into one. But yeah. yeah, he finally got the belt that MGF yeah. was like, you can't have, basically. Um, Boxy then cuts a promo where he says, blood and gut is like golfing on a Sunday for me, which I thought was a nice line. Nice, yeah, that's yeah. a good line. Yeah. Tony Neese and Mark Sterling try to uh, get Swerve off the roster by getting Keith Lee to sign some sort of contract Oh, thing. sorry, I'm, I've totally mixed this up. I thought they were trying to get Keith Lee to join them. Oh, no, they're trying to get Swerve oh, gone. Later on, I've written about later on them trying to get Swerve gone. Get him gone. I, got, I, got, I think I got the two segments mashed together as one. Because then yeah. Keith Lee was like, gentlemen, yes. how are we this final? Oh, God. <laughs> I will sign this not yeah. unjubitously. <laughs> Dialogue options pop up. Yeah. <laughs> um, Christian Cage. Oh, oh. my. Oh, we applaud him. Yes, he said. we are. Bloody hell, Christian guys. Christian Cage arrives with Luchasaurus to cut a promo, but they're interrupted by Matt Hardy, who says the Jungle Boy didn't deserve to get to be portrayed. He says he's been getting close to Jungle Boy the past few weeks. Mm. Ooh. When's he... <laughs> like, I'm John and myself. <laughs> the back um, of the car. But why has he just started being friends with him now? What's going on? It was a confusing promo, but I'm happy that Matt Hardy acknowledged that he was a massive hypocrite in what he was saying. He did, yeah, it really he did. was he did. really hypocritical, yeah. as we'll get on to now. Um, Christian says that Matt's making his brother sound like the sober one. Mm, Fantastic. God. Because I can see why people get up in arms about this sort of thing, but this line doesn't happen on AEW without Matt clearing it, without Jeff clearing oh, it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, no, well, no, Jeff, no, that's fine, lads. Yeah, wrestling's a famously clean business, so hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you'd like to think. You'd like you to think, think it would do. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm still believer that there's yeah. good in like wrestling. That. Yeah. Yeah, and the, the, the fact that it's tasteless, I'm, I'm so happy that Christian's going tasteless. Like, he's, mm. he's a veteran who's got more money than we do, and he can say what he wants, and he's got this big dinosaur to back him up. He's got a bit of it's Andre Chase attitude about him now, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> um, Matt accuses Christian of using Jungle Boy to stay relevant, just like he did with the private party. Christian disagrees, saying he's the hottest star in AEW. <laughs> yes, that fits yeah, class. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. that. He insults Jeff again and Matt attacks, but Luchasaurus puts him through the timekeeper's table. Ah, uh, oh, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. No. I don't like Luchasaurus in this role. He had a, he has, he's got a master's degree and now he's still being hoodwinked two weeks yeah. in a row. Yeah, he shouldn't, he, he needs to give uh, come back with that, what was it, the smart dinosaur that he was mm. at the start? It's just, it feels I, weird. I believe that Luchasaurus is gullible. Because, <laughs> do you know the backstory of the man behind the mask of Luchasaurus? Go for it, let's hear it. He was in Big Brother in yes. America. And I heard him on an interview, might have been on, you know, that getting room service with the Young Bucks or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about his experience in Big Brother. And he said that um, he got into like a relationship or like a dalliance there with a lady <laughs> in Big Brother. All right, Keith Lee. And le yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, were, they were courting. And... Um, <laughs> And then he noticed that some days... They didn't days, canoodle, did they? He noticed that some days she wasn't as into him as other days. Like, she didn't really want... Like, she was like, oh, like, sleep in my own bed or whatever mm. today. And he didn't realize what was up with her on some days. And it turns out she was a twin. And the big brother had been swapping oh her in my God. Yeah, no. But is that gullible? Or do you think that's hard to that's tell? That's twin magic. Yeah, well, yeah. literally, yeah. the big brother were pulling the Bella's trick. But can you... It there depends. Must be how, a slight difference. I mean, it, if one was a guy and one was a girl, then they'd be quite obvious. <laughs> <laughs> if they're identical twins. Your knob feels bigger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was tasteless. Come on, man. I feel bad. That oh, was fine, though. Oh, cheers. Just right. like yeah, Christian, Christian Cage's promo. Yeah. I thought there was a good line as well. It was like, here we are the week after Blood and Guts, and I'm the cage everyone's talking about. But we still didn't get the answers to why Luchasaurus is aligned with him. He was going to tell us, and then Matt Hardy. Yeah. They've not really cut revealed that. I hope they don't. I hope they tie up that loose end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Aye. Mm. Can you just, not find yeah. the next? No, I was just trying to read what the other. The, the, uh, he turned a blind eye to his brother's issues for mm -hmm. one more run. Mm -hmm. That was the other scathing thing. That was a big line. I think it's fine. They keep going, Christian. What was the other pretty deadly line that you liked when next? Oh time? God, I, I didn't write it down. Obviously. Oh, fair enough. Fair <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> I thought I did, but I haven't. It was something about Essex. Yeah. Out of the yeah. capital of fashion or Whatever something. Whatever it was, yeah. Next we see backstage. Oh, no, I've just done that one. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, Nora. Tony Schiavone interviews Eddie Kingston in the ring. Eddie gives him credit, uh, gives credit to the rest of his blood and guts team, but calls out Jericho Wait, once again. I'm going to just get in a position to demonstrate what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Say he's never got a taste of his blood. Jericho appears on the Tron and gets Ty Conti to slam a car door on Ruby's hand. Here's the... Here's the here's Fraser, the get the door. Here's the oh. Get the door, Wait, Fraser. No, 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 no! no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> For some reason, Ruby, <laughs> Ruby Soho is crawling up the side of a car. Yeah. And just at the right moment, Ty Conti can Ruby go with the car You ever door. played the game Quop? <laughs> no. Oh, when you get someone to like sprint, you get it, you've got to press the Q, W, O, and P buttons on the keyboard to control, control the limbs. all the limbs. And the thing is like 
<laughs> falls and stuff. I'm assuming she'd been beaten down a bit and was getting yeah, up. Yeah. yeah. It was very goofy, though. Oh, yeah, God. It was very slapstick. Uh, then we see Jake Hager and Claudio Castagnoli cut a promo. Hey, uh, sorry, Claudio knows he's not as hard as Jake Hager. Who <laughs> <laughs> misses? Jake Wait, Hager. Jake Hager again, talking about how soft people are. Oh, like yeah, Joe Henry. Like Smorth. Like Smorth. <laughs> French cries. <laughs> No, he's not done that again. Huh? Oh, that's all that was missing from this program. I remember program, putting my hands on you, Joe Henry, and you were the softest man I've ever Who was that, Helen Smorth? <laughs> Five Star Wrestling. Now the second worst promotion in England. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Good luck to Joe Henry, local hero, this weekend. What's he doing? He's taking on Scotty Too Hotty at North. Oh, yes, indeed. That's, that's a big, big battle. That's, that's a big battle. Mm-hmm. Speaking of big battles, it'll be Hager versus Claudio next week. Hager looked in fantastic shape, and I agree with him. Claudio isn't as hard. Mm-hmm. Um, back up we go now, because we see the Butcher and the Blade versus Sweet Swerve and Keith. And he said Sweef there. Sweef. <laughs> Sweef and Keith. Sweef. 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 Team Sweef. Um, uh, where are we now? I'm looking at your notes. Looking at your... Mm-hmm. Celebration interrupted by Team Taz, who are then interrupted by the Bucks. The Bucks propose a double or nothing rematch next week. The crowd chant for FTR, yes. but the Bucks say they are better than FTR, and we all know it. It was a little bit MJF. It was a little bit MJF. Yeah. Little bit mental, though. I think they were panicking. I think yeah. they did. <laughs> I don't think they expected those FTR chants to happen. If, whenever, if they finally do another rematch between the FTR and the Bucks, if the Bucks win, oh. I'll never forgive them. Pandemonium. Yeah, I'll never forgive them. Nah. They could save me from falling off a cliff. <laughs> and I'll never forgive them. When you come back to, yeah. you didn't let FDR win. <laughs> um, shout out to Kayat7 on the Twitter machine who got a Don't You Forget About Keith sign on the hard cam. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice pink papier. Nice. Um, there's a nice... <laughs> Yeah. It's the French word. Because your, your phrase is Poitier. 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 Yeah, po- Poitier. 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 Like the actor Sidney Poitier. Right? Yeah. 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 Freeze Poitier. Frazier. Yeah. Or as Matthew calls you, Frazier. Frazier. Lots of people call you Frazier. Frazier. I get a lot, yeah. Mm. Why? It's just, it's the TV show. Popular sitcom, Frazier. It's probably, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Go to the theatre. I do, yes, yeah. You are the chief organiser of the officers' trips to see plays. Plays, musicals, films. films. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I've yeah. never been in one. I mean, I, I it's, Ever an open in my life. it's an open <laughs> invite, Jack. You just always tell me you've read the plot synopsis. I have, man. What's the point? I know what's going to happen. <laughs> I think last time I went to the, the theatre was when me mum got cream pie by Paul Shepard. Really? Yeah. You don't hear this story? No. Like, like, I haven't heard it. <laughs> no. Basically, right, when I see the chuckle, bro- I've said this a million times. I'll tell you after the I've said yeah, it a million yeah, times. Tell me that one later. Um, don't sit on the front at the end of the row if you go and see the chuckle, bro. This is the yeah. moral of that story. Um, you knew you were like a smark. But I heard someone behind me say it. That's why I moved and said, Ma'am, would you mind switching seats? And then. <laughs> and she went, Yes. Yeah. Why? She's a she ma'am, isn't yeah. she? Well, is she going to say no to us? So. <laughs> I'd be a bad ma'am. <laughs> There was a nice recovery in this tag team match after an awkward leapfrog spot early on. Um, but I thought, yes, I. The, the Brian Cage shot as well from mm-hmm. Team Taz and their promo. Oh, they were yeah. like, we can end your career on the mic. Just ask our former teammate. I was like, what? <laughs> what has happened with Brian Cage, Baxter? I don't understand. Is he not going to be on Rampage this week? Is he? Yeah. Is he? Tully Blanchard. Brian team. Cage. Tully Blanchard Enterprises. Yeah. Oh, he's in nice. He's, he's appearing, so they're going, we've ended his career, but go and watch him on Friday. Ah. Uh, I don't know if it's just me as well, uh, I guess so. but when Ricky Starks is in full swing shouting, he's like Woody. From Toy Story. Story. When Woody's losing his <laughs> bananas and shouting and going on, it Sounds reminds like me of Ricky Starks. Yeah. Reminds, no, well, like, sir! <laughs> the way his head goes and that. Oh, right. well. It remind, reminds me of Woody. <laughs> right, okay. Like so it's his body language that's Woody. <laughs> so <laughs> does Tony Khan walk out and he flops out of the room <laughs> and pretends to be a toy? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. Okay. Uh, the Dark well, Order. I'm not going to be able to unsee him as Woody yeah. now. <laughs> Honestly, right? Go back, watch that promo, oh. and you'll see Woody. You might not hear Woody, but I you'll see Woody. I see him and Hobbs as Woody and Buzz now. <laughs> <laughs> the Dark Order are out in the ring, and they cut a promo for the Rochester crowd saying they're not going anywhere because the six of them are still there. Are they a stronger mm. family than the Diamond Mine or a weaker one? Uh, ooh, two people have left. They've left. Mm. Two people have left. Well, Colt Cabana's sort of not. Was Colt Cabana um. in the ring? I can't remember. Who I don't know, but, he, but there was a report that he was going to get released, and now he's not. Mm. I think they're a stronger family than than the Diamond Mine because mm. the folk that have left haven't just been cut. Well, they have been cut. The Diamond Mine them, would destroy the Dark Order. Yes, the but they, they've, they're raising a child. <laughs> oh, they Dark are raising Order a child. raising a child. I thought the Diamond Mine. I was like, which one? Yeah, yeah, okay. The Creed Brothers. Yeah. yeah. Would you mind getting a screenshot from that promo last night, Dan? I, was Anna J there? I oh, think more then. people have left. Um, I don't. I can't remember. We're not going any, every week until it's just John Silver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Just see what, if you change the thing, oh, 24 hours. See who's, who's, right, who's see there. You. Oh, there they are. There we go. Oh, no, Anna yeah, was, there. was there. And John and Johnny. Anna? Yeah. And Negative go. One and Evil Uno and Press 10. Okay. Vance. They would get destroyed by the time it's fine. I don't know now. I've seen John Silver build up ahead of steam. I feel like I'm wrong. Mm. Anyway. Mm. Anyway, they cut a promo and then they're interrupted by none other than QT Marshall who cuts a, sh- a savage <laughs> promo on negative one. He wants to face a man to man. Call him a charity case. Which I thought was yeah. a bit tasteless. Bit tasteless. I reckon they cleared oh, it but with... Jeff Hardy. <laughs> yeah. oh, right. I reckon they cleared it with uh, Mrs. Brody Lee. And yeah. yeah. yeah and he, that said that he said you're more like your mom. Yeah. Mm. Well, I don't know. She seemed like a nice lady. Yeah, she does. <laughs> and then Brody could uh, a scathing promo back to QT Marsh. He was like, "I'm not. I'm going to wait until I'm 19." Did he say 19? Yeah, not 90. That'd be no, no. Bad. Yeah, <laughs> I, I remember thinking, "Why not 18? Why 19?" Oh, mm, yeah, because his contract starts when he's 19. 19. Uh, Maybe he's got to do a year, a year at school or something. Yeah, right, college. Kind of, kind of back up in case this wrestling thing doesn't work out for the kid. Yeah. Um, Hangman Page enters and throws QT into the ring for a big beat down and then yeah that's QT, a negative, negative one cuts yeah. his promo um, I thought it was very nice and I liked yeah. I liked how it was in Rochester yeah, yeah it's obviously Brody Lee's from so. QT is good he, he fills his role yeah like Vernon Anita aye he does his job <laughs> this whole he... AEW thing is just not made for QT but when he's put in there QT excels yeah yeah. yeah. what is made for QT what promotion uh, impact. I think he could do well in Impact. Oh, oh salt. Yeah. Um, Dragon Gate. <laughs> Chikara. <laughs> Chikara. He needs five star to come back. Yeah. Uh, Roosh then beats Penta after ripping off his mask with a little help from his friend, John Lennon. No, Andrade. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? First of all, I'm <laughs> sick of the Penta finish now. Oh, you're no, 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 yeah. And you're not sick of the. No, you, Fraser hates this, right? <sighs> What, 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 why? Because, right, it's thing. mostly in matches like a ladder match, right? Where he's got a prime opportunity to climb the ladder and win. And he'll stop and he'll turn to the camera and go, Aah! God, I'd hate for you to watch a Jeff Hardy match or something like well, that. Well, it annoys me when Jeff does it as well. <laughs> I'm like, come on, just win. Um, but Penta just does it after every sort of like big move. He'll just do the zero, yeah. Yeah, it's wrestling. It's, it's fine once Merchandise, in a while. It sales. Is, yeah, yeah. But it's just, it does it far too but much. There's a lot. There's a lot. OSW review tend to count how many times he does it. But I feel like I've, I've bigged it up too much and mostly it's like when we've been watching the pay-per-views. Mm. It's like, oh, here he goes again. He's doing it again. He does need to buy a string to put on his mask. His mask tight just oh, to keep it on. Him and Phoenix both. Yeah. Um, yeah. And when it happens, I, I think I've compared, I think Matthew enjoyed this or maybe it was you. Some One of the gamers. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I compared it Such to in, disgusting. I man. compared it to in um, in Mario, where okay. there's there's often cast in the castle mm. levels. There's often ghosts, and if you turn and look at them, they do that and cover their eyes. because yeah. they, they're shy. Yeah, but then shy. if you turn around, then they follow you and they can hurt you. So you got to keep looking at them. To like, it's just them. like the gamers. Yeah. So that's what they're doing. That's yeah. Like, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> so that that's what uh, the Lucha Bros are like. If you take the mask off, they're like, oh. They are the ghosts okay. from Mario. Yeah, they're the boo. Yeah. The boo. The boos. The boos. Yeah. Books Cruise yeah. returned to SmackDown Boogs very crew. soon. I thought this match was a ding-dong battle. Yes. Uh, lots of chops, lots of strikes. Alex Abrahantes. Abrahantes? Abrahantes. Is hard as balls. Because he took down Jose the assistant with a double leg takedown, just like Kurt Angle in 2000. In a yeah. shoot fight, um, I'd put my money on Jose. Well, yeah, we saw yeah, the yeah. shoot fight last night. It wasn't a shoot fight. It was. <laughs> it, wasn't really. it was on the they ramp outside yeah. the ring. Okay, yeah. Shit. Nice cheap win for Rush, Rush at the end. So is it? It's, it is Rush. I think it's Rush. Rush. Yeah, yeah, I think Matthew's yeah. right. You know. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> for bloody one. No. I hope <laughs> you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> it's an orange. Uh, backstage, Neeson and Sterling trying to get the best friends to sign the same petition they were trying to earlier. Reuven Swift strictly from the roster. Orange Cassidy gets his lawyer to read it and turns that lawyer turns out to be Danhausen. <laughs> it all sets up Cassidy versus oh. Neeson rampage. Oh. Hey. Are we getting it? Am I am I saying something wrong here? Are we getting a bit sick of Danhausen? Stuff. He's not really doing anything, is he? He's, yeah. he's not doing anything yet. He's not done much. The best stuff has been with Hook, and Hook's been the best part of it. Yeah. I did like when he came out for his match with Hook on the pre show of the last one, mm-hmm. the one before last. And as he was making his entrance, he went, ah, I'm so powerful. I like that. <laughs> yeah. But I need him to do more. It's a scattergun approach. Mm. You're just doing random things, isn't he? We need mm. a proper storyline. Yeah. I know we had a proper storyline with Hook, but it was like a scattergun it, approach. It's a brief there as thing well. with the Ass Boys, but. Like it was yeah, just it was yeah, just to distract them yeah. so that they could continue the. It's like Eddie, a playful Eddie Kingston, multiple rhymes okay. all yeah. going at the same time. Uh, the acclaimed and the ass boys beat Bear Country, Fuego del Sol, and Leo Ruffin. 
It's Leon Ruff. Leon Ruff. Yeah. Leon yeah. Ruff, yeah. I thought it was just called Leon Ruff, but the tag team trio, uh, the trio is the Bear Country and Leo Ruff was called, oh, what was it called? Oh, I don't know. Roughing it? Ruff, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Good. I don't know why that's a thing. Roughing <laughs> it. Fuego del Sol was also there. Uh, Austin Gunn steals the pinfall from Max Caster after the match the guns beat down the acclaimed Billy tries to save the day but much like that random turn he did involving who was it way back big in the show. day big show mm-hmm. when it came out of nowhere this came out of nowhere as well he sides with his actual sons instead uh, of his adopted sons even though the money is clearly with yeah. his adopted sons yeah I guess, um, I guess blood is really thicker than money yeah. Andy Bowens asks for one last scissor me daddy but <laughs> instead he just hits him with a fame answer and it was sad I thought it was good for the ass boys to take the mic and the yeah. Max Caster. It was getting a bit too mm-hmm. much that, you know. Nice to see Bowen's back yeah. in yeah, action yeah. as well. Yeah. Unless he was last week. So last week him. he got out of the wheelchair. Nice. And stood up and the did Linda the McMahon whole... pop. Well, no. Well, no, because was... it was in the midst of a show where a million things happened. Oh, so right. it was just like, oh, he's up. Oh, he, oh you walk. Oh, it's mm. next second. They didn't even focus on him <laughs> getting up out of the wheelchair. It was just, oh, he's standing in the ring. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, he's got to... he's got his crutch. They could have done a Linda thing with that. Yes, I feel they should have. They could have done Although I've had the Mandela effect with that Linda spot. Because I rewatched it and she's not in a wheelchair. On a little she's steel a chair, wheelchair. yeah. Yeah, because she gets sat in the ring by Vince. Mm. Mm. And then we see Thunder Rosa and, and Tony Storm, known as Thunderstorm. Nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. They beat Nyla Rose and everyone's favorite wrestler, Marina Shafir, in a tag team match. Just a needless swipe <laughs> at Marina there. <laughs> um, they put the umbrellas up indoors, did the heel tag team, and they expected to have good luck, did they? Oh, I don't think that's going to be man. right, is it? Do you think that this is all going to lead to the, the babyface team not getting along and then Tony challenging Thunder Rosa? Well, again? surely because yeah. Tony has said that she wants the championship, but right now Thunder Rosa has her where she wants her as a friend and an mm. ally, a colleague. Like Boris and oh, Bo- Boris, Boris and Rap. Bye, Boris. <laughs> Bye. As we see, it can all go very wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as for the match itself, I thought it was it was all right. Yeah. Yeah, good match. But then Jim Ross proved why Jim Ross is not on commentary for half the show these days because he said Shafir is going to be one of the biggest stars in the company soon. <laughs> Jesus. I hope Jim's okay, by the way, because it is weird how they've just like cut his workload in half. Mm. Yeah, they've kind and of the reduced... pay-per-view. He was only there for half the show. Was it just the he main event? He came out for like the last few matches. And yeah, then, yes, yeah, he came out one hour ones. in. Yeah. Last yeah. week it was just blood and guts, but that was half the show. This week it was half the show. He has said in the in the in the press. <laughs> that, uh, oh, no. Excalibur has been groomed to be his replacement, so maybe they're doing like a soft transition of power oh, yeah Excalibur like, could already replace like him. Boris staying in the seat until October <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. But had an overpower power I think it, it, it adds to the last hour of the show having Jim <coughs> oh Ross there because he's not I as... forgot I had a glass bottle in my hand sorry everybody sorry I thought that was the TV thought, yeah. sorry sorry oh, has oh, oh, I'm sorry so sorry there's a little halo on <laughs> <laughs> Great having him here. I think you see him every week. No. Um, but yeah, having Jim Ross in the last hour, I think does does add to the show a bit because it's, it, it's Jim Ross, and he's my only yeah, worry he is, is Jim Ross, but he's not the same Jim Ross. My only worry is he's going to make more mistakes because he's not as present. If Newcastle brought back Alan Shearer, exactly. I'll just leave it there. Then yeah, 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 yeah. You know no, what I'm saying. He's 52, 52 now. Yeah, fifty two. No, in August he's fifty two. Okay, then stop on the Goldberg. Thirteenth of August, nineteen seventy. Um, <laughs> but I, he was once great, but now he's just not what he was. Mm. And it, I always feel like I have to caveat by saying I love Jim Ross, but it's getting to the point now where you shouldn't have to caveat that because mm-hmm. mm. it is just he's just not as good as the other people who are. But then it confuses me because on the odd week he'll actually have a good one. I'm yeah, like, oh, yeah. Oh, right. Like when Vince gets out <laughs> for an investigation. Oh like, yeah, he was, oh, buzz- yeah. He, was, he was buzzing that week. <laughs> he was. Um, then we see Stokely Hathaway who tells Jade Cargill that he's recru- recruited Layla Gray as an interim body because if you can have an interim world champion, yeah. you can have an interim body. Jade isn't sure, but Stokely tells her to trust the process and then goes for a handshake or a hug with Layla Gray who doesn't like it either. No. What's going on with Stokely? He's not. I thought he was a good manager. I he's, thought, yeah. he's like, he's like diamond him and, mine. Him and Roddy are mirroring each when other. The diamond mine felt, when he left the diamond mine, they fell apart. But, but, mm, but, yeah, um, it's not working here. No. He's not. No. He's like um he's like Roy Hodgson in his latter days. <laughs> yeah. oh. Sorry, Fraser. Yeah. He's like Give me a game um, of reference, please. Who's your favorite polo manager? Roy Hodgson. Yeah, I thought you were like Well you've told me that you're from uh, Fraser's right from a place called Peebles. Peebles, yeah, yeah. Peebles. Peebles. I know, I know. Down the road from Balamori. It's hilarious. I was there I was there a few weeks ago, Balamori. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I've made the mistake of purchasing a pink jumper. Yeah. And I put it on and I looked in the mirror. I was just that big old fella from Battle. Oh, Jones. you were Archie. Uh, yeah, the inventor. This was pre, pre-beard time. Mm. And we it was were, just like... We were watching Balmore in the office the other day. 
What into the, it came up and um, Atkins and me were reminiscing about Spencer's song. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make yeah, a little ice yeah, go yeah. pop. It's um, great. Do you not, did you like Balamori? I never really, year? I was too old for it. I was too old by the yeah. time it came Telly out. Tubbies. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah Telly Tubbies. Up the Dipsy. Oh, the Tweenies. <laughs> the Tweenies were more my younger brother's thing. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I was probably young enough the for the tweenies, tweenies but yeah. I wasn't really into them though. Come yeah. outside and Brum. That was my awesome. Brum, yeah. yeah. Um, come rest outside in peace, was the um, playing, yeah. yeah. Rest dog. in peace, Auntie, Auntie Pippin. No, yeah, that was the, the dog. dog was the Pippin, but yeah, uh, the lady, Auntie, yeah. Auntie, Auntie. What was she called? I can't remember, but Save yeah. me, Auntie somebody. I can't remember She flew now. a plane. Um, rest in peace. But anyway, Fraser's from a town called Peebles, yeah. which uh, he told me that once a year they have a festival where uh, they ride around the well, not not him like yeah, some people just, in the village ride around it on horses to keep out the, the English. The Belting Festival. The Belting Festival. Yeah, it, it was and on the, both Dan and Ross. Yeah. There. What? It was on the other week. Um, we have a history of like invading Scotland. So if any, any history <laughs> didn't happen now. Border, border Raiders. Um, yeah, we we have a celebration to mark when the Queen came to town, and all the kids get dressed up in fancy dress, and we have a fake ceremony to. Crown a P seven, which would be your ten years old, eleven okay. years old. What year would that be? I think we would say like you burned like the witch at the or stake or something no, no, to no. celebrate the queen. And coming. then the adults, one of them gets nominated as like the cornet of the town, who's the the they lead the town for a year, and then they like the GM, like yeah, the, the, the GM, GM, and yeah. they represent the town on official matters. And then they on the Wednesday night of the Beltane week ride week? around. Yeah, it's a whole week. I hate, oh. I hate it. <laughs> 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 they ride around the borders of the town. It's about a 13 mile ride on Whoa. horseback. It's long. Wow. It's really long. Um, so if you've been on, on a horseback for 13 miles? I have, uh, yeah. I've done and it, do you I've have done it twice. To reside? I've you done you it have twice. It. You have the cheek to reside here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've done it twice. Um, and it's long. Wow. It's very long. You were nominated to be on the horse. No, I wasn't. The, no, I just was in the, the group of 100 oh, other people. people. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You were, were you walking about or were you on the horse? No, I was on horse. Oh, right, right. Yeah. How many horses were there? Loads. Uh, about, about 100 horses. Oh, my God. And you, you, you cross a river as well. Did you share the saddle with someone else? No, no, it was the world. Own. You had it on your own? Yeah. I went with my grand on the other horse. Nice. <laughs> it's, me and my grand. it's just a different world. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Barrick, eh? Yeah. Well, it's only like every town, hours up the road. every town in the borders has one of these festivals. Okay, um, Berwick does as well. Berwick's got one, yeah. I hope not, but they're they're in England. <laughs> I like Berwick. They're in England. Berwick, yeah. uh, I, so I went past it on the train up to see Green Day, and mm. I thought, what a lovely looking place. Lovely. The bridge is lovely when you cross. Yeah, them. Bethany wants to go, and I'm thinking, yeah, maybe go in the summer sometime. Yeah. Don't know what we do there, but it's not much. There's well, the Lindisfarne tweet. Island, you get tweet. some rock, Holy Island, yeah. there across yeah. the thing. Yeah. Berwick Rock. Island. Um, in the main event of this AEW spectacle. <laughs> oh, we've still got the mail bag. Yeah. What time is it? No. In the main event, we had John Moxley who beat Brody King. Um, I thought it was strange for the House of Black not to be out there, especially when we had um, a couple of disqualif- uh, di- sorry distraction yeah. angles in the show already. Uh, the chop was Walter-esque from Brody King to John Moxley's tits. I thought it was a really good album for Brody King. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had massive power moves. He had old school submissions and tricep rubbing as well, which got William Regal going. Tricep rubbing? <laughs> just rubbing his triceps rubbing, yeah. in his face. Like, just, oh, right, oh, yeah, 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 like that. Yeah. yeah. Thoughts on the match? Yeah, it was um, a very manly match. Blue icky. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, I, I remember thinking, oh, Moxley will win this with the bulldog choke. And then he did. And I remember thinking, how do I know that? Is it because that's what he uses to be bigger people? It's because you're Apollo yeah. Crews. No, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, interestingly, we should say, after the after the show and after the edit, it's on the Fight TV feed, because we all watch it legally here at Cult mm-hmm. Shame on you if you don't. Uh, Sting and Darby Allen came out to confront the House of Black. And Darby's like, you've earned it, Brody, man. You've done well. Yeah, well done. And he goes to stick his hand out to shake Brody King's hand. And Brody walks on by. Oh. Oh. Malachi Black was out there to give Brody like a little like head to head sort of like oh, yeah, little, faster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. You've done well, son, sort of thing. So I assume you. <laughs> <laughs> House of Black versus Sting and Darby's a thing that's gonna happen soon, I assume. Mm. As for that, I thought it was an okay dynamite. Yeah, yeah. it was all right. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, I guess coming out off of uh, Blood and Guts last week, you've got to kind of have not, it's not as big. We've got Fighter Fest next week as well, though. Oh yeah, my that, God, we do. That doesn't matter where AW there, Fraser. But it's, yeah, but it's under, so it's like I'm this is the miss down all the week. Gaming references next week. Oh, yeah. I'm sick. Dun, dun, yeah, dun, dun. you're gonna be gutted. I'm just thinking of the Street Fighter entrance that the Elite did that time. Oh, they did do that. Yeah, didn't they? yeah. cowboy things. No, cal- karate thing. Kar- oh my God, I'm on karate. 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 You live and learn. That was the week in wrestling. Let's crack on. Let's have a rummage in our mail bags. <laughs> Let's have a rummage in the mailbox. 
<laughs> it's like he's in the room. Whoa. <laughs> Sup, gentlemen. I was recently having a discussion with some friends about something that had happened in our lives. I was able to place exactly when this event took place because I remembered what was going on in the world of wrestling, being that massive wrestling nerd I am. Oh. One example I always use is I, rem- I remember the last time I shaved my beard because it was when Cody lost the Ring of Honor title to Dalton Castle. That's a long time ago. So my question is, has there ever been a point in your lives when you were able to remember something because of what was going on with wrestling? Oh, vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> Love the content you guys produce and look forward to starting my weekend with your soothing voices. Cheers, regards, Anthony Ockhip Inti. Good name. Good name. And he's, I've done that like that because he says, can't wait to hear how you pronounce my last name. Uh, and he's from Chicago. Anthony Ockhip Inti. Nice. Um, so oh, that's right. <laughs> remembering a certain point of life because you remember what was going on in wrestling. Yeah. yeah. Well, I remember the winter of my first year of uni because that's when I got back into the wrestling. Okay. That was Kane. I remember reading somewhere, it might be on Twitter or something, that Kane was getting his mask back. And I was like, oof, he was my favorite when I was a child. <laughs> Let's watch for the first time in like six, five, six years. Um, and then after that, watched the Rumble with a few pals, the uh, Rumble of 2012. Mm. And then that's, that was my route back in. What a Rumble to get back yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping Jericho was going to win that one. Um, I think, yeah, usually I can sort of recall things but what I was doing in school. Like, for it's usually what, what year in school was I? And then I can work out what's that. Because I've not really had a drop-off point in okay, wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of similar, though. It's, it, I, don't, I can't do it so much with wrestling, but for, for games is that I can oh, yeah. recall games, what yeah. date it was released mm. based on what was happening in a round. So it's, I guess it's similar to what they're saying there. That's like me. Brian Lara Cricket, the summer of 2005. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that was me. <clears throat> I remember, is that the one where had the historic mode where you could go back and do like old Ashes and stuff? And all I can't old... remember that far back. I just remember it being the better game out of the, the two cricket, cricket games. games. Oh, maybe yeah. I had the worst one. That I don't yeah. know. But, um, oh, man. Where... Oh, yeah. For me, it's more... Some, some things, are... since I got back into wrestling, it's helped. Mm-hmm. But for me, it's more what's been going on in football. So like World Cup years, I remember so vividly, Dan's like, yes, yes. Do you remember the summer of 2018? Oh, it didn't rain once. <laughs> no, um, it didn't. It really didn't rain no. much. It was good. 2021 did, though. Yeah, mm, yeah. Been a bit overcast on a few games. Oh, but what, what a summer that was as well. <laughs> Why is it on winter? I'm just going to turn this into a discussion. Yeah. Why is the World Cup in winter this year? Because it's too hot in Qatar. Too Apparently warm. they've had it in places like in South America before where it's also really hot in the but summer. But is it not? It's a different type of heat though. It's like really oh. dry. God, you've got an answer for everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, so for me, it's it's less wrestling. I'm sorry, Fraser. I'm going to stop <laughs> that now. It's less wrestling and more... More football probably, which makes me sound like a fake wrestling fan. Uh, football, football means more to you. That's fine. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same. Well, yeah. I'll reach Diddlers. I've just moved back to the Toon, having lived in Amsterdam for a few years, and thought the best way to spend my first week back would be to visit the infamous Jericho Triangle on oh, the quayside. Yeah. In brackets, see attachments. Dan, that's your cue, Bonnie Lard. <laughs> I've also <laughs> included a photograph where you can see all the three locations to show <laughs> the true scale of Chris's tiresome <laughs> journey. So there's exhibit number one. Yeah. Exhibit number two. <laughs> now, to the to the layman, that might not be. To some of nothing, you can't. Be any, that can be anywhere else. Anywhere so, from the first Newcastle. photograph, what he's done is walked forward about five paces yeah, and turned yeah, around and yeah. faced the way he once was. And number three, he's gone back, but the other way, <laughs> but back to where he was for the first picture, but about five paces down the same yeah, road. Yeah, just yeah. flip the camera to go the other way. The, 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 the shot of all three, we'll see the Jericho Triangle. In full effect. <laughs> <laughs> That's at the Quayside Weatherspoons yeah. here in Newcastle upon Tyne. Yeah. He says, though, he continues, turns out that wrestling is not very popular, not a very popular form of entertainment at all amongst the Dutch. Nobody even knew, as he's written down here, Malachi Black. <laughs> Mal- <laughs> Mal- <laughs> Malachi Black. I so anyways, me Black. question. With all these Tory diddlers residing lately, what's your favourite loser leave sound <laughs> match <laughs> or so- Similar <laughs> storyline involving a wrestler uh, leaving a company in brackets kayfabe or shoot. Cheers for entertaining me week, week in, week out, and apologies for the odd time I've t- drunkenly bummed into use over the years out on the tune. <laughs> Harry. Cheers, Harry Cheers, Bonnie Harry. Lad. Thank you, Harry. Favorite uh, loser leaves I mean, town match. I think the one that immediately jumps to my mind, it's not a loser leaves time match, but it's the similar story, is Punk leaving WWE and then also a repeat of Ring of Honor. 
Um, oh, okay. And the build up to that storyline leaving. A week. That's the thing. It's the build up that was good. The the aftermath mm. wasn't wasn't great. The Ring of Honor one was great, where he signs the contract Shh, on the belt. There might be a video coming up very soon. Well, well, okay then. I'll not say much more on that one then. Just leave it. But the Punk one in in 2011, I thought was was great. Up until him coming back, yeah, literally it happened. a wee <laughs> no, bit later. It, okay, okay. it was the build up, and then the week where you're like, I don't when, know, he, when what's he walked he out do? at the end of that pay per view, I was like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And posting the, the belts in his fridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. And showing up at indie shows, you know, like yeah, what guy? Yeah, that's my pick. Um, I'm gonna go. There's only one answer for me when it comes to lose leaves town. Mr. Brexit, Doug Williams. <laughs> No, I'm Daw. No pinging, no party. <laughs> WCPW. Stacked, I'm going to guess, maybe. I don't I know don't which know. one it was. One of the early Academy shows. Because if you remember rightly, the stipulation was, and I never knew this because I hadn't read the week before. We were filming it like a bit out of order or something. So Daw and Williams come to the ring and the ring announcer goes, if Noam Dar loses this match, he will have to leave. And I'm like, oh. And then he's like, well, if Doug Williams loses this match, then Noam Dar will get the... For half of his year's wages. <laughs> and I was like, well, I wonder who's going to yeah. this one then. And in um, the end, Dar lost and he had to oh, leave. Got it. Mm. He cut an emotional promo, which was weird because he'd only been in for about like, a couple of weeks. weeks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the right answer to this question is flair, isn't it? Even though it didn't really count. Uh, it wasn't like he didn't hold the true sanctity of the loser leaves wrestling thing. Yeah. But he, he came back to TNA and whatnot. But I guess in WWE he did that. And we got the Tea of the Memories Love yeah. song. Which everyone loves. He's coming back soon for another match. Oh. So maybe this will be better than the first retirement. I don't think it will, Fraser. No. I don't think it will. Do we know who it's against you? I think it'll be Jay Leaf too. Yeah. Oh. They've worked an angle there. They've tried to do a shoot oh, work I thought, shoot. I thought they were actually annoyed. I've been worked. Oh, oh, fair enough. F and Mark. <laughs> Hi, guys. First up, thanks for all the amazing content, Botchamania included, that you put out. I marked out when Breaking Chandelier from a tiny little city promotion got a spot on Botchamania 397, and I spotted myself in the crowd. This podcast comes out on a Saturday morning here, and it gets me through my weekend housework and then doing some bacon slash cooking. Is this you? Yeah, yeah, this is mine. I finally got in the mailbag. <laughs> <laughs> Back in 2019, NJPW came to town and my dad and I went went to it with the meet and greet tickets. It was an awesome show that culminated with a sweaty hug we got from Tanahashi after he finished his match. Ooh. At the... Wow! <laughs> at the meet and greet before... <laughs> That's a really out of context. Yeah. <laughs> uh, out of the... At the meet and greet before the show, we got pictures with a bunch of wrestlers. Jay White refused to take one until I zipped up my jacket because I was wearing an LIJ t-shirt. And then just... And then he agreed. All in kayfabe fun. <laughs> I also got a picture with Kazuchika, as Jay White would say. Okada. That's how he says it. Yeah. yeah. Um, that I have since uploaded as part of my Tinder profile. <laughs> Oh. Don't maybe, worry. Maybe I think you're a corner. <laughs> one of the two. I thought that was going to be my joke for the thing. Oh. Oh. Right, we'll get to the question. I'll do the joke as if you just didn't say that, okay? <laughs> right. Uh, don't worry, I cropped my dad out of it. The picture is only reference as I have only only reference to wrestling I have on my profile. My question is: If you lads were still single and on the dating apps, would you swipe yes or no to a picture like this? My point being, given the app's intended purpose, I'm not sure if Tinder is the time or the place for it. Would you upload pictures with wrestling? to your dating profile for a conversation starter. I've attached a picture of the... Thanks, Louisa from Sydney, Australia. Thank you, Louisa. So here is the picture in question and I would immediately say yes because look at that dazzling smile and that lovely blue t-shirt. But wait, Ross. Bada bing. That's Kazuchika Okada. So if you saw... If you were on the Tinder and you saw a wrestling fan with a wrestler posing for pictures and whatnot, would mm-hmm. you give them a yes or a no? Well, first of all, it's a very heartwarming picture of yeah. Louisa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got no problems with that. But personally, I wouldn't have the balls to put a picture mm. of me with a wrestler on with dating her. No, but if no. you saw someone who had and you were swiping. Oh, that was it. Sorry. If yeah, you were a single um, man and you saw a lady <laughs> with a picture no, with a wrestler. Uh, I don't know. Because wrestling fans are weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even us included. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. All weird, but do you want to go out of the wrestling? <laughs> um, it, it depends how many. If there was just one, as it's just you know, just a subtle. I wouldn't think it's quite clear there because he's holding the belt. Like, championship. But uh, if I, I think I'd be like maybe that's some bodybuilder. Oh no, what? no, because I'd know the I'd know the wrestler. Yeah, world. you know. Yeah, so it's it's to give a little indication that you're in wrestling to someone who's just I'd swiping be, I'd through be your paranoid profile. that. In their time as a wrestling fan, they might have chanced upon a video of me doing something really embarrassing. I okay. I scared, possibly. Mm. 
I, I mean, yeah. If it was one photo and it was just in there, if it wasn't the first photo and it was just in the range of yeah, them. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Because then it's like, oh, that's one of your interests. I don't remember. It's been years since I've had Tinder, but I don't remember I don't remember enjoying it very much. No. I never ever had Tinder. No. I didn't have the heart just to get rejected by hundreds of different people. That's the brutal thing. People, like, yeah. yeah. The, 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 the <laughs> best... I'd be going, yes, every time. They'd be going, no, every time. But you can't ever. see that they've said no, but yeah. you know. Because well, you know. sometimes you get a match if you straight away. If they, uh. But um, it's disgusting. So um, <laughs> what happened to the nuances of conversation? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but uh, oh, the the biggest the biggest laugh or joy you get from Tinder is when you see one of your pals on there and you go, "Way hey, we've matched in that." Yeah. yeah. But sometimes you get a super like, and you're like, "Oh, someone super liked me," and there's what just that mean? there's just a girl you know from home taking the and you're like, oh. "What does that mean?" They <laughs> super duper want to so the, the, super uh, likes like yeah, it, it's like it's, you'll get you'll get notified. You'll get notified that someone's liked you, but it's usually it's just if two people happen to match, then and, but do they not usually cost or something? Like the, it's like a premium. Maybe feature. now this was years ago. Though. Yeah. No, Maybe. at the time you could you only had a certain number of super likes you could right. do. Maybe you could buy extra, but I wouldn't know. Yeah. Wouldn't know. No. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> so I, I wouldn't. I agree with Fraser. I wouldn't let it yeah. affect my judgment too much. Yeah. Then. It depends how many. If it's yeah. as you say, if it's just an innocuous one in the middle. But if it's like yeah. a picture from someone when you uh, WWE or then New Japan, then Impact to show that you love wrestling. I'd probably say no. Ooh, Just yeah. because you don't want to be at work and then go home and then for home to be like work and yeah. work to be like home. Yeah. You yeah. want a bit of a breather. Then again, my girlfriend's a wrestling fan and we got to know each other because she slid in my DMs because of Cultaholic. Well, I, I was I was going to say I worry that I do that with Bethany because she's a, a former wrestling fan who's grown up. And, um, <laughs> and I worry that when she asks about stuff and I explain about <laughs> wrestling to her that she's like, oh, not this again. But... She's still a big fan of Bobby Lashley because oh. she remembers watching him back in the day. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, she still yeah. likes Lashley. Bobby wasn't very good back then, was he? No. Well, he did that big cage, child. cage dive. Yeah, she was cool. remembered the cool uh, stuff. Fair, yeah. Fair. Yeah. I should say the bit where I went, blah, 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 um, our pal Louisa was saying, it's not the best picture of me, but still I love it. So I thought I'd better oh, put that oh, in there. Yeah. So there are better pictures available if you want them. D- stay away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I was going there. That was the mailbag. If you want your mailbag answered, <laughs> mailbag. Got really protected. Just leave her alone, yeah. okay? <laughs> leave her alone. Dan's dying. <laughs> mailbag <laughs> at cultaholic.com. <laughs> Sorry, Louisa. <laughs> Bloody hell. I know it's time for our favorite seven minutes <laughs> pieces. <laughs> hey lads, happy June. I got engaged over the weekend because... Congratulations. Oh, sorry, this uh, this is one of the backups I had. That's why it says happy June. I got engaged over the weekend. <laughs> I got engaged over the weekend. My first thought afterwards was to spend... <laughs> sending an email to the old guys for the podcast mm. because who doesn't love a wrestling wedding? Very simple. Yes. Which wrestling wedding was the best? Thanks, Chop. Thank you, Chop. Oh, chop. P.S. I sent in the email at the end of 2021 about the winners of the Hall of Fame and going into this week oh. of the podcast, which was many weeks ago, Matthew and Jack are tied for nine wins this year. I, but he's, oh, he's used dirty tactics. How? <laughs> the little animals and all that. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, turning yeah, on well, them, not anymore. Though. He's getting told next week. The is this is the thing that's be the tester for Matthew next week. So I'm going to let him know that the Patreon's fully turned on his... Uh, <laughs> fully turned. <laughs> fully turned. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's like... 10 people potentially <laughs> who don't like the fact uh, he does this. So if he doubles down, he's an arsehole. If he changes, he's a good boy. Mm, Excuse me. So first off, we'll go Jack. It's fast as fourth first, just right. in case if you're new here. We'll go Jack Fraser myself. Edge and Lita or Edge and Vicky Guerrero? Edge and Vicky, because the drama. Yeah, I would say Edge and Vicky. Yeah, same here. Stephanie and Test, or be careful now, Stephanie and Triple H. <laughs> But to be fair, I forgot about this. They were in on it together, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, Stephanie yeah. was pretending. So for that reason, that she was fully complicit in pretending yes. to be unconscious, <laughs> Stephanie and Triple H. Yeah, Stephanie Triple H. Yeah, Stephanie Triple H. Teddy Long and Crystal or Dawn Marie and Al Wilson? Oh, Dawn and Al. Dawn, uh, it's a visual, isn't it? Yeah, yeah Dawn and Al. Yeah. Al in his little pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kurt and Karen Angle or Stacey Keebler and David Flair? Um... I, don't oh, I can't remember, remember Stacey. Either. Yeah, yeah either. not too familiar, but I'll go Kurt and Karen. Just because I've recently done a video on WCW era Miss Hancock. Not just on her, she features in the... <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah. like that stuff yeah. with the baby pram and Sean Stacey. Oh, and, no. Um, oh, the other one, Kurt and Karen. Kurt and Karen. Yeah, I don't know if that was related. I can't remember that oh, period of WCW very well. Uh, Macho Man and Elizabeth. <laughs> no, this is unfair. Or Lana and Lashley. Well, we've got an obvious one. <laughs> 
Well, no, Macho Man and Elizabeth had, had the snake in the box. Yeah, and also, you didn't come away from Macho Man and Elizabeth questioning whether Elizabeth was a lesbian. Yeah, that was... That so was that was the main selling That never went anywhere. <laughs> no. No. Liv no, Morgan no. came down. Yeah. They might be lesbians. We don't know. Yeah, no, no. I'm going for Macho and Elizabeth. Yeah, Macho and Liz. Yeah, same. Billy and the Chuck... The proposal was great as well. We'll... Yeah. It sounded like Kane talking for the first time. <laughs> uh, Billy and Chuck or me and Sam. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, I was Chuck. I was there for you and Sam. Yeah. So I'm going for that one. <laughs> well, I think they never got married. Was, you two did. I so was, well, that was a commitment two. ceremony for Billy yeah. and Chuck. Yeah, yeah, true. I was struck by the professionalism of those women in Vegas. Yeah. Who were running that chapel. It's almost as if they'll take money from anyone for they, anything. <laughs> that was not in the top ten weirdest weddings they'd done that week. <laughs> that was like that was just yeah. Yeah, I'll go with uh, you and Sam. Uh, I'll go for Billy and Chuck. Oh. Because it was historic. Yeah, Apparently yeah. did a lot of good things back in the day. But yeah. again, I think I saw that in a WWE documentary. So maybe yeah. people who won't uh, know I don't know what to stand say. up for WWE. I've probably just said the wrong thing there. But there we go. That's a lovely, breezy Reese's pieces. It was a good yeah, one though. Good one. Um, so it. if you want your Reese's pieces answered, does next this week, mean it's Matthew who draws out the Reese's pieces then? Because he's not here, and that we sped through that. Oh, maybe, maybe, yeah. Because I often get pelters from him for not doing my fastest thought first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did this week. Yeah. We did, yeah. I speed it. So yeah. that's actually you then. You're the one who holds everything up. That's what he says. Always the first one to answer, aren't you? Maybe. Mailbag at cultaholic.com. That's where you get your Reese's mm. pizzas answered. Send them in there because we need them now. We need them desperately. If I've used up all the reserves. Wildly, yeah. I've used up all the reserves. Don't send any to. Oh, we need them. Get them in. There we go. That's that segment done. Let's crack on with the next one. Who knows what the big question is? I, I don't. Because we're sat here right now. It's Cultaholics. Big question. It's big question time, everybody. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> but CBB's there. Oh, no. Let's have some story fun. makers time. But before we do that, we must thank obviously the wonderful producers who put together this podcast each and every week and tell us what to say and when to say it and how to say it. Thank you to Reno two two zero zero Noah Anderson. Anderson. Yeah, Anderson. Join in. You're not yeah, above yeah, it. Yeah, I, th- I thought we were going to leave a bigger gap there, but Noah Sorry. Anderson. Anderson. That's the spirit Fraser. And Nick Robbie, if you want to be a producer of this podcast, head to patreon.com forward slash cultaholic, find the proper tier for it, and then just get involved, and then you just do it. Yeah. Um, so the big question is this week, did the WWE choose the right winners for each money, money in the bank, Barbara Josh? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. did they choose the right winners Whoa. for each of the money in the bank, Barbara match? Mm, okay, right. I think that they, it's not the winners that's the issue, it's the... Well, for the men's, it's the build, and for the women's, it's the aftermath. Well, to your point, I would argue that they chose the wrong person for the men's. Ah, oh, okay. I think the far more interesting winner, I can see why they obviously picked Theory, because he's destined for mm-hmm. big things with mm-hmm. that muscles and that smile that looks like some sort of anime character or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't quite understand that tweet, but it did big numbers, so there you go. Um, I think Sami Zayn was the more interesting one mm-hmm. in that storyline where he's, yes. so, he's in the bloodline, he's got the contract, he keeps it away from Roman and Paul. And he's just like, oh, I'll massage your feet there, Roman. But, oh, I've got the contract. I could cash in. I think drawing that out for, you could draw that out for the full year if you wanted to. Mm. And I thought that was the more interesting one for the men. Even even Rollins, I think, could have had a good run I was with about it. Because I think you Rollins is kind of the, yeah, yeah no. Point Rollins is kind of, what, a favorite going into the match? In yeah, the build-up? I think I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Theory's a good show if he'd been in the build. Mm. And they'd actually built to him being in there and he could have had some some back and forth with Cena last week being like, well, you failed to cash in your money in the bank. Um, so that's his. He was the first one, not Sandow. Cena, he failed. Oh, yeah, but it, yeah, but yeah, it was a draw, it not was a draw. Yeah. yeah, That was before was Sandow. Like yeah, it was, like raw, it was like a DQ or raw 1000. Get out of town. I know. Mm. I should say, by the way, Cultaholic Podcast Curse is not happening because we have just caught the news here this afternoon that according to PW Insider, both Sasha Banks and Naomi were removed from WWE's internal roster over the last 24 hours, which would indicate they have actually left. Well, well, that's well. wild. Mm. I, uh, but yeah. we'll have to wait, obviously, until someone confirms that from WWE's end instead of just recklessly speculating Aye. like a set of hacks, um, which we are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but I agree. And, and also with Fraser, the, the, the Seth Rollins thing, because there was talk as well that with Roman facing Brock again, Seth could try and redo what he did at WrestleMania 31, mm-hmm. and that would be an interesting... I don't think he'd win it again this time, but it would be mm-hmm. an interesting wrinkle to what is otherwise an overdone match. And he's not had many wins this past year. Seth has kind of been... Yeah, he's he's been lost to every bit. Bitch boy, yeah. hasn't he? God. <laughs> you could have had a nice feud over the briefcase with Riddle. going into... Do you like feuds with the briefcase after they've been won? Uh, not usually. 
but if they keep the briefcase okay fair enough yeah. I, it was fine with Otis and Miz but I think yeah Miz needed a longer reign there can I just say, Billie Jean King is looking fantastic. The tennis player. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she uploaded a load, load uh, selfie being photobombed by Sue Barker on Twitter. Oh yeah, it was oh, fantastic. Wow. They both look yeah. like stunning. Well, not stunning is the wrong word. <laughs> they both look like lovely older women. Yeah. Would you yeah. swipe right <laughs> if Billie Jean King appeared on your Tinder? Yeah. Posing with yeah. No, yeah. I'm worried. I'd be worried that we're mar- uh, married. I'd be worried that we're related by blood. Oh, somewhere. okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would. Uh, so there we have it. Oh, no, well, we should talk about the ladies as well. Yeah. I think Liv Morgan was the right choice there. I think she was one of a few right choices they could have made. Ooh. Maybe I do. think Becky or Asuka. Well, maybe not Asuka, but Becky could have been a good one. But I do now see afterwards with her doing the breakdown and thing that that's not quite over yet. And that they were rightly carried on probably. Liv's, Liv does deserve it. Like they, mm-hmm. they chanted at her. But as it's been pointed out, they need to now stop doing the same night yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 Despite yeah. me saying that I would have wanted Seth to also win I kind of don't like it when they give the briefcase to someone who's won it before or mm. doesn't need the briefcase to have a match which I'm, I'm glad Drew didn't so in the same case in the women's I'm glad Liv being one of the the folk that have never really needed to go up to that next level never scaled those heights exactly before. she's never climbed that ladder yeah, yeah. to the top um, but she managed to do it this time so I'm glad she. I think she was the right pick it's I would like to kind of served its original purpose again a yeah, bit. Precisely, yeah. yeah I would like to have seen Bailey come back for this though and mm. done what Theory did in the main event Instead, if she goes, oh, I'm going to be the last entry. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. We have news from a Spanish website called theshieldofwrestling.com. Ilya Dragunov, C-E in front of that. I'm not going to bother reading no. that. I think he's vacated the UK title. Ooh. It does say the word vacante. 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 Yeah. Vera Rezo. Il you're, doing Itali- you're doing an Italian accent, I've got to say. <laughs> Sounds like it could be Italian also. C A if Can I try with my in very fort- basic GCC? Okay. See, this curse doesn't exist anymore. Ilya Dragunov on the oh, something unfortunate. The title in it, the UK title. Yeah. I don't know what Vera Resco means. Vera, riveting Vera. podcast. No. Ilya Dragunov, C A Infortunato, El Titolo, NXT UK, Vera Resco Vacante. What does it mean, though? No, no, I don't. <laughs> it sounds like he's vacated the title, but yeah. there's some words there that I don't quite know. So for the three people who watch NXT UK, some big news for you there, but I think that'll be the end of the podcast. Yeah, yeah. I'm done. Yeah. yeah, he's done. <laughs> We're all done. Um, myself and Jack the Jobber have done a video, right, where we've fantasy booked WWE and a AEW fantasy forbidden door. Yeah. Oh, my, I'm having a stroke here. But as I'm going to start uh, that again. As I said earlier... What we realized was in this video, we're both really good. Yeah. Really, really good. But yeah, we're fantasy booked in AEW versus WWE Forbidden Door pay-per-view. That's coming to the channel on Sunday. Is it? Anything, mm-hmm. anything to plug there? Foisier, Foisier? Uh, no, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm going to be north tomorrow. So if you're there, have a good time. I'll see you. Ah, that's it's going to be fun. You're going to take some pictures with the fans? No, I'll be busy. <laughs> yeah, I'll be busy working. <laughs> a big time, am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah work, I'm working. I'm working. I know you do. I'm just being, yeah. just being a dick. So, but if anyone's about, yeah, say hello. I'm yeah. just being a dick. Uh, yeah, check out the little <laughs> podcast, me, Jack, and Tom. Tom did the other day about yes. uh, the worst booking decisions ever in the WWE. What, what is yours? Mm. Let us know on that video as well. Uh, I think that might be it. Uh, check out my weirdest episodes, which has gone online recently. Luke did another great job on the edit as well, looking at the Great American Bash 2000 in the dying days of WCW. Mm. Matthew's back next week. Thank Christ. <laughs> I've been Ross. He's been Fraser. Thank He's you. been Jack. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next time. That's been Has Buller as well. Yeah, we've got We're doing the point of the screen. L- little lad. Oh, do you want to point of the screen? Yeah, we'll, yeah we'll bloody do it. What do you want to say? What's been topical uh, today? Join us. Join us. Join us. Join, join, us. join us. Join us. Point Has Buller. How are you doing, Paul? How are you doing, Paul? There we go. I'll read that, Has Buller, Paul. How are you oh. doing? You all read that, Paul? Oh. How's it gone? You all read that? How are you doing? Oh, you all read that, Paul?